Hello, my loyal subjects of the kingdom of come, our kingdom come, if you will. Thank you for coming to my speech tonight. My loyal subjects, thirsty for semen, come feasters, come one, come all. I'm here to lead you into a shining new era of sticky white humor. That guy in chat who says, fraught with me, time him out, I don't like him. Time him out! Put him in the dungeon! And have him fraught with Gollum! I don't like him! Put him in the dungeon! Okay. The dungeon! No, it's not a sex dungeon! It's a spooky, scary one with rats. No, not sex rats! Regular ones! And bats! Lots of bats! Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. No, not those! Regular ones! Lux180, thank you for the resub, my loyal subject. Put him in the dungeon! Put him in the Iron Maiden! And it's not kinky! No, not his penis, his whole body! My god! You people are so horny, it's annoying! It's annoying, frankly! My god! Stop it! I saw this. I, I saw this on Twitter today. Uh, apparently, this is the. Uh, I, I guess it's the Japanese poster for the the Spider Verse movie. Um, and everybody, on, on tw somebody on Twitter was like, "I can't anymore." They had like a breakdown. They were like, you guys are so horny, it's annoying, and I just can't do it anyway. I can't, I can't wake up every day and like come on this app and watch you all be like this. I can't do it anymore. You know, <clears throat> it's, it, it's, it's Dango. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's Dango balls or like mochi balls, whatever, right? Um, Static says, hey, this is the wrong game. What's the problem? Guys, Vine Groves, thanks for the resub, and Fecal Juice with the gift sub. Thanks, guys. Um. You said streamers court first? I lied, I guess. What do you want from me? I lied. I'm a, I'm a bad man who lies. I gotta replan my night. Where are you going? You got a life? Okay. Where are you going? Replan my night. Out of here. I mean, do you want me to... What, what, really? Is this a big problem? I, I, don't, I just randomly chose this one first. You know, like what, what's really, what's really the issue here? Like what? Bro has a life and mods for Jabroni Mike. Bro, the fucking trip, trip quadruple, quadruple, O oh, breast size v, uh, VR fucking VR chat model will be there. Okay. At the end of the stream. Okay.
quadruple O. <laughs> uh, so she's not going anywhere. She's going to need the joys of life if, if that bitch wants to go anywhere, man. Forget about it. I don't know. Like, should I do the other one first? I really don't. Like, like does it matter? King of the Castle games can run long. This is good first. Yeah, I think so. Um, Mike, have you seen what Rainbolt, the GeoGuessr guy, did to a dude trying to gatekeep a bagel shop? I tried really hard to follow that story. I just didn't understand it. Like, like, like what happened in chronological order? Somebody, he saw a picture of a bagel and he wanted it and somebody on Twitter told him, no, I'm not telling you where I got it or something like that. And, and then, and then Rainbolt decided to be spiteful. So he like geolocated like where the guy was standing when he had the bagel and figured out what the bagel shop, where bagel shop it was. Is that basically it? And then he contact, okay. And here, here's the, here's the part. I'll take it. Here's the part of the story where it gets really interesting, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong uh, in my summary. Rainbolt contacted the bagel shop, and I guess somebody who worked there, like, knew who he was or something, and he asked them if he could, um, the bagel that the guy ordered, or, like, the bagel, like, whatever, the, the, the menu item that the guy ordered in the photo, Rainbolt said, can you name that sandwich after me? And they agreed to it. So if that guy wants to go there and, and order that thing that he likes ever again, he has to ask for the Rainbolt. I, am I right? That's pretty much what happened? Guys, that's terrifying. He's terrifying, guys. He's fucking scary. Like, look, look at him, dude. He's killed someone, I'm telling you. He's got fucking some skeletons in his crawl space, man. I'm sorry. That guy, fuck, I would not cross that guy for any amount of money. He, he is absolutely beyond terrifying. Rainbolt puts the CIA to shame. He, he, he is the CIA. What are you talking about? You'll never find the body? No. He'll geolocate you finding the body and, and kill you before you get to it. Nice. We take those. Snap's neck. He never got back to me for that GeoGuessr tournament. I was really bummed out about that. I wanted the chance to, like... Meet him, I guess. But he, I wasn't cool enough for him, I guess. It's okay. Not cool enough for a lot of people. Um, just not cool enough, guys. Um, last time we did this, I'm cool enough for you guys. That's all I need, guys. That's all I need. Um... The last time we did this, we we had this crown, and I told you guys that you could pick three things to write on the crown. Okay? So, let's do that again. Mike, it was probably for the best he didn't respond. Who knows what he would have done if you, if you had beat him. Well, I mean, I don't think I would have had to have worried about that, but... You're probably right. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do, uh, well, why don't we do a continue... You wanna do a continuation of the previous Dynasty, guys? I, I think I won that last game. Dead cows with 14 months. Thanks, bud. Uh, right, so we had the March, the Grandee, uh, Barons, Grandees, and Patricians. You want to do the, just do this again and continue this? The Gluck Gluck Dynasty, Dartuza with a full year. Thank you so much. There's no reason not to. There is no reason not to, guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, all right, hold on. Uh, I have to move the webcam eventually. All right, load game. Look at this, look, look, at, look at our dynasty names. Penis Dynasty. <laughs> 
so stupid. That is so stupid. All right, so uh, pylon in here, guys. It's uh, join Deltron Zero. Thanks for uh, 20 months of support, man. Rainbow, like I get where he's coming from, though, man. I I I get it. Like that's that's he he's he Sicilian. Rainbolt. Like that level of of uh, vindictiveness, right? Man, that that's like th that's a fucking Fabiosa video right there. Like, uh, well, he he wasn't suffering first. Like that's like a revenge fantasy where it's like one day I'm gonna make everybody respect me. You know what I mean? W one, one day, one day, people aren't gonna be able to ignore me, right? Red Reuters, rise up! Rise up, Red Reuters. I, I, can you pick your, your dynasty? No. I think this new update that got delayed until next month, unfortunately. I was really hoping the next time I streamed this, we could have streamed the update, but we'll do it next. We'll, we'll do it when, when it's ready, you know. Um, you're going to be able to do that. You can be able to pick your team and all that. Um, and there's a, a couple other interesting changes. We we got into it uh, last time. Uh, the guy posted a TikTok where he was bragging about the bagel and how he wasn't going to tell anyone where he got it because we didn't deserve it. Rainbolt saw the TikTok and decided to destroy him. <laughs> That's what happened. That's... That's how it started, right? Dude, I'd love to have a fucking bagel named after me. Go to like, yeah, just go to and just I don't know who 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 who's my nemesis? Microsoft. Bro. Go to like Microsoft's offices and just like I don't know, bribe somebody into naming an espresso after me or something. That's that's Okay, this guy didn't didn't mess with Rainbow as much as Microsoft messed with me. To be fair, if what are my I, my nemesis? Let, let's let's recount all my nemesis that I have. Chat. Okay, it's Microsoft. E easy, easy. It's Google because Google owns YouTube. It, it's it's Amazon and Twitch. Uh who else? No, notice there's just three companies I that without I'm I'm um I live in a gutter, okay. Okay, th three three companies that I live in a gutter without. All right, I'm actually in a gutter without them. Mike, it's probably faster to name all the people that aren't your enemy. <laughs> Oh, Adobe. Oh, my God. Adobe, dude. Adobe. Adobe basically mugged me for, like, six years. Took, like, $300 a, a, a year to use, like, garbage software. How much money is that? $300 a year for, for, for like, six years? Pete Davidson. Guys, I have no problem with Pete Davids Davidson. I, I have no problem with Pete Davidson other than other than that he looks like that. Alright? I have no That's my only pro that's my only problem with him. <laughs> uh he was in the new Mr. Beast video. Mr. Beast yeah, he he hung out with Mr. Beast on Mr. Beast's like billion dollar yacht or something. Yeah, he's that was the new the, Mr. Beast's new video. He hung out with 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 Pete Davidson. Do we got enough people in here, guys?
Guys, pick your team for identification. Um, I, uh, it's kind of an honor system thing, I guess. But, I mean, like, you can't really predict what's going to happen anyway. Oh, yeah, they can join mid-game. That's true. I did forget that. Okay, yeah, you could just join later. I f keep forgetting that that's a thing. Uh, okay, so... Let's come to a conclusion about the hat now. Okay, this is gonna also going to be weird to write on it, because I'm going to have to wear it backwards, otherwise you're going to see the top top Gluck thing again. And I know what chat's thinking. Chat's like, Mike, why didn't you go, go get a new crown from Burger King? Well, I don't know. Why don't you shut up? Okay. So we should have three free um things C royal titles for me to write on the hat the winner i write whatever you I, I write whatever it is on the hat and then i wear it for the rest of the night that's how we do this i wish there was a way to get the pen off of the cat but there's not you guys have to figure that out among yourselves what you want the hat to say I, I semen imbiber. How do you guys feel about semen imbiber? I thought it said Justin Bieber. It says semen imbiber. Um, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything that's that's making me. That's really stimulating me right now. Semen ambassador damaged. <laughs> <laughs> is damaged one of them? Damaged. It might be damaged. <clears throat> I kind of like that. Maybe. Now who's now who's what what team put forward damaged? MF Puma, thanks for 26 months. MF Puma says, I got banned by Twitch for unsolicited sexual advances, which is, most likely, for yelling, show penis, whenever you say, what are we doing now? You were right. Twitch is coming for our cum. Guys, it's not a joke anymore. You gotta stop saying things like that. Gotta stop. Gotta, gotta stop. Can't do that anymore, guys. Can't do that. Can't be like that anymore, guys. Well, I mean, a lot of you are now spamming it as a joke, but you guys are going to get your accounts suspended. Please stop. It's not a joke, guys. It's, it, this is serious, guys. Um, it, Yeah, like, you, you guys are... Like, please... No, re really, a, a lot of you are legitimately gonna gonna get gonna get like a like a temporary timeout for a uh, temporary um suspension for what you just did. I did w watch. I it's not a joke. MF Puma was banned for a week for that, uh, apparently. Guys, I have to ask you to stop doing that. And, and moderators, this is what I'm talking about. You, you got to actually just start like timing people out for, for being like that. Be because it, it's, you know what it's like, guys? It's like the pandas that keep eating their own babies because they're too stupid. Remember we were talking about the pandas who, who just like fucking are, who are just marching headlong into extinction because they're too fucking stupid to act like in their own self-interest. Okay, uh, bike. Yep, that's us. <laughs> um, so what are we gonna do with the hat, guys? How we how how do we figure that out last time? Is the Burger King crown reversed? It it is because if I turn it back around, it's gonna say top gluck. I mean, the other thing, I guess I could turn this inside. Well, if I turn it inside out, now it's just you got Burger King logos and shit. You ain't gonna see if I write something on there. You're not gonna see it. So I think it's got to be this way. 
It's Burger King, guys. You can't have it your way. Chad, say what team you are on while making a suggestion. Buy a 10-pack of crowns? I should, yeah. 10-pack of crowns. And then just maybe I get like a <clears throat> like a label maker. I still want no loads refused. Okay. No loads refused. I want that one on there. That's that's perfect. Yellow team. Uh, yeah, okay, so grandees, no loads refused. Do we want damaged? Matt Mellon wants me to put, I want to kill the president. No, I don't think that's a good idea, guys. No loads refused is very funny to me. Yeah. I just bought land in the metaverse. That is way too long. Yeah. The Here's one for the barons. I think there's, if you read this, you are gay. Guys, it, it, that's too long. You, they, these things got to be shorter. I got to write this manually on this hack, guys. I'm red. I'm I'm red. You I I'm red. If you read this, you are gay. It won't even be legible on on this crown, guys. It's got to be short and pithy, like top like top glunch or whatever. Top gluck. <laughs> Lobster King. Okay, put Lobster King. That one's good. Okay, no loads refused. Lobster King. Is it for the Barons? I don't know. I think yes. What is Streamer's Court? You're going to find out later, buddy. Right, in the last game, the Barons tried to overthrow the crown and failed miserably. And it was it was awesome because the Barons were um had won the previous game, so they put their 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 choice on the crown. And then they overthrew their own they or they attempted to rebel against their own party. It was extremely stupid. And actually, the new update is going to address that stuff. Mega Shell with uh, 76 months. Thank you so much, Mega. Um, okay, Barons have Lobster King. Grandees get no loads refused. And the Patricians get damaged. Okay, I... That's good. I like that. I'm... I'm that's... I'm signing off on that. That's good. Now, I... If I win, what happens? Nothing goes on the hat? I guess nothing goes on the hat. Alright, the council introduction. We've all seen this, right? Here's your patricians, your grandees, and your barons. Alright, we, we don't we don't use the, the, the Vikings, the blue one, the, t the blue team, because they're, like, cracked. And it's gross. Um, also, I feel like the purple team is a little cracked, too. 
Mike, if you win, you can write Mike. Mike is right on your crown. Path to victory. Uh All right, let's see what we got. So military. Okay, so in other words, we're going to have to get the military stat overall combined, like, really high. I can see the barons are still decimated com completely. Man, that was what that was that was awesome, wasn't it? Um, it is a continuation, yeah. It is. Um, hold on. Um, that's fine. Okay. Not or not too much headroom, maybe. Uh, but the grandees have an eight stat. That's cool. But I, I mean, I, inevitably the Baron's military is going to go back up. It could be military. Well, I mean, really, the, the patricians have to. I don't know. Uh, authority. Yeah, maybe. Uh, because I, I think I keep a lot of these stats just because like I won the last game. Uh, trade. Trade looks great, actually. Um, as a peacekeeper, uh, goal stability, parent of the nation, farming fit. I'm going trade. Trade looks amazing. Look, look, we got solid stats for two of them. Patricians are absolutely probably going to get... They're probably going to want to get more trade at some point for one of their schemes or something. So let's go trade. Yeah. Okay. Um, faith. Uh, it, it, it could have been faith, honestly. Uh, I, I kind of didn't kind of jump the head there. Uh, trade's looking better. Uh, your honors, uh, your your on your honesty. It was an honor to serve your mother. It was an honor to serve your mother, chat. But now it's your time to wear the crown. The council will decide what happens at your coronation. Okay. You want to get me wet, guys? Throw the monarch into the river. Authority drops. Stability goes up. I will veto. Uh, that because I don't want you spending all that money on me. That's a lot of money. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I uh, don't. I don't. I don't care for it. These look different. Outdated traditions. There's no need for a coronation and authority drops. And also, this one costs a thousand. When, why is this bad? I, I, is that new? They didn't update this game. I just. I never seen those things before. Right. All right, looks like I'm getting wet tonight. Guys, I just took a I just took a shower, believe it or not. Yeah, so the authority will will drop. Um we'll get it back maybe. So if you buy the game, you get um the ability to design your noble. Catfish is going to bite my wiener again. Yeah, the game is $5, guys. Oh, and you actually end up getting a higher chance to appear in game at, at, during an event. If you if you bought the game, your your RNG for appearing in events is a little bit better. Um I really I feel like I want to encourage everybody to support these devs because they work really hard and they have a lot of big ideas for this game. I was ta I was talking to one of the devs. They have a lot of big ideas, but um, they're they're not currently really able to, to, to execute any of them because their their budget is kind of, you know, um, it, it, it's not the dream you know what i mean like so the, i i hate when somebody's gotta like make compromises like oh we can't do the things we want to do just because you know we can't afford it so 
I feel like I want to, yeah, I want to encourage people to, 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 uh, to buy copies of this just because if we buy copies of this, we're going to get more content for this game. Um, and I like that. I think I want that personally. I think a lot of you do too. So, um, Otto of the Ivan WB Bloodline, Sinister Marcher Hellion, stands before a blazing hearth, yelling at full volume. Yeah, the game's $5 on Steam. We When have the Barons of the March back down from a fight? Never. I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful king, on the throne. Uh, Alright, so here's your pick. You picking your ambition. Uh, or your your scheme, Mark, uh, Barons. Pick your scheme. Modernization, lower others, military. Could do. Uh, you got a gunpowder plot. Fucking remember, remember. Um, what is what the what of what November? What? You know what I'm referencing, okay? Remember, remember, your mom sucks my member. Um, lower authority, right? Uh, which, okay, we already had a head, you got a little head start on that. I don't think I've seen this one. The Republic of Kurth. Has this substance called gunpowder. With enough of that, the barons could take over the kingdom. Of course, a sensible monarch would never allow one region to hoard such a thing. To do so secretly, the barons must ensure their trading partners don't fear the monarch's wrath. To advance the scheme, the barons must lower authority to four or less in two seasons. Good luck. Grandees, what are you going to pull? Jake Bob. Uh, powerful former priest stands bathed in sunshine, ranting in a fury. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. You gonna let that go unanswered? The barons are gonna shit when they see the third stage go. The reason that we're seeing new shit, by the way, is because we're continuing the dynasty. I just realized that. We've, we've, like, never got this far, is what's happening. I, did, I, I just thought it was random, like, RNG, that we hadn't seen these things before. But that's why we're, we're seeing these things now, right? That's awesome. All right, you guys are going for subterfuge. Lower stability. I mean, I got a pretty solid stability stat here, guys. You're probably going to have to get it to four or less. Yeah, okay. And we got the Pats. Man, yeah, freaking sweet. Go Pats. That's freaking wicked, Lois. Yeah, you go Pats. Sorry. Uh, Julian of the Tiberium Matt family, eccentric former pirate, scribbles with a well used quill on a hardwood desk, muttering in frustration. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is more leg legitimate than monarch Agnes II. Intimidation. Raise stability. I'm putting you at direct odds with the gra uh, grandees. Conspiracy. Lower treasury. Yeah, it's, treasury's looking pretty... Pretty flush right now. Uh, corruption. Lower authority. So that'll put you in cahoots. Cahoots with the barons if you do that. Okay. But it's going to be the same stat. Four or less. Guys, in my opinion, that was a little stupid because now I just have to worry about two things instead of three things. Like, if you had chose something else, you're forcing me to, like, spread myself thinner. Go back? <laughs> Fuck no, go back. <laughs> but we could do it harder. I, I mean, I, I guess this, I guess this means that the the barons and and the uh, patricians 
are, are going to be, yeah, working together in tandem here. Never interrupt your enemy when they're making a mistake. I didn't say, I, th I thought that, but I didn't say it out loud till they were done voting. All right. Uh, what do we want to do here? Um, the iron choice, maybe. Unity. It's the iron choice. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they gain plus one authority. Oh, I, 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 I can fuck with you guys so bad with that, right? With, with this. All right. Um, let's let's start. Uh, I can't read that. Uh, let's start there. I guess. The printing press. A blacksmith in the south has come up with the, some sort of printing contraption. Yes, and, well, I stuck my dick in it, and, well, let's just say, uh, I have the 95 thesis on my foreskin. Oh, books. Boring! Don't you see how dangerous this is? Books should stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Okay. Allow printing presses to be used by the masses. Taffy contraption from the 1920s. <laughs> Alright, we can lower authority here. Uh, and stability in one in one fell swoop. Well, like all of you would love to get in on that. Right? I, I would imagine. Or you guys would love that. I mean that that everybody wins with that one. That's nuts. Only the church may use printing presses, okay? Uh, only the university may use printing presses or forbid the use of printing presses. All right, well, I, I feel like this one at least will... Um, will raise stability while lowering authority. Um, I could put the iron choice on A... To offset what happens when you guys pick that? Okay, well, I, I think the the obvious thing... I, I think... Okay, so you guys will pick C. I will pick A. Because at, le because at least when you guys pick C, stability goes up. For me. So at, le at, at least that will happen. Right. Um, well, on the other hand, you raise trade if you do this, but is it worth it, really? I don't think that that's not worth it. Trade also goes up if you pick C. All right, I'm just going to veto this. Have fun. Okay, obviously, chat chooses C. They're, again, they're just... They're just so restless. Like, they just... They just want chaos. They just want... They're just agents of chaos. The, 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 my subjects are just literally... They're just agents of chaos. Chaos is a ladder. Uh, remember Little Penis? Little Penis was such a fun character. And then, it, and then they like... It, and then the showrunners killed him in like the lamest, most boring, cringiest way possible. To, cause, cause, just because they didn't know what to do with the character anymore. Because fucking... Be, because they ran out of book. Quail University will be proud to take stewardship of the marvelous new technology. Over the next few months, the university publishes countless educational texts. Spreading knowledge that had once been confined to its own library. And trade goes up. Farming goes up. I guess that's cool. And authority goes down by two. Real bummer. Okay, a new plague. It's the dancing plague. You're pulling my leg. I can't be pulling your leg. You're dancing on it. Quarantine the affected villages to drop trade. Authority goes up. Stability goes down. That's if you want to go that... Um, yeah, that footloose route. 
Let it be. How bad is dancing anyway? Hmm. That's fun. Okay, so I'll tell I'll tell you what. You pick that. The only thing you achieve by cho by choosing that is is lowering farming. Right? If I do this. Mhm. Mm Although fine by me because cause you're not gonna will you're not gonna willingly choose the thing that raises my my authority right choose a because the trade goes down it it all it does is hurt mike why do you want to hurt me? but why why hurt me i see this is amazing because chat has developed like like uh, a, a fucking hate boner for me but i didn't even do anything yet like you like in the past they'll be like well you did this and you did this and you did this explain this because i didn't do shit i did nothing to anyone I'm, I can't believe you guys didn't try to lower authority again. Amazing. That actually incredible. Down by two. I'll get it back. And by the way, far farming it it, 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 it was it was, it was trade. It wasn't farming. It was trade. Excuse me. The grandees are being brain dead. I think the grandees are being based as hell. In fact, I think the grandees will be rewarded. Oh, but look at all that. That all oh, the defiance is low. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The nuns. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Playing favorites. They're loyal to me. I'm rewarding loyalty. What, what's not to understand about that? The rest of you are being little fuckers. And they're being based as fuck. Why would I not reward them? You know? Of cronyism. <laughs> no, it's not cronyism. Get out of here. Alright, we got an auction. You got that... Uh... Prison, if you want to fund that to lower my stability, I, I, or, or, no, it's authority that you guys want to lower. You, so you, you want to get that theater funded, right? So we have Team Christmas here, making sure that that fucking theater gets built. Okay, and you have the uh, grandees ensuring that. That gets, but guys, I feel like honestly, you you, you ain't you, you ain't pulling this off. So why don't you just help me? Like like recognize that that's not happening and just help me. Like be cool now because this is the, you guys. You're you're not doing this. You there you you know you're, it's funny you're you're all wasting money. You're wasting a fuck ton of money, guys. It's all you're doing. Wild. Waste the money. Wait, you should have should have spent more. Should have spent more. Why not spend more? All right. Uh, finding a spouse. Okay. Some of the continued dynasty options are minus two stability. Don't listen to his lies. I'm not lying about anything. Okay. Uh, a laughing stock. Now right, let's check it out. Your Majesty, the acclaimed playwright Percival Crawford. Imagine that's a real name, Percival. Imagine being called that. <laughs> I would never take a person named Percival seriously ever. That's a rad name. It, it, it's, it's, it. You're an RPG character. You're not a real person. 
My name is Percival. Imagine saying that in bed. Oh, Percival. Oh, Percival hit my G spot. Stop. No. That's a that's a that's a boner killer right there. You know what's a horrible name, guys? Pierce. You ever think about that? Like that guy's name is just Pierce, like Pierce Brosnan. Pierce? That's horrible. What are you walking around in, walking around named Pierce? Anyone here named Pierce? Big Genghis with 30 months. Thanks, bud. Pierce. Pierce Morgan. That guy's name is Piers. Like, like where you dock boats? Uh, what's the problem? Okay, the character's a character based on you. An admiring homage. How delightful. Okay, you look like an asshole, right? Monarch Biffo. I'll attend the play. The show must go on. Uh, they found someone who looks like me. How do I re react? Climb onto the stage. Congratulate the actors on a hilarious play. The audience break out into relieved cheers. The actors bow before you, weeping from gratitude. We get stability and authority. How much money did the grandees waste? Like $30,000? That's already been nullified? Guys, just work with me, guys. Just, just let's, let's be buddies. Come on. James W. Big Mac. Thanks for the resub, man. It sucks if you know the answer to these. It's an instant win for you. It sucks when people complain. Is what sucks, right? And then everybody clapped, right? Arm shortage. Imagine me, of all people, saying that. Uh, okay. Your Majesty, the situation is dire. Our once proud army lies in ruins. And now, the Ash Median border lies undefected. Undefended, what? Um, I don't need to remind you the danger those bastards pose. No, you know what else you don't need to remind me of? The danger that you bastards pose. And, and you and you know and you know what and you know what I think I like you guys this way because no matter how pissed off you get it you get at me you can't do fucking shit right hire a mercenary company to protect the march nah conduct an extensive marcher recruitment campaign no. Force farmers to join the marcher military. Okay. The march has no need of soldiers. Leave them be. Okay. So what's the one that you want to choose to fuck to fuck me over? You want to probably choose A to fuck me over because you want you want to drain my treasury and like okay. Okay. Um The march has no need of so. I mean, 90 st stability will be something good then. Uh, I I could veto a. Um. I guess. It just means it'll pass the check, right? But we don't know what it what it'll what the effect of it will be, right? Could, like, it could be something that, like, fucks me hard. Force farmers to join the march military. All right, well, o o only barons are voting on this. Right? Oh, it's everyone. Well, I don't know. How do the other two teams feel about the barons having a military again. Don't you kind of just want to use them as a punching bag, guys? Fuck them? Like, I, I feel like it'd be, it'd be fun to, conti to continue, you know, 
just shitting on them, right? I want them to have low military. All right. So then don't force farmers to join. Uh, the authority thing... Eh. All right, so like on the off chance, what should I do? Fuck. Hmm. It's kind of a hard. I, I feel like I feel like no matter what I do here, it's gonna be like the bad decision. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna veto this because I don't want that to happen, I guess. I also, I'm, I'm kind of scared of what happens if that authority role fails. Right? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna let that happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna veto that. I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what happens there. I wonder why so many patricians are voting for A right now. I don't... Drain him to drain me. Very cool. Defiance is now insolent. Stability is now peaceful. Who are the heroes that voted for D? It was awesome. A lot of grandees voting for D in there, huh? The grand the grandees, guys, I will continue heaping heaping rewards upon you. Not everyone in the kingdom believes in military might. Although the barons are furious, you've left them out to dry. Other nobles praise your forward-thinking attitude. Perhaps this armament is really on the horizon. Let them stay mad. Stay mad. Stay mad, barons. Stay mad. Stay fucking mad. Okay. We want zero taxes. If I can swing it. Amidst dark and foreboding forest, a small squat castle stands watch over the marcher border. Okay, here's the gunpowder thing. You have to raise your own trade to five or more in four seasons. Uh-oh. The patricians invest wisely in wine exports, making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Okay. We will be taxing the ever-loving fuck out of all of you. Because I'm angry. And we will bribe the beautiful grandees, of course. I'm, I'm very angry. I'm very angry. About what just happened. And I'm very angry about stage two of the Baron's plot. Okay. Man, maybe if we get the Barons mad enough, they'll be they'll be dumb enough to rebel. That'd be hilarious if they were if they went. <laughs> they would too. They would. They they would do it. They would do it. They would. Dynasty event. A new book. Your Majesty, I approach you with a delicate matter. A monk in the south by the name of Gidelfrith has been writing a history of the kingdom. But I regret to say that his assessment of your mother is most unkind. Since you were Queen Agnes' direct heir, this also reflects poorly on you. How unkind. Let's just say that Gidelfrith would have been executed for treason if he wrote this while your mother was alive. He compares Queen Agnes to a whore who sleeps with Twitch streamer Jabroni Mike. An addled goat whose donkey kicked 
Donkey kicked Alzheimer's brain is riddled with worms and rocks. Also, she's a stupid red bitch. Wow. He thinks he's being unbiased. Apparently, it's the result of his research. You know, she did have some brain worms. It's true. Allow the book to be published. Arrest Gittelford and burn all copies of the manuscript. Script. Okay. Um, we don't like the authority going any lower. You know what would be really epic, guys? Is it? And, and, and I believe this is a... Is this a grandee's vote? B is epic. B is pretty epic because it, it drains my, my fucking balls. It's everybody. Guys, you know what would be mega mega poggers? I want I want you to think about how funny it would be. Just think about think about how funny it would be. If you guys voted for D. Okay, and and I put the and I put the iron choice on D, and we butt fucked the the patricians by we butt fucked them by two points. Would, would would how funny would that be? That would be so fucking funny if we we did that, right? Don't don't think that'd be funny. That'd be so funny. All right, but calling your mother a donkey-brained, <laughs> a donkey-brained whore is funnier. All right. Um. I mean, B just fucks me. I I, I just feel like if I put wherever I put the iron choice, that's the thing you're not voting for. So why don't I just go ahead and make sure authority doesn't slip any lower? Because if you vote for that, you're just, you're achieving nothing. Okay? So you guys vote for B. Go ahead. I could take the hit if you, if you have to do that. I still think that D is the funniest option by far, though. Maybe it goes down by two. Maybe! Maybe, maybe it will. Maybe, maybe it will be awesome. They made that maybe, yeah. Try it, find out. Want to find out? You're not interested in finding out. Fucking draining my money actually doesn't really achieve anything, guys. Like, I, it's it's not like any of you have goals for that right now. By publicly offering Gilda Frith your patronage, you change the narrative around this book. If his attacks on your predecessor have your full support, they're no longer as damning to you. The book attracts admiration from monks and scholars throughout the South, and the reputation of the church grows. Why, why can't you guys just be normal, loyal subjects? Why are you so fucking perpetually, fundamentally unhappy in this kingdom? Can you please explain. What do, what what don't you like about about what how I run this place? Okay, what what's what's the problem here? What taxes? That is, is directly your fault. Okay. Eligible options. Okay. Uh, we have Zeno, the wealthy heir to Lady Patrician's estate. Uh, elder brother had an unfortunate accident. He killed him. The in interests are typical of the coast, the money, and making more of it. Unfortunately, he's quite bad at it. All of his business deals seem to fall through. Yeah. Uh... Cool. Okay. We have Bellona, the eldest daughter of the P5 Rav lineage. See that scar? She got it in a duel, duel always challenging people over some splite. She care, slight. She cares for her faith. All his apes are gone. 
She places her faith above all worldly concerns. Despite that, she's said to have collected sins. Like a soldier collects metals. So she's a hypocrite. And then we have Victoria Skyon of the prestigious PTO One Knight Bloodline. Unlike most of the barons, she can conduct an entire conversation without shouting. She can be found at the card table, drunk as a skunk, betting away her inheritance. Despite that, she's obsessed with carving a place for herself in history. She sounds fun. She sounds like a messy bitch who stinks good. Fucking... This is the kind of person that you have stored in your phone as a contact that says absolutely not in all caps. Right? No matter how horny you get, you do not text this person. No matter how drunk you get, you do not text this person. Okay, um, but then you message her anyway with the word hey with a slutty amount of whys. You saw that you saw the, the text I was thinking about. All right, so the text, the tweet I was thinking about. Um, fucking who, whomst. Whomst. Mm. Mike, if you marry the my grandee ho, she will do the king of the castle themed blowjob. Ah. Uh. Hmm. They can't rebel anyway. Yeah, they can't. And and, and here's the, here's the other thing about pissing off, <laughs> piss off red and green more. We've how, we've been playing this game for a while now. And I and I and I know from experience that if I do something where where like if, if, if I so so forget about like gameplay and stats and numbers and everything, and if I were to be like okay patricians. Or barons, I'm going to marry your candidate just as like an olive branch. It will be absolutely meaningless to them. They will plow ahead trying to destroy me. It, is, it, would, be, it, it would mean absolutely nothing to any of them. So we are going to marry... Um, yeah, I'm going to solidify my... my um, Alliance with the Grandees. Is what I'm going to do. It does modify the Defiance stat. It, it, they, they can't rebel. Okay. They, they get, even, if, even if the Patricians start one and they want to join it, they'll be fucking useless. Try them? I don't need to try them. The game probably won't even let them do it. We don't need to rebel. Well, yeah, well, you're going to... What? Is there anything I could do to stop you from doing this? Is there anything I could do to make you... To, literally anything I could do to make you guys not not take this plot forward? Bike. No! No, there isn't. There's, there's nothing I could do or say to make this... To, to end this. So fuck it. Turn off the game. Could turn off the game. Your Highness, my peasants accuse me of hoarding wealth. They want to match their outfits with the decor. Uh, they're throwing down their tools and burning their belongings and saying they want to live an ascetic life and that I should do the same. They want to have more exercise. <laughs> 
Uh, I wish I could do that. What nonsense. They don't want to be pinned down by worldly possessions. But burning them is quite the overreaction. The ringleader of the movement is a philosopher called Ortega. That's... That's the, 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 the people who make the taco shells. Ortega! She calls herself a voice for the ninth god, and the peasants hang on her every word. They'll be at my door any moment. Alright, guys. And you know I can't allow that... That stability to go any lower, guys. Oh, well, you know, man... Send someone to infiltrate the cult. And our, our, you know, I mean, that'll raise the fate stat, but this fate stat can't go any higher for you guys. Aggressively break up Ortega's meetings, which will lower stability. You guys probably want that, but I mean, like, again, are you... Like, why? The grandees are genuinely better off suck, sucking him off. It, yeah, guys, if you're gonna, you're gonna vote for that, you know, I mean... Fire the troublemakers and hire new servants from the coast. That one might end up getting you guys some money. Oh, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you what happens if you pick that. You guys lose money. The grandees lose money, and the and the patricians gain money. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it. No. Okay. I'm going to veto that because I'm not trying to have the stability go lower. I'm not going to leave it up to chance. If you guys want to vote for this, you're just handing money to the patricians. I don't think you should do that. Okay. If you go for A, it will continue this plot line. Right. I mean, maybe the stability going down isn't that bad of a thing. I don't know. It's gonna look. Looks like it's gonna be close. And the vote A for more content. Vote C to just again hand money to the stupid. Fucking, uh, p patricians. <laughs> Never interrupt your enemy while they're making a mistake. I like that. Grandee Some Kitty Cat arranges for one of her few loyal servants to go to Ortega's gatherings. Meanwhile, rich and poor scramble to show off their devotion to the Ninth God in the face of Ortega's surging popularity. Okay. All right. You guys are not able to lower that stability, and that's not going to probably happen, guys. Uh, in, the, in a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Good. Congratulations, guys. The palace officials have been accepting my bribes. They become more open to corruption. What are you getting in return? Not much. A better seat in the council chamber and access to the monarch's rooms when they're out. But the important thing is that the monarch's staff are getting used to selling their principles to the highest bidder. So what next? Palace staff for one thing, but the true prize would be the loyalty of the chancellor and the rest of the monarch's inner circle. To do that, we need to demolish their respect for the monarch. If the kingdom's in chaos, they will see him as an incompetent fool. And be much more open to our bribes. To advance the scheme, you must lower stability to four or less in three seasons. You're done. You're done. Patricians are finished. You're finished. And now, I have bribes. Now. Now. Now I have bribes. Um, 
We got to fucking lower this trade, boys. Let's see what's going on here. Rogue Golem. Oh, we've, we've gotten this like every single time we played this game. Bro, imagine the patrician, uh, the barons. And the, the third step of their scheme is to get their military to like, to like seven or some shit. Wouldn't that be hilarious? All right, a rogue golem has crossed into our territory over the Ashmedian border. We've seen this before. Uh, okay. We know how wrong it can go, guys. And was, I, I want to point that, this out, too. Every time we, they've, like, adopted the golem to try to, like, convert it or whatever, and it's failed, it has been consistently hilarious. Golems are an offense to the ninth god. Use it as a source of labor. Add it to the marcher army. Take it apart and figure out its secrets. Or destroy it. Um, I think everybody votes on this, right? Why risk it working? Yeah. Yeah. This is why I don't bother to play this game, Wanderla said. Chat's a bunch of gremlins that can't work together like Congress. <laughs> they also take bribes. So the similarities are, are boundless. Um, destroy it. Make that stability go up. That'd be pretty sweet. Take it apart and figure out its secrets. Uh, you guys will succeed at whatever that is. With a 100% trade. Yeah, you got a 9 trade stat. So if that ends up getting selected, that'd be great. Uh, add it to the marcher army for, for you guys. I think. I think. Use it as a source of labor. Uh... Hmm. What do I want to discu actively discourage here, probably? By uh, by doing the iron choice. Like, what do you think they want the most? They probably want... They probably want B the most. They have a 60% chance of pulling that off. Pulling that off. Okay, you can try to add it to the army. All right, if take it apart and figure out its secrets. They will succeed at that, whatever that is. But you know what? I, I have a feeling that that may maybe will, like, increase your trade. Guys, I, I, I'm pretty sure your third act is military. So I don't even give a fuck if you advance this part of the scheme. I'm not going to fucking sit here and try to demolish my own trade. Okay. We're I'm going to I'm going to we're going to roll with this. The barons don't give a shit. They 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 don't care about that that iron choice. They want that in their army. They really don't care. They don't give a fuck if that goes up. That is meaningless to them. They really think... Because, again, they, they know... I think they know what's coming down the pipe here. Right? You sure you guys don't want to vote for Bay, for Bay more? You sure... Guys, you sure you, sure you don't want to... We're going to filibuster a little bit here. Why don't you vote for B, guys? Let's get that B. Let's get some more votes for B here. I want B. Let's go. I want that. I want that authority. Let's go, guys. Don't get mad at me. This is my right as the king to filibuster. Guys, I will sit here and read the script of B movie until you vote the way I want you to. Okay, according to all known laws of aviation. OK, 
Okay. Use it as a source of labor. All right, looks like your faith went down, guys. At first, all goes well. The golem works tirelessly, grinding flour day and night. But then, terrible news, my liege. The plushie was inspecting the new golem when it went mad, completely mad. It seemed to think the plushie was a bag of flour. Picked him up, put him in the mill, and made bread out of him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I bet it's very plush bread. Ooh. That's the yeast of his problems. Stability dropped. Okay. And also your farming dropped. Military can't go lower. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. And nothing of value was lost. You could have voted B. What do you mean by that? I didn't vote for anything. I just put the iron choice on something. Plus, she says, not even me. Shut up, bread! You're bread. Bread doesn't talk. Okay. Um... False idols. All right. Well, let's get married first, I guess. <laughs> Shut up, bread. <laughs> he said, being bread is fine. I'm okay with this now. He's bread for success. Uh... Your wedding to Bellona is the talk of the kingdom. Bread, breadga. We need a new emo for him, breadga. Submissive and breadable. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so everybody's coming to... It feels like you're the only one not taking part. You're getting ready for the ceremony. Okay, do you take the woman? I do. Uh, okay, we got our authority. Stability went back up. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new wife dances so vigorously, she spills wine all over herself. I love this sloppy bitch. Actually, that was the, the, the Baron who was, like, really sloppy, right? Good God, I'm so drunk. Oh, no, she's sloppy. And yet somehow not drunk enough. Time for more wine. Servants, bring us wine. Um, so what do you like? Shall we go to bed together? No time like the present. Yeah! Yes! Oh, yeah! Woo! Sex! Segs! Oh, my God. Segs. Segs has happened. She fucks, too. She's fun and sexy, and she fucks. Chad said, that's my... That's my leash! <laughs> that's my leash! Sex. Have sex. Poop my pants, then poop my tent, and then poop my pants again. Sex. Have sex. Dude. You know what emote I think we want in here? Oh, we, we, well, that, that, it's, it's that, it's the let's go emote. The fucking, what is it? It's a tennis ball? Yo, I love that there's a have sex emote. Where did that fucking tennis ball come from, dude? Like, what was, is, it's like a video or an advertisement or something? Like, where did that, it's, it's clip art, I think. Isn't it, isn't it like Microsoft clip art or something? A sports brand? I love that, that, I love that tennis ball. Actually, it, it's the, the energy, dude. There's so much energy in that, that emote. It's a team mascot. So let me, there's like, well, I don't know, a, a, a tennis team. 
that has a mascot that's just a tennis ball? My tennis balls come in cans, just like chat does at parties. Are you, are you making a joke about chat fucking Pring Pringles containers? Cans. I don't. I, I, this is going. I, I genuinely don't get this. The philosopher Ortega is preaching that we can only be close to the ninth god if we reject our worldly possessions, which would be bad enough. But she's also performing miracles. My spy saw her heal a woman's broken arm with a single touch and cure an old man's blindness. Uh, it's probably fake. Is she really a prophet from the ninth god? She must be a witch. Whatever we might think, the peasants believe in her. More of them flock to her barn every day as rumors of miracles spread. Guys, it's a Jesus. The church should perform better miracles and lure Ortega's followers away. Send inquisitors to stamp this out once and for all. Or Ortega's just a healer. Let her carry on doing good. Well... I say, guys, I don't, I'm not really, don't really care for, I don't really care for, uh, the implications of B. And I, I really don't want this authority to drop anymore, man. I feel like having an, author an authority stat this low is not good. Um, I know you guys are thinking. You'd like to see a good old fashioned crucifixion. But I don't know what happens. What's what, what's the fail state of B? The fail state of B concern, is concerning. And we only have a 30% chance of pulling that off. Jay Wimmer with five months. Thanks, man. What's your opinion on poop knives? Love them. I have six of them. I'm actually going to do a sponsorship with them. On 3% of the screen, there's going to be a little poop knife. Um, Only six of them? Really? Uh, the church should perform better miracles. I quite like that one. And I think we would succeed at that one. Guys. Alright. I'm gonna bribe. Or no, no, I'm not. Fuck that. I'm not gonna bribe. I'm gonna veto. I'm going to veto. Well, you know what? I'll just it you just you're just going to pick the other one that I don't want. I think a bribe is the play right here. Yeah, I do. I'm going to bribe you for A. I think that's what we got to do. We got to we got to perform our, our own miracles, better miracles. I love money. I, I, I think it's probably stupid to be giving you guys money. From the king perspective, bribes are deceptively bad. Because, like, you think it's like, oh, well, here's a way to, like, you know, force people to do what you want them to do. But then you're just giving them a shitload of money for them to buy things that fuck you later. Like, I, I don't know. Like, bribes is, is not smart. The Archbishop sends priests to a village long abandoned to drought. Townsfolk from neighboring lands eagerly follow the holy group. Once arrived, the priests' voices rise in choral harmonies. Townspeople join in as rain begins to fall, refreshing the land and turning it green once more. Word spreads through the south that the church could do what Ortega could not. In the end, one of Ortega's own followers turns her into the church investigators. You expect her in the capital soon. Fuck, what if she's like a real Jesus? That'd be messed up. Uh, a philosophical meeting. Ortega arrives in your throne room, dressed in rags and flanked by the palace watch. She lifts her chin defiantly as she walks. 
You wanted to see me? Uh, so, you don't believe in owning things. Getting rid of what's unnecessary is how you move closer to the ninth god. Cool! Okay, then give me all your shit. He has given me the ability to heal, so I must use it. How can you claim to have anything to do with the ninth god? She's a heretic. Plain and simple. By the ninth, I'm no such thing. He's just afraid of whatever he doesn't understand. Okay. We can kill her ass. We can have her exiled from the kingdom, or we could do something to uh, uh, have her preach in favor of the crown. There's a 50-50 chance of something happening. You'd think it would be higher because you have a 10 fate stat in, in this kingdom. Chat, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to do anything here. I think you should choose B because it'll be interesting, frankly. I don't know what the rest of the Defiance going down. I mean, if it's for the grandees, it's already zero. Let's find out what happens. Maybe it'll be funny. Maybe it'll fuck me. Could fuck me. You guys like seeing me get fucked, right? I, Jay, I've never seen this before. I don't know what's going to happen. Could fuck me. That might be, probably be hilarious if I get fucked. I got guys. I have to stop cursing that much because when I stream on YouTube, I'm not going to be able to curse like that. Guy, by the way, I applied for the, the 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 channel memberships on YouTube. They haven't accepted it yet. I don't think I don't think they're gonna. I base. I don't think I'm going to be able to monetize YouTube. They're not. They're just not going to let me. I, I'm fairly certain they're going to reject it. I, I'm 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 pretty sure they're not going to reject it. You can't multi-stream. I, I, I'm I'm still gonna I'm still gonna stream there. I'm still gonna stream there for like growth purposes, and, and like you know, uh, 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 uh di diversification purposes, right? Um, you need to have a certain amount of stream hours watched. Uh, the I I've I've gotten past that part apparently. Um. Mike streaming on YouTube. Yeah, listen. I think I'm going to do one of these streams tomorrow. Subscribe to my full stream YouTube channel. Make a fucking kick account on kick.com and follow me there. Okay? And join our Discord. Because I have to... I have to diversify the portfolio here, guys. Can't, can't, I can't just keep streaming on Twitch, because it's it, it 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 Twitch is killing itself. So that that's the idea. Oh, we failed, and and stability went down. So I got fucked. It was a happy ending for you guys. Um, you know what? That pissed me off. I say we kill her. Um, yeah, let's kill her. Yep, I'm done. I'm over this. That pissed me off. She is beheaded the next day at dawn. Fuck yeah. Ooh! Later, the Archbishop sends you a handsome jeweled chalice as a coincidental gift. Now we're talking, baby. Like that. Good shit. Man, I hope killing her doesn't... ...become a problem later. But, you know, letting her live was going to... Uh, letting her live maybe would have continued this plot line. So, like, maybe I should have let her live. Three days later. We'll see. Well, listen, Jesus got crucified and he hung there and they, they stabbed him and he bled out. You know, I mean, like... Okay, maybe he, you know, he survived it, maybe. Bro, we decapitated her. Jesus didn't sew his fucking head back on, guys, okay? Okay. We decapitated her, dude. There's no way... She ain't coming back from that, man. Right. The quarantine continues. Your August Majesty, you will recall the quarantine you ordered to deal with the Dancing Plague? No? But, but yes? It's been many months since anyone last entered or left the affected area. We think the plague may have run its course. We ask your permission to lift the quarantine. Um, Qu 
quarantine, uh, lift the quarantine trade goes up, defiance goes down. I like a high trade stat, you know, that's good for me. RDDM with seven months. Oh, I really appreciate that, buddy. Thanks for the kind words, man. I hope you're having a great night. Thank you. Continue the quarantine indefinitely. Uh, hire an adventurer to check that it's safe. Uh, declare a mask mandate. Send Lord Patrician Serbeu to check that it's safe. Am I supposed to know who that is? It's one of you, isn't it? Um, 900 uh, coins... Uh, being taken from me. I don't love it. I don't love it. I would like to see A be chosen. I think that'd be awesome. Hire an adventurer to check that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, No more bribes. No more bribes. Can trade go? Maybe we could lose like a, a trade point. I don't know. Patricians, you want to let your trade fall that much? 900 from the treasury. I mean, I could afford that. I mean, it'd be, it'd be kind of a fucking shame because I just got the money. We go D, you want to watch that guy die? You want to you want to watch that chat member be killed for a meme? <laughs> really? All right, well, I think I still want to veto this because I don't trust you guys. Yo, I see them in chat. They're saying, "Hey, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. Dude, that feeling that you're feeling right now is how I feel all night long when I play this. Do you understand that? Where it's, where it's just like, I just see the chat members like just consistently choosing things to fuck me because like for comedy purposes, I guess. I, I, I'm still vetoing this because I don't think I trust you guys, frankly. I... I just feel like you guys still would want to take the opportunity to, like, fuck me over. It, again, it, nothing happens if you do this. Like, this just doesn't change stats. It just kills this guy. It just kills this guy. <laughs> chat, all of chat collectively said, fuck that guy. Why? <laughs> Why? Me, your esteemed highness. You can't be serious. Despite his protests, the monarch's word is final. He is sent into the quarantine zone. You hope to hear back from him soon. All right, so it's gonna it's gonna continue then. Okay. Uh, we got Lord Patrician Smegma Enjoyer official. Not to be confused with the other Smegma Enjoyers, right? The copy the copycats, right? Uh, an opportunity, your esteemed highness, a Kurth ship sunk last week just off our coast. I request permission to salvage the wreckage. Kurth vessels are always full of valuable things. Wait, it might be off your coast, but it's in our waters. Pawn my honor. In fact, it's closer to our city of Sarenza than any of yours. But you ceded those waters years ago in exchange for a chest of silver. You were having money problems. All right, guys. Um, allow the grandees to salvage the ship. Allow the patricians to salvage the ship. This will be funny. Watch this. Patricians, if you want what's in there, you have to give me a fucking authority point. Have fun. Obviously, the grand the grandees should be voting for B because that way you get whatever is in there. Of course, I got the grandees are 
are my um my buddies this this on this round, right? Don't know why I would be seeing grandees vote for A. That's very bizarre. My bitches? No, they're my they're my buddies. I respect them. He doesn't know. Keck. It could backfire. Uh, the operation doesn't get off the ground, so to speak. The reefs where the ship sank are dangerous and full of sharks. After dozens of divers go missing and are presumed eaten, the whole thing is called off. Well, grandees, I'm sorry some of you got yomped, but um, we had a 70% success rate. So, I mean, like, that could have been cool. Yeah. Ah, well, you know, I wasn't trying to fuck you. Wispbone says, that's why I voted for B. Fuck you. <laughs> blame the patricians for this? I do blame the patricians. Completely. I mean, of course I do. They are the reason that were most of this kingdom's problems, like, realistically, if you think about it. All right, guys. Uh, it's uh, it's auction time. I'll be honest. Patricians, grandees. If you really want to get this prison built to lower stability by one. I mean, like, it's your money. I'm just going to get that point back immediately in the next round. So if you want to dump all the money I just handed you into something that stupid, be my guest. Um, I mean, maybe there's something smarter that you could that you could do. I don't know. I have have fun. Go nuts. It looks like people are funding to have that prison built despite what I fucking said. Ama amazingly, despite what I said. Uh, and some people are funding the building of a stadium in the Grandee's realm because they want to lower the Grandee's military because they think it's going to help them somehow, which is silly. You know, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just another big waste of money. We're, we're funding the prison despite what you said, but that doesn't achieve anything. It doesn't... That doesn't do anything. Like, what are you talking... Okay, like, it it, it... it just further fucks you. I don't understand that logic. Alright, so... The Barons chose to raise their trade. Which is amazing for me. Thank you, for guys. I mean, the, 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 are the barons trying to, like, help me out here? Guys, I'm telling you. Your third phase is going to be military. How is that possibly good for you? Because in the beginning of the game, I chose my personal ambition. What is that? That is my win condition. My win condition was, it was a, to have a very high combined trade stat. Right? Um, nobody told him. It's like other teams can put funding into things. Okay, well, you're being sarcastic because they can. But you could see the biggest contributor was a baron. Okay, uh, also, yeah, it, lo it looks like you guys, uh, a, gr a grandee was the biggest contributor to lowering the, my, my stability stat. Wild. I can only assume that you guys just really enjoy wasting money. I... About your hair. 
Your marriage has grown still. Of course it fucking did. Of course it did! Of course it's fucking stale. Oh my god, of course it's stale. It's always stale. Guys, we had an amazing wedding night. We had sex. How come she didn't get pregnant that night? Mike, sp Mike you have weak sperm. Um, you know what? I, I love the my wife and I will have a child together, even though like you can choose that, even though the game just told you that like you have no chemistry with her. Like the game is like your marriage is a complete failure. You know, like and, th and then it's like, oh, well, you could still try to have a child with her. Like, why? What? OK, I'm going to do it for bastard. You still can. I've seen it. But why does it every single goddamn fucking time tell me that the marriage has grown stale? Like, I think once, once the marriage was, was happy. Like, they liked me. Once. Gunpowder smuggling seems bad. Right, let's see this first. News from the quarantine zone. They're back. I've returned unharmed. The plague has run its course and the people are alive. Though I fear they will never dance again. Uh, okay. Lift the quarantine so the coast can return to normal. Um, I have no reason to not allow this to continue. In fact, it is my, in my best interests that this happens. I mean, will the patricians want to sabotage their own trade in order to fuck me? Vote. Vote D to fuck Mike. Yeah? B, excuse me. Either way, I get what I want. I don't lose here. I don't I don't lose here. Okay, very cool. All right, you sure you uh, I'll, I'll filibuster I'll filibuster this for a sec. All right, defiance goes down, trade goes up. I have a total of 26 trade. Okay, b business be turns to usual. Let's let's see what's going on here. Uh, the barons of the march are attempting to amass a store of gunpowder, the explosive back black powder from Kurth. They've established contracts with the merchants, no doubt at great expense, without the coin to purchase more powder. However, the plot will fail. Unfortunately, their trade is booming. They're no doubt stockpiling massive amounts of gunpowder. You bring the revelations to the council. Tariffs? Sanctions? Ooh. Or allowing the barons to import whatever they please. Bribes? 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 Hmm. Listen, by the way, I, I, I should say that I've been assuming that your third phase is going to be military. I don't know that. That, that. that is fucking completely... Genuinely, I have no idea what the fuck. It, it could be anything. In fact, I think you get a vote where you choose between three different things. And obviously, you're not going to choose the fucking military thing. Yeah. So let's delay the scheme. Again, all patricians and grandees should, the in theory, be voting for B to stop their plot from advancing.
You're also going to get some nice money that you can waste frivolously later on. It'll be so fun for you guys because you guys love doing that. Frivolously waste on a building that achieves absolutely nothing for you guys. I know you guys enjoy that. Delayed. By one season. Alright, you guys have still not advanced this. And you're, uh, you're not gonna, guys. Sorry. Okay. The grandees discover a cheap method of making dyes, saving 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Um... You guys want to see something real funny? We have to make back the money that you guys robbed from me. Guys. Okay. Look at the defiance. They can piss and cry all they like. They can't rebel against me. They can't do shit. They can't do shit. They can't do fucking jack shit to me. They can't do it. They, they, <laughs> rebellion would be chat toyed to do. We don't need to rebel. Okay, well, I need money to try to stop the plot that you're going to try to do to me. Okay? And, 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 and again, there's nothing I could do to stop this from advancing now. Right? Absolutely. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Lower the patricians' taxes? Guys, let, let's be honest here. You're not pulling this off. Do you want to come into the fold with the grandees and, and, and respect your king now? Do you want to come back into the fold, guys, and, and, and acknowledge me as your rightful, your, your rightful king? Yeah? You ready to do that, guys? I'll, 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 I'll fucking... I'll, I'll sweeten the pot. Don't let Mike win. What's fun about that? It's so much fun for me winning. I love winning. They all said no. They they did all say no. Oh, okay. All right. That's that's really your choice. All right. I mean, like, I, I, all right. Okay. That's that's what that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Okay. Ooh, the barons are mad. A taxing issue. Oh, they're so angry. Your Majesty, help us. Baron Bungalow the second of the march has been has been bleeding us dry, yes. Not literally, I hope. Now I'm making use of a common idiom, your majesty. Our taxes are ten times higher than they've ever been. I can't afford to feed me cows. It's true, your majesty. Baron Bungalow, too, has been taxing his peasants at least twice as much as the next highest noble. It's been hard for a year, my liege. I have barely any gold in the vault. I'm doing what I can to stay afloat. What about this poor peasant's cows? This is a matter for the council's consideration. Or you're having a hard time, I'll let you off. He gets 750 wealth. Defiance goes down. And farming goes down. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You know what? Fuck it. Sure. Yeah. But think of me cows, your honors. Think of me cows. Uh, the defiance is now insolent. Barons get money. And your farming goes to zero. You know what? So, when the third stage of their plot is going to be something like, you know, either you get your military stat up, or you get your faith up, or you get your farming up, right? 
Dude, th this place is a fucking mess, dude. Th this this kingdom is a disaster. They right, they have trade and nothing else. And again, don't forget that that trade is helping me. Oh, dude, they're mad. Your Majesty, that troublesome philosopher Ortega is gone, but her followers are marching on our estates demanding justice. It's the same in the coast. They're making her into, her into a martyr. I should have known better. I should have known better. Ah, uh, fuck my ass. Um, send the Royal Army to put a stop to it. Lower stability. Raise authority. Ask the church to preach forgiveness on all sides. We have a good chance of pulling that off. That'd be nice, huh? Or C, pay the grandees to give an amnesty to Ortega's former followers. I lose money. Uh, the grandees get money. Could be nice for everybody. My stability will go up again. Uh, that's cool. I don't like it. Choose. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that. Guys, I'm going to need this money. Sorry. I'm going to need this money. I have, I have a strong feeling I'm going to need this money. Lower the stability one. My authority will go up. There. Okay. And now. The authority and the stability will be balanced more which i think is going to be is going to be good i think that benefits me having those two having those two stats closer i think is 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 good i think that's in my best interest i think so all right a spot of heresy especially when we find out what their third i we i want to know what their third thing is your Majesty, I am stunned, outraged, and incensed. I've been summoned to trial by the Inquisition on some nonsense fabricated charge. They're claiming I'm part of a cult because of the peculiar design of my crest and how I have exactly 10 people at every meal and the strange noises from hidden chambers. It's ridiculous. You're acting like a count, Odin-sama. No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inquisitor. The trial is set, but the council must intervene, my liege. Though she remains silent, the council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. Search for a witness to defend Baron Odin-sama. Help the Inquisition gather evidence against Odin-sama. Or suggest that he pray for a good outcome. Mm -hmm. So, grandees, patricians. You want to fuck this guy? You want to, yeah, you want, you want to fuck this guy over? You want to fuck this guy over? All right, iron choice. Suggest he pray for a good outcome. Um, I'll put that here, just in case. Just in case. Just in case people decide they want they want to do that. After all, I'll get a little. I'll get a stability point. But I I, I think this will be cool right here. I think B will be cool. And I could have put the iron choice. I feel like if I had put the iron choice on B, then 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 A would have won, right? If I had done that, right? Would have been cool to have the the authority. Uh, okay. Oh, authority did go up, as it turns out. Got what I wanted anyway. Uh, defiance has gone up. Good. Hose mid. Hose mid. Hose mid. 
It turns out Odin-sama held meetings with known disciples of the Tenth God in their primary residence. Upon hearing the news, the High Inquisitor gives you a thin smile. Whoa! My Majesty, it is very interesting indeed. The Inquisition thanks you. They gave me a thousand coins and killed him! He's dead! Nice bribe. Oh, nice. We'll take it. We take those. We take those. All right, Barons, what you gonna do? Great God. Black gold dust. And what are those? Cannons, my good friend. And muskets, too. Courtesy of Kurth. They were very happy with our business. Their military went up one. Now to decide what to do with all of it. Once we show our hand, there's no going back. Okay. Raise stability or raise your own military. Obviously, it's going to be stability. Which I which which I which I prepared for. By the way. Look at that. Look at this guy. Who's this? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's the Guy Fox. They're up. They're gonna get up to some Guy Fox bullshit. Before we can sneak this stuff anywhere, we'll have to lull the monarch into a false sense of security. Not to mention the fact that the roads need to be safe for transport. For the final stage, you have to raise stability to eight. And now you are working in direct opposition to the other two teams who are trying to lower it. That will make the building phase very interesting, I think. Right? The, au the auction phase is, is going to be really interesting. Uh, call for unity, the vote. Uh, after voting, I, I, I think I have what I, what I need here. And I guess being able to manipulate stability is cool, I think. Maybe. Especially since it's going to be so important. Right? Um, maybe we lose the iron choice in favor of this. Yeah. Only up, though. Only up. I know. I see that. Only up. Fuck. Only up, not down. Hmm. Maybe we don't... Why would you ever want it up? Because if it, if it gets to four... If it gets to four, then these two things succeed. Both of these things will succeed if it gets to four. And, that, and that's a little spooky, right? It's not necessary. Well, it might not be necessary. Red is on their final stage. They're on their they're on their second. You know what? I think that makes sense because this is still their 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 second phase. This this is the the Baron's. It's like what their fourth. Fuck it. Third. <laughs> Food riots. <laughs> Oh, no. We're hungry! Oh, barons. You need food because you because of the, the famine? Oh, no. I'm going to do something really kind for you guys. I'm going to open, right in your capital city, the kingdom's very first Subway sandwich shop. And then you can all eat shit! And then you can all eat shit. We're going to hire a baby dragon and a cheetah to work in there. 
and then you guys can eat delicious shit sandwiches all night. What do you say? Let them eat shit! Let them eat shit! By royal decree! Let them eat shit! Eat fresh! And you'll be able to have it on, yeah, on fresh, uh, freshly baked plushy bread. With, uh, several different Italian herbs and spices. Actually, right? Your Highness, the famine in the march grows worse by the day. Riots are breaking out in all the major townships from Kellenberg to Zerbermer. I should have took the other fucking the stability thing, guys. This is why I needed the stabi this is why I needed the stability thing. And you know what? I I I was gonna take it and then I let chat talk me out of it because I'm brain dead. Send in the army to control the riots. 40% uh, military. Could do. Imports more, import mass amounts of food from Tavalin and Kurth. That's pretty expensive. Raise the farming. Fuck you. The Baron should buy up surplus grain from the Grandees. Ooh, Grandees. What do you think of that? Order grain supplies to be diverted from the south. That costs money. That lowers trade. Mm. Grandees, I'm going to make it even sweeter for you guys. Let's do it. Wealth transfer. The farming will go up, which I, which doesn't matter now. Actually, go ahead. You guys will get a lot of... Grandees will be so... Loaded from this. And so will anybody else who chooses C. Let's go. The Grandees, my... My royal subjects, the Grandees. They're so best. You know what? That honestly, that stability thing anyway was going to be useless because any because how many times did you did you see the authority one actually work out? Well, that wasn't going to matter. Backed into a corner, the barons are forced to pay steeply for the grain surplus from the south. Holding all the cards, the grandees price gouge outrageously and enjoy a tidy profit. <laughs> Don't be upset. It's just good business. Outlaws based grandees. Yo, the patricians are taking notes on this one. Holy shit. Beautiful. Nice. All right. The need for horses now. Your Highness, I've been thinking. Marshal soldiers are without peer. They're without P? Let's get these people some P immediately! No soldier should be without P. Oh, peer. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but our armies could always be stronger. What we really need are better horses. The kind that are real, you know, real piss cutters. We need a real piss cutter, guys. The best don't come cheap. The Ash Medians have a surplus of destroyers at the moment. Horses bred for war. Bread? Plushy? Perhaps the crown could go halvesies with the barons to acquire some for the good of the kingdom. Yeah, I'll go halvesies. Um, uh, as in like half my cock down your throat. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. 
purchase horses from from Ashmead. Uh, encourage the barons to breed their own. Discourage the reliance on war horses. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. No. Yeah, 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 no. Beatboxing. You know what always annoyed me? Yay. When people are like, yay or nay. Shut the fuck up. It's yes or no. Yay. Sound like an asshole. All right. Good job, guys. Some real bootstraps attitude from the Barons here. You love to see it. They're slowly getting their stats back after being decimated like fucking three games ago. A late night visit. One evening, you're sorting through paperwork in your office when Lord Patrician Dave appears at your door, swaying slightly and stinking of booze. Your Majesty, I'm sorry to speak to you in this condition. Uh, let me get you a glass of water. Glass of whiskey, did you say? I just need to tell you, if the Archbishop asks you about what happened to his hat, tell him I'll pay for a new one. I was desperate, and the privy was occupied. Did you shit in the Pope's hat? <laughs> you shit in the Pope's hat? He stumbles away, knocking over a priceless vase. You make a mental note to charge them for the damage. Um, That guy, I'm going to make that guy my heir. Because of how based that was. I'm not, I'm sure, it's surely not a coincidence that the Archbishop arrives at your throne room the next day, looking even grumpier than usual and hatless. Your Majesty, there's a plague afflicting this kingdom. A curse more powerful than any wizard could cast. I speak, of course, of alcohol. People are spending their evenings in alehouses rather than in prayer. We must ban this vile vice. Um... Mm, penis. Okay, well, the only thing I can do is that. So that'll at least kind of preserve the authority. Um... Yeah, that's, I'm fucked. Now I'm basically fucked. Yeah. No such laws will be passed. Oh, you guys are, you guys are voting with your hearts on this one. You're not even thinking about do, doing something to fuck me over. You just want to do the right thing here. It looks like. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would, fuck, that's what I would have done. I mean, fuck that shit. I ain't having a dry kingdom. Are you high? You're drunk. What have you been fucking drinking, Archbishop? The ninth god will judge this council. Go, go for it. Well, now this is happening. Okay, we need to increase the pressure. The grandees must lower authority to four or less. You guys are not doing that. Okay, sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa. Guys, even if I had picked that stability thing, it would not have prevented this. All right, we got... Uh, uh, there's a... The marshal is here. They're bribing my fucking marshal. Uh, noble patrician Colostomy Bagel made some excellent points about the monarch's incompetence. The most persuasive part was the giant bag of gold. Boo! Unfortunately, the spy master and the chancellor still remain beyond our grasp. What are you going to do about it, guys? Lower the treasury or raise others' defiance? You're going to have a hard time getting that grandee defiance up, though. But you do have a head start on the barons. I think it'd be easier to drain my treasury, frankly. You, uh, you, you, you might, you might have it. It might be six total. If it's combined six, you have it. 
Bring down the monarch in a bribery scandal. We're going to make the monarch look like the corrupt one. Deflection. Works like a charm. All right. Uh, raise the other regions of the fines to a combined total of 10. Or ensure another region begin begins a rebellion. Fuck. All right, now we now we have to, yeah, now now na now we have to play nice with the barons because I I have to prevent that now. Rebellion will fuck the barons hard, but benefit the patricians. You know what? You know, actually, I'm 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 fine. I I won. I just won the game. Because there's no fucking way they're actually gonna get the barons to do that. Because while the barons can be profoundly stupid, there's no way they're that stupid. There's no there's no way. Plus she says try us. <laughs> Are you guys really dumb enough to try to rebel like this? Really? You are? You are you though? <sighs> guys, it does it does nothing for you except failure and it just allows the patricians to win. Is that really what how you what you want to do? I would rather the patricians win than Mike. Oh, well, if you're going to be like that then okay. I mean, you still lose. We just lose together. We're we're just, we're just then we're both losers. Okay? Meanwhile, I'm doing a, 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 a fucking royal decree right now. That if I win, the grandees also won. And what was the, what did the grandees want me to write on the crown? No loads refused. Grandees, if I win... I can use this as a bargaining chip. If I win, I will write no loads refused on on my on my crown to show to celebrate our alliance, grandees. Yeah. Meaning the grandees must do everything in their power. So it, basically if I win, you win. That's cheating. Where is how, how is that cheating? Where and how is that cheating? Where and how is that cheating? That's a load? That's not a load. I will write that on my crown, guys. I will write no loads refused on my crown. Okay? What about writing other people's names when they donate bits or subs on it? Yeah, may maybe. Um, I mean, that's going to take a lot of time to be constantly sitting here and writing names on there that aren't going to be legible. Um, Mike, write it on your cleavage. That's Were you watching the, the hot tub stream recently to come up with that idea? Your hair. Alright, we, we got the baby. We finally got the baby, guys. Uh, my legitimized natural born child, okay? Stability goes up by one point. They needed they needed to be seven. Uh, authority, okay. Though the common folk may lose some faith in the church, seeing their monarch's extramarital affairs being forgiven so easily, dude, thank God I didn't go for a faith victory. Uh, Agnes the third, very cool, very cool, okay. Expect a visit from the spy master soon. Hooded Guru says, I can't wait to push its soft spot in, my king. There was a fucking scene in Game of Thrones where, like, I just can't... I, 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 it happened in the books. I don't know if they showed it in the show. I think they did show it in the in the show. Where somebody picked up a baby and 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 just like fucking like smashed it against the wall, like it was fucking insane. Like you picked up a baby and like flicked it into the fucking wall, 
Like, it was fucking crazy. That happened in the Bible? The mountain did it, yeah, the mount- The mountain, it, it was, uh, it was, it was a Targaryen baby, right? He just picked it up and, and like, fucking smacked it against the wall and, like, its head exploded. It was like, what the fuck? It was demented. You just made me think about it. It was demented. It's from Palm 137. Blessed is he who seizes your little fellas and smashes them against the rocks. Why are people saying based? People are saying based. What the fuck? Guys, that's not good what I said. That's not a good thing, guys. That's not based. Are you okay? A new contraption. Your Majesty, a Lord Patrician by the name of Sweet Maddie G wants to present you with a new invention. The Cock Gobbler 5000. I guess it's like a, like a dick sucking machine. I mean, didn't really think about it before I said it. That's a problem I have, isn't it? Thinking about we're not thinking about things before I, I say them, right? We are entering a modern age, a more humane age, yet botched executions are commonplace. Decapitations where the head doesn't come off or hangings where it does. No more. Behold, a merciful machine for removing heads quickly and painlessly. I call it the Sweet Matty G. He swishes away a cloth to reveal a huge machine of iron and wood. It has a hole for someone to place their head. And a heavy blade dangling ominously above it. The sight sends a chill down your spine. You want to name it after yourself. Why not? It's a machine of mercy. With a little funding, I can distribute the sweet Matty G across the kingdom. Um... This is going to get used on me. I mean, that's what these are for, typically. Like, I, 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 I'm not into this. Okay, I mean, bring it to the council. I'm not bringing it to the council. We're not calling it the Smeet. I don't care what it's fucking called. Get it out of here. We ain't doing that shit. Blistering heat. Your Serene Highness, unfortunate tidings, summer has been exceedingly hot, and the citizens have been dying from the heat. The harvest will be poor, as you can imagine. Is there something I can do? Perhaps. Force peasants to work through the summer. Okay, that will raise authority. Which the grandees are not going to like. Uh, it'll also lower stability, which is sort of irrelevant right now. Uh, actually, with that, that's not irrelevant. That is not cool for the barons. Encourage regional immigration to supp supplement the labor market. Which will also lower stability and trade. It's... I guess that's good for me, bad for the barons, but also bad for me in the in the grand scheme of shit. Uh, and we're mandate midday siestas, which will uh, lower farming, lower trade, increase stability. Yeah, we know we know likey that. We know likey that one, siestas. What do we look like? Filthy Europeans! Oh my god, I work so hard today. I go to work at 10 a.m. And then I work for two hours. And then I stop and drink an espresso for one hour. And then I go back to the store for 20 minutes. And then I go home and take a nap for two hours. And then I come back to work for 40 minutes and then close the store. Mamma mia, I'm so tired. Mamma mia, work is so hard to do. Bro. Hold up. That sounds pretty good. 
Yo, any Europeans looking for employees in chat? <laughs> you seem to have some cultural bitterness. I, I, I envy that. I envy that for sure. Yeah. Who doesn't? Who, who wouldn't envy that? And then they'll burn a car if they don't get their espresso hour. You know what, though? Based. Why don't we fucking... You know what? No, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in fucking trouble. No, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, there's not... No, no, no. I don't want to talk about this. 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 Shut up. Alright? Not YouTube comfy. It's not comfy, guys. It's not comfy. And I sit in at the piazza and drink espresso for two fucking hours and in the middle of the work day. <laughs> okay, man. Right. You know what? I, I don't understand. On, on, I, honestly, I, I don't know how their, like, f economies function at, at all like that. Like, how does that... Like, how does that work? Like, like, how do you fucking... How do you have business hours for a store that's, like... It's, like, two hours in the morning... And then it's just closed for like two hours and then it's open again for two hours afterwards. And that's like your fucking bed. That, that's 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 your business day. They kind of don't. This economy also doesn't work. I I, I mean, like it, it, it's it's it, it's a different it's a different flavor of fucked. OK, wait, let's not let's not let's not get into this. Uh, I'm going to veto this. I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, it's going to become doom real quick. We're not going to do that. All right. Encourage regional immigrate. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't mind if stability goes down. No skin off my coolie. Although wait, uh, uh, trade going down also sucks. You guys will probably vote for that. But you really want my authority to go higher? I know the grandees don't. Do whatever you want. No skin off my coochie? No, it's coolie. When I was a kid, you know how you have like the child friendly euphemisms for like your privates? All right. My dick was my pee pee. That was called the pee pee. All right. That was a pee pee. All right. My my butt was known as a coolie. We called them coolies. Yeah, we called them coolies. I don't, I don't know. And, I, and you know, it was weird. I never heard anybody uh, else talk about that. Like, I would say that and people would be like, what are you, call, what are you calling it that for? What is, what is that? We're coolie? Coolies. Coolo. Uh, it's, it's absolutely related to coolo. Yeah. I guess in Italian, it was like coolie, right? Broly Kulo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooley. And I you don't you don't hear about Cooley anymore. Right? You don't hear about it. Mike hates the Barons, his best viewers. I don't hate anybody. Guys, alright. Uh, it looks like what's happening is the second thing. So trade's gonna gonna go down, and 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 stability's gonna go down. Predictable and stupid. All right, we uh, went had defiance go down here. The barons lost a point of trade, and stability went down, which you know does fuck the barons significantly. I still have an extremely high cumulative trade stat here. I mean, it was 26 at one point. Probably more than enough than I, I would need to, to advance my shit. Well, here's the auction, guys. Looks like you guys have no idea what to do. All right, so we got the... We got the Barons funding a library to increase stability. Because, of course... Uh, looks like the grandees are getting a theater funded to lower authority. Everybody is doing the predictable thing that you would expect them to do. It will be taking them a little bit closer to their goals. The grandees not 
realizing that, again, if, if I win, they win. I guess they don't care. They're still fixated on doing their plot. They're trying to build a prison. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see what went on there. So I guess people were also trying to fund that. Okay, so... The theater did get funded, and the library got funded. There would have been... Right, you, you could have potentially lowered stability... Well, what was the other thing? Lowering authority twice? Crabsolute Trash says, I'm trying so hard to help my liege, but two-thirds of yellows are tabbed out to cock vor. <laughs> Hi, friends! Wake up! Okay. Uh, we got barons on the verge of a rebellion, which, again, was great for the patricians. Okay. But... Are you really gonna let that happen, though, Baron? I, I think I think the Barons are gonna go for it to to to, to fuck me. I, I think I think the Patricians probably have the best shot to win this right now. I I think the Barons realize it. I think they're willing to destroy themselves to 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 advance a Patrician victory. I think so. I think they're willing to do it. They don't realize that. They don't realize that's not going to work. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be the architect of a new golden age. Oh, can they not? <laughs> they can't rebel now. <laughs> Oops. Uh, the kingdom has never been more prosperous. Well done, your majesty. But to shut down your noble scheming for good, we need to, bu to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. The Scepter of Sages, again, with that shit. Uh, my advice would be to infiltrate each region with loyal spies. Defeat their schemes with schemes of our own. But the Chancellor has other ideas. Alright, create a kingdom-wide spy network. Where that will require stability, and it will require trade. We have a lot of trade, as you can see. Stability will probably need to go up. The problem with that is this. The faith stat. We're going to have to raise faith. My faith stat sucks. Okay. A, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Four, a stat of 14 faith sucks, chat? I, I, don't, I don't think that sucks. I don't see a problem with option one. Well, you're a baron, so of course you don't see a problem with option one. Okay, raise faith in trade. Okay, can't be open rebellion. All right. Very, very cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this related to the person I killed? Is this, is this still that fucking the, the Ortega? A blood-red comet was spotted in the night sky over the south, and the peasants are claiming it's a terrible omen. The common folk are on the verge of panic. Is there anything I can do? We tell the church to dispel such baseless superstitions. We've got a 75% chance of pulling it off, and it might even increase faith. The priests of the South preach that the comet is a good omen due to a new interpretation of an obscure cluster of stars, but the peasants don't buy it. D d d dude, XCOM, st uh, the XCOM stats. XCOM stat rolls. 
in this fucking game. It, it absolutely, it's the same. It's like this, the XCOM engine. This, this game, this game runs on the XCOM engine. Stability was lowered. That means that the fucking, that means that the, the barons can revolt again. Amazing. For a few weeks, the South is gripped by panic. Riots break out in the streets. Oh, they... Wait, they can't? They can't? Rebellion halted. Because of... Th oh, authority is still five. Why are you guys voting when it's not... It, it can't work. It's not... It's got to be lower than both. Okay. Lord, uh, Lady Patrician Sandy is here. How do you expect me to take this seriously, you cock-brained simpleton? You cock-brained crack addict. Source, crack pipe. There are 12 clowns in chat. Barons, we hella lose if we do that. They don't care. They're, 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 they don't give a shit. Calm down, both of you. This pimple-headed lackwit expects me to pay them a huge quantity of gold just because their great-great-grandfather beat my great-great-grandfather in a foot race. A foot race, guys. Foot race. Okay. Um, we have a patrician and a grandee. Okay, so this does not have anything to do with the barons where, where it might matter for me right now. Uh, order, order Lady Sani to pay her debt or order the, the... You can order her to pay the debt with two centuries of interest. Cancel the debt. It's too old to matter. C seems funny. Yeah, C seems really funny, guys. Actually. Iron choice C. Well, I well no because then people won't vote for C. I th I think C is very funny. Uh, I would like the authority point, but I don't think I. I, I get, the, the 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 iron choice is not so I can get an authority point. It's to deter people voting for something that I don't want. It's like a a, a little bit of a a little bit of a deterrent. Amber Rosen with twenty three months. Thank you so much. Um, or to, right to cancel out losing a point in a lose lose situation. It, it's really it's for lose lose situations. Um, I mean this is our last thing here. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna veto that. I I guess. Um, although I mean why? What it, what is that? Just shuffles the defiance. Oh, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to do that, because that's the only way the patricians lose. And I, I am I am protecting the patricians. No, I'm sorry. I meant grandees. I meant grandees. I, I, I am in the corner of the grandee. In this matter, of course, the grandees have been very faithful in this in this in this uh, this round. Is run, I guess. Yellow defiance needs to stay. Oh, I for, I forgot about this shit. I, actually, yes, I yes I did yes I did forget about this. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. This has to stay low. Two centuries of interest, but but I'll go bankrupt. Your great-great-grandfather should have thought of that before he decided to run so slowly. 
You're too slow. I'll give you a few weeks to sell off the family silver before I expect full payment. This is an outrage. Sarg zero zero, you little snake. Who? Who? The patricians invent insurance! The biggest scam in fucking human history. Making 500 wealth while fires rack the coast. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Yeah, that's happening. Um... That's happening. And you know, you know, and you know what? Let's get that defiance down. Yeah, let's get that defiance down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, let's get that defiance down. Uh, the, the, um... It, give, giving them money sucks. Okay, the grandees. That's... <sighs> I don't know if I can give you guys a bribe. I don't know if I, I can give you guys a bribe right now. I, I feel like I might need this money. Yeah, I might need this money. The, the defiance is zero. Right. This is fine. This is fine. We lower their defiance. We piss off the we piss off the, the patricians more. It's 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 nice. It's it's nice. It's going well. Ambition the scepter of sages. Your Majesty, I have the most exciting news. They discovered a manuscript. Where is it? Get in there. Go. Have they found anything? Yes, they have. Yes. Okay, that's me. I'm the skeptor who's pure of heart. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fail this roll. Forty percent. Fuck. Fuck. Focus on increasing the kingdom's faith as much as possible in the next two seasons. The challenge will decrease in difficulty with each failed attempt. I should have tried to get the faith stat up by, like, checking out these before I did that. The uninvited guest. Council has ended up, has ended early for the day, and you're off to visit your wife, Bologna, for a catch-up. Baloney? But as you put your hand on the door handle to your chambers, you hear giggling coming from inside. Dies of cuck? Agnes? The monarch, I mean, your august majesty. This better not be what I think it is. That's when you recognize the second person in the room. Altheus, a lord patrician of the coast. He's renowned for being a heartbreaker, and you've crossed paths many times around the palace. I could see you two have a few things to talk about. He slips out of the room, leaving you and Bologna to stare each other down. Well, I mean... Hmm... Top cuck? You could have at least invited me to watch in the Gendo pose in the corner. Someone redeem Cuck Hat right now. You're not getting a free Cuck Hat. You could have at least waited a few years. What the fuck does that mean? Alright. Yeah, okay. Okay. There it is. There it is. Alright. There it is. Okay. Very, very cool. <sighs> uh, somehow, I'm not surprised. I wasn't expecting to get caught so quickly. Doesn't matter, though. You're not angry, are you? This is what nobles do. It's part of the job. Everyone needs a bit of action on the side.
I've been faithful. Kind of based. No, it's not fucking based. Excuse me. I've been faithful. I haven't fucked around. Everybody needs a bit of action on the side. Absolutely not. You need to stop. Sorry, I can't do that. I'm having a great time with Altheus. Not about to give that up now. He's something else. He's completely devoted to the ninth god like me. We've had so many incredible theological discussions. It's how we met too. During one of the Archbishop's services. You're devoted to the ninth god... But you're cheating on your husband. It's not very, um, Christ like. I mean, they're not, it's not Jesus, right? It's not very holy. It's not very, um, It's, it's fucking slutty and disgusting, okay? You brought shame, then, then you're going to hell. This is no adultery, okay? On the other hand, I do have a bastard child. But why are we assuming... Hold on a second, chat. Why are we assuming that the bastard child... Wasn't conceived before my marriage to her? Why are you guys assuming that? Contrived? That's bullshit. Did you see an event where I fucked another woman? No. It never happened. Officer Wacky with 26 months. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm in a fuck. Dude, I I I I'm in a Hero Wars ad right now. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a fucking finger family right now. Uh I don't know what to do. Hat comes off, it's been a minute. The only reason the hat came off because somebody in chat said, guys, don't mention the hat. He might forget about it and leave it on. Bob with 42 months, thank you. You know what? I don't give a shit. I'm going to tell you why I don't give a shit. Because I have bigger problems. I'm, I'm beneath even worrying about this. And I'll tell you what. Being standoffish about this. I know it's going to I know it's going to make me look like a cuck. I know it's going to make me look like a cuck. If I, if, if I create issues here, this could, this could create prob. I have enough problems. I could I, I could be creating a new problem right now. And I don't need a new problem right now. If I piss this if I piss her off, I this this could this could ruin me. So you know what? Go ahead and do whatever. I don't see it. You're I don't I don't love it. Still naked from the wa from the waist up. I'll get my vengeance on Patrician Altheus. You know what? I think that's that's the that's the key. Yeah. You're shaken from your thoughts as a servant in the corridor gasps loudly as Bologna walks past him. God only knows where Bologna learned to be so careless. My brawless wife bringing me cuckoldry unasked for while I get a three a thirty kill bot lane. Bro. You will forever be known as the Cuck King. Not if I kill that guy. I mean, I'm going to kill that guy. Is that one of you? It's not, right? That would be so funny if like a chatter could cuck the streamer. The Archbishop's Request. Your Majesty, I wish to speak with you about the situation in the march. 
The barons never treated their duties to the church, church with as much reverence as it deserves, but now the march has abandoned the ninth god altogether. Allow me to send some of my best missionaries to the march. It's for the good of the realm. Okay. Uh, there's a low stability role here, lowering stability. I'll bring it to the council. I don't like either of these things, frankly. Send missionaries to the march or deny the archbishop's request for a mission. This is the, the, the baron's defiance going down. Okay. Um, I like it. Let's do it. Love it. Love it. Democracy at its finest. I abstain from voting. Have fun. Enjoy. Get your hands off my penis! Chat's just sitting there trying to, trying to enjoy a succulent Chinese meal and then bam. One choice voting. I'm glad the council respects our sovereignty enough to leave us to our own business. Cheers. Yeah, that's what it is, respect. How about I just want to be left the fuck alone? Yeah, it's respect. Okay. Uh, there's little we can do while the monarch holds out. Something tells me their position is not as strong as they think. I mean, you're pretty close to pulling that off, uh, grandees, but do you want to? Really? After we had so many, so much good times together, guys? We had a lot of good times together, guys. These all suck and are useless to me. Uh, a mercantile complaint. Your Majesty, the richest merchants in the South have bribed the grandees to give them an exclusive charter. They now control all trade of perfumes and dyes, the South's most valuable goods. It's a monopoly, Your Majesty. They're scamming the public by fixing prices, pushing smaller traders like myself out of business. Monopoly just sounds like good business. Trade go down, stability go down. Don't want that stability stack getting too low, guys. Declare the exclusive charter null and void. Uh, defiance will go up. The grandees will lose money. Trade will go up. Although trade can't go up for the grandees anymore. Stability will go up. Hmm. Uh, and the defiance will go up. So I imagine the, the, the patricians are going to want that. Mantic Cosma with two months. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, demand the treasury get a taste of the, the bribes. Really want to lower stability anymore. That's that's a pretty low. Again, if that gets lower, I feel like that's going to be bad. I, I don't want that to get any lower. So maybe we want this. I, I mean, that kind of does fuck the grandees a little bit. Defiance is also bad. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I think I figured this out. I think I figured this out. Hmm. This has to go to eight. That's not going to eight. Iron choice on C. Mm, stability will go down. I'll I'll make money. I'll make money from B. Trade go, trade goes down. If A gets cho I'll tell you what. I'm I'm just gonna veto A. That's it. That's that's the play. I'm gonna just veto A, and then whatever happens happens. I I don't want trade to go down. Cause I'm you I'm using that to try to win right now. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be C. 
The grandees are not voting for C because they don't want to lose that money. Trade will not go up. Their defiance will go up, which is why the patricians have a big boner for this. But that's not going to help them, really. And uh, we'll get a little bit... I, I think having a little, a little more stability is not going to be bad here. I, I don't think that's going to hurt. It's going to go up one. I hope. What if it just goes straight to eight? Alright, it went up one. If, if that goes to eight, I am fucking... I lose. The, the, the barons in, instantly win if that goes to eight. That's their final, the, their final phase. Mick, you want faith, not trade. Mick, you're calling me Mick. You want faith. I, I also don't want trade to decrease. Grandi Dumbledorius rushes into the council chamber, breathless and in disarray. You look like you haven't slept for weeks. That's because I've been placed under a curse. Look, my hair's falling out in chunks. Perhaps you're ill or old. Bald! 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 Keck bald. <laughs> Keck bald. Uh, it was one of my Nick Knaves. I saw it in her eyes. She's an evil witch. Have the so-called witch tested. Send scholars to the southern lands to find an explanation or have the accursed Dumbledore sent to the coast to relax. Okay, I am bribing A. 70% chance. Maybe it'll increase. Maybe it'll increase faith. Maybe it'll do last time maybe it won't be like last time maybe it'll be cool Sh surely it won't be XCOM odds again ah uh. It's, it's going to fail. After several days of questioning and burning of incense, the priestess makes an announcement the accused is innocent. Farming went up. And defiance went down. Farming? I don't give a shit about farming. What do you mean farming? Why? Why farming? KXZ, thanks for the resub, bud. Farming. Great news. The foals have come in and our horse breeding program has proven successful. They're stronger than ever. Why do you assume I care about anything you people are doing over there? Of course, uh, they'll take a few years to reach maturity, but my fellow barons are very optimistic. All right, defiance dropped. Military went up. Yikes. What about the rest of us? Giving the barons a monopoly on war horses is irresponsible, I say. Never looked a gift horse in the mouth. Doesn't make sense. All this to do about horses. Just a bunch of horses. Who cares? Eat them. Turn them into sausages. Make some glue. I don't care. I was playing Tears of the Kingdom last night, and I, I found, like, a giant horse. It's, like, green with, like, orange hair. And it has, like, a custom, like, like, like a unique saddle. What name did you give it? I named it Bigly. Blanca Horse. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Is it Ganon Horse? It feels ga Ganon, Ganon y. Yeah, it feels ga Ganon esque. 
My liege, I picked out a fat, a cute fat pony as your royal pet. Is it jar sized? Herrick says, oh my god, are you spoiling me? Oh my god, I can't breathe. I feel sick. Oh no, horse spoilers. Horse spoilers. Yes, a horse exists in the game. That is the colors I described. Is that really... Are you going to be okay, guys? Mike, the horse spoilers are making this stream very uncomfy. I think he, he's slower than Sucko, but he's stronger than Sucko. The patricians and grandees can buy the new horses for a fair price. There's a wealth exchange, and I guess the patrician military will go up. Uh, DJ Andromeda officials should share their foals with everyone for free. Oh, uh, that'd be funny. The barons are entitled to the fruits of their own labor. Let them keep the monopoly. Get a little defiant shuffle happening here. It'll lower baron defiance. It'll raise, um, I guess, the patrician defiance, which I would prefer not to do either of those things. Uh, if the other regions want war horses, they can breed them themselves. Okay, if you guys... decide to do that you're giving me an authority point okay okay B is key for us because it raises our defiance and military. I wonder why... Okay, so the other two regions want that really badly. The, the patricians want that. They want to see that baron defiance go up. They want to see that... Uh, the I'm not, I'm not sure I understand why the, why, the, um, why the grandees are voting for that. Boy, that defiance went up a lot. Okay, it went up. Okay, so the, the because the grandees want a higher military, I guess? They did that because you made C iron choice. Right, because you have to lower authority. So, oh shit, maybe I should have put it on that one. Yellow team is betraying the cock king. The cuckold king is betrayed. Okay, but d d d d actually, faith went down since the last time we did this. Succeeded. I just won the game. This is like the fourth time I won this game with the Scepter of, Sage of Sages. Dude, the Barons just won. The Barons won. Just kidding. No, they didn't. But not. <laughs> but not. But not. Okay. Um, somebody in chat was saying... That they really think we should maybe start a new game. Because it, it would be like a fresh start for everybody, you know? The scepter is too easy. Well, I mean, I failed the first time. You had, a, you had an entire extra season to, to fix that shit. To get what you needed to win.
Mike, if you don't start a new game, the grandees will keep rim jobbing Mike, and he will keep winning. Okay, listen. If I start, a, if if I continue the dynasty, you guys are gonna, you, you're all gonna be reshuffled. Okay. Now draw a crowd. What are you talking about? There's no shuffle if I if I do that, really? There's no shuffle. What are you talking about, draw a crown? I never said that shit. I never said that. I never said I said no such thing. I said no such thing. Guys, this is gonna be impossible to draw on. I, I fucking Christ. Okay. No. Lo loads. Can't believe we're doing this like on ironically. The word refused is going to take like 10 minutes, guys. I need a, I need like a Sharpie, dude. What a disgusting meme this is, guy. Can you, can you think about this for a second? I hope it doesn't look like shit too much. Okay. Barely visible. Well, I told you that was going to be the case, guys. A real man of his word. Long live the king. I'm a good king. It also it still says top gluck on the side. No loads refused. Streamers court. We're doing one more of these first. New game. Lo okay, his name is Load Non -ref Refuser. <laughs> Lo <laughs> Dynasty name. Uh, Load Acceptor? Not as funny as this. Okay. Uh, load enjoyer. Lo load load lover. Okay. Okay. We'll do the counts this time. I the, I I we do we can't do the chiefs. I refuse to do the yeah, the Chiefs are just they're too cracked. Good 
Good health, Milode. Milode. Counts definitely. Joining doesn't work yet, guys. You're joining nothing, guys. You're joining nothing, guys. You're joining nothing. Grandees, Patrician. No Barons this time? Hey, sweet Maddie. They said, my server at the restaurant that I'm at is unironically named Rosalinda. I was at a Mexican restaurant a couple weeks ago. And there was this, 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 this song came on the, the, like, the radio in the, in the, in the restaurant. Let me see. I'm gonna get D I'm gonna get DMCA'd for this. I don't know, dude. The lyrics was just the name Rosalinda over and over again. It was, it was, it was just like it was it was funny to me and nobody else. You know, nobody knew what the fuck I was laughing at. Show us the title. Well, I don't know if this is the song. Hold on. Hold on. This is it. This is it. <laughs> All right, right. It's right here. It's it. It's it. I was, I was, I was listening to that song, and I was just imagining that art of like Rosalinda's like like pussy getting suction cupped to the fucking wall in Mario Kart. <laughs> just enjoy that song. Listen to that song. Listen to it's good. The song's good. It's a good song. Oh my god. It's Maria de Barrio. I, I don't know who it is. It's, that's the that's the song. It goes hard. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh, it's good. No, it's good song. <sighs> okay, let's let's get this bitch rolling, guys. No barons this time. Yeah, I was just like laughing hysterically to myself alone. I just want to make sure my my no loads refused is is visible, guys. Damn, I don't want to be green. Too bad. You will be again. You will be able to pick your 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 team in the next update. I wonder if that that might be broken though. Like, because what if everybody is just like, oh, I don't want to be green. I don't want to be green, and then you end up with like really lopsided teams, you know? Yeah, because like if you look what's happening right now, the game is trying really hard to keep the teams even. Like, that might be a little bit, like, fucked up, you know? Only people that bought the game can just... Oh, yeah, not everybody's gonna buy the game. So, to an extent, you'll still have the... The random element of it, right? Let's see if we, we can get three teams of 100 people. Can we get three teams of 100 people? I mean, you, you could join later, but... Mike, I feel like you have sushi. The f fuck does that mean? Alright, we got a fresh... Uh, fresh dynasty here. Coronation. I 
Okay, where's the really expensive one? Okay, no, no expensive one. Not gonna allow it. Troops shall bear the monarch through the streets atop a shield, lowering authority. Throw the monarch in the river. Force the commoners to swear a blood oath. Jesus Christ. I'm assuming you guys are going to want to throw me in the river. Because you usually do. Blood oath is kind of wild. Um, yeah, that would fucking lower stability, huh? Whose military gets ra gets raised by this? Guys, are we really doing the blood oath? I guess we're doing the blood oath. The common citizens of the capital are lined up in a winding queue that loops along a dozen streets. One by one, they are brought before your throne, bowing and scraping and vigorously masturbating. And after a bit of prodding from the watchmen, each citizen slices their palm and smears blood on your boots, swearing their eternal loyalty. Yeah, that's kind of weird, dude. The last monarch to hold a blood oath ceremony was King Timian the Mad, who also once declared war on the color blue. The peasants mutter darkly that another tyrant now sits on the throne. Great. See, the funny part is, I didn't choose that. What's my ambition? Um, I wish I could pick this after the first round. Let's take a look at the stats. Trade uh, is looking pretty, pretty strong. Farming looks good. Farming is actually the exact same number. Look at that. Uh, military uh, as a conqueror. Okay. Uh, faith, looking actually pretty good too. I like farming. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go farming this time. I like farming. Why not? Let's just let's just let's just get crazy. Raise farming. You have three choices, counts. Lowering stability. Lowering the... Or you, you want to have the lowest defiance in Doppelganger. Or you could uh, uh, lower your own faith. Your own faith is already four. That's pretty good, I think. I, I mean, like... The first uh, uh, phase of the scheme is, like, guaranteed you get it. Like, if, if you end up not being able to get that, that's, like... It's, Somebody fucked up bed. Not really. No, it is. The Count's plan to... Oops. Okay, lower faith to four or less. You already have it. it, it guys, how are you going to say it's not handed to you? Cardosa of the Volcar lineage, powerful former priest, stands bathed in sunshine. They're annoyed about the pretender on the throne. You can raise stability. You raise your own farming. I knew one of you fuckers was going to have that. Or you can do excommunication, lowering stability. Stability is already four. Your farming probably needed to be like four. To pull that off. How does it feel to be a tyrant? Feels great. Feels great! Food for all. Raise the farming to five or more in four seasons. Probably just not even attempt to prevent that. Calamity 2007's family. A powerful coastal tycoon scribbles with a well-used quill. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of monarch load non-refuser. Something must be done. 
Raise your own trade. You already have a seven stat. Conspiracy to lower the treasury or lower authority. Trade seems obvious. I can take twice as many loads as the pretender. I'll prove it. Watch. Hold my beer. Monopoly. Five or more. Okay. They get, yeah, they don't get right. They don't give you the first the first round of the scheme. They don't give you the they don't give you the first phase of the scheme. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. Royal Gamble, that blows. We'll take uh, the Iron Choice, of course. Someone in chat was really trying to tell me that. They were like, that's not true. The Honor Guard. You've 100% fucked teams out of the first objective before? It's extremely difficult. And, and probably it was chat fucking themselves over by not... By being like chat toids. Hello, you madge. You called me. Don't call me your. I'm not your madge. Now I'm madge. The grandees were stuck for the entire game. Th that was their second phase. What are you talking about? This bloody place is a maze. Mind if I take a seat? I've got a bloody great idea for you. What if we chop the legs off horses and replace them with wheels? Faster transport. I love that idea. Your Majesty, I'm sorry I didn't come sooner. I have no idea where the palace watch are. Do you want me to kill this intruder? No, I want to hold a vote on his proposal. She goes and gathers up your council, who trickle into the hall in their pajamas, rubbing sleep from their eyes. They don't look particularly pleased to be woken up. Should wheels be attached to horses for faster transport? <laughs> Yes, and the pilot program will be in the south. It will be in the east. It will be in the coast. Whoever gets this, it lowers their farming. It lowers their military. Okay, it raises their defiance and it lowers their... It lowers my... So my authority is going down, regardless. Chat, you have the chance to do the funniest thing ever right now. And cock the grandees out of the farming thing. That they need to do this. Guys. Vito D. I don't care if it cocks me, it's too funny. Vito D. Why? Because 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 that'll split the vote up, right? Guys, please, please, please make that. That's too funny to not do. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, a lot of them are voting for it because they know how funny it is. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Under the peasant's close supervision, dozens of screaming horses are put under the knife. <laughs> Holy shit! Big wooden wheels are surgically attached to where legs used to be. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> hmm. The horses seem to die before we could get them rolling. <laughs> Perhaps we need to keep trying.
<laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Fund this man whatever amount he needs. Okay, drain the treasury to fund his idea. Subsidize this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Guys, it was no, it was a sound idea. It should have made the horses faster. To put wheels. <laughs> wheels on. Oh my god. Horse wheels. Okay, somebody in chat said this man is the Elon Musk of medieval times. And I was going to say that. I swear to God, what stopped me was that we actually liked this guy. Okay, think about it. He's going to get government subsidies to fucking, like, give people brain damage. The, 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 it absolutely is the medieval Elon Musk. The, 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 the fucking SpaceX rockets that keep exploding. Oh, maybe we need to keep trying. Can I get another couple of billion dollars in subsidies, please? Elon, they were doing that in the fucking 60s, man. And the re- okay, again, I, I didn't want to bring him up because I didn't want to fucking, like, start a fight in chat. After a disturbing amount of horse death, the idea grinds to a halt. The whole thing is an embarrassing failure. Your Majesty, if that peasant had been a maniac with a crossbow, I, I dread to think what could have happened. If one thing's clear from this meth mess, is that you need an honor guard who can actually keep you safe. Not like this path the pathetic watch. He comes in and he's like, let's build a giant tunnel for the horses that can only fit one horse in it at once. Government subsidies. Fund this man anything he needs. Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hide foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Pick our nuns again? Yeah, maybe. I I mean... Nobody chose to fuck with their own defiance stats. Battle nuns again? Could do. Maybe I'll make it up to you guys for, you know, the, the shenanigans that just took place. Okay. Okay. An invitation. Without a word, Conte Tinonymous hands you a blood red envelope. It is sealed with a white wax in the shape of a skull. Inside is a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil, due to take place on an autumn night later in the year. Uh, what's this all about? I can say no more. You must choose whether to accept our invitation or to decline it. Okay, I'll attend it. There's in instant loss. The, the, you instantly lose. Instant victory for the, the Counts. Your Holiness, my, my knaves accuse me of hoarding wealth. Oh, we've seen this earlier tonight. Oh, it's Ortega again. Yeah, okay. Uh, send someone to infiltrate the cult. That worked out well last time. Aggressively break up Ortega's meetings. Uh, fire the troublemakers and hire new servants from the coast. Taco Jesus is back. The monarch... Okay, um... Here. Take that authority point, if you don't mind, guys. 
a wealth transfer um, from from the grandees to the uh, uh, the patricians. It looks like that's going to happen. The patricians want that bad. For some reason, the counts want that. Not sure I understand why they want that. Uh, patrician's wealth has increased. Okay. The counts don't want faith. Right, that would have increased faith. That would have increased faith, yeah. Right, right. So the Counts are trying to fund an observatory to lower their faith even even more. Um, nothing I can do about that. We also have a aqueduct being built to raise the farming back up. Okay. Oh. So I guess the that observatory that didn't get built. But the patricians raised their trade oh because they were able to afford that because of what just happened in the previous round. So they raised their trade to 8, which is massively overkill. Right, f f get fucked, Counts. I wonder why a patrician funded the farming building. The cult spreads. Uh, right, so we got that Ortega thing is continuing to happen. Um... Join with the church to officially denounce Ortega. Uh, bring her into the church. I This costs me a lot of... Having Ortega assassinated will cost a ton of money. And we know where that goes. A dead Ortega just causes more problems. Everybody gets pissed. She's a martyr. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to keep the money, though. We'll roll the dice on that. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's good. Maybe we want Ortega as a member of the church. Maybe that raises the, the faith for everybody or some shit. Maybe... Could be cool. Failure. Why am I doing that? I have this. Failure. The Archbishop is issues a lukewarm proclamation stating that Ortega and her followers are a legitimate branch of the Church of the Ninth God. But few people listen. As unrest rises, Ortega goes missing and the Church refuses to comment. The crimson, a crimson vigil for the Crimson King. It takes place in a bleak castle atop an eastern hill. Your journey takes weeks and your baggage train keeps getting stuck in bogs. Guests at the Crimson Vigil compete on who can dress the mo in the most ghoulish and frightening costume. What did you dress as? Uh... A ghost in tattered clothing draped in clanking chains. A demon with horns, cloven hooves, and red skin. Or a dragon with gem-studded wings and a golden tail. That's a fursona, dude. 750 coins. Holy shit. 
That's a fursuit, dude. Those break the bank. You kidding me? I think the red skin would be the most obvious option for me, right, guys? The Crimson King, after all. A government subsidized fursuit? Yeah, but unironically. My go normally, you don't need to paint your skin red. The dye makes your skin itch, and your hoof-like shoes are difficult to move around in, but you strike a startling figure. Mike, if you buy the dragon, and if it, if, if it fucks you over, contact the insane clown posse guy and tell him you got snaked. Peluccini with seven months. Thank you. As you're assessing your appearance, Teen Anonymous sweeps in dressed as a living corpse. I see you are addressed as one of the servants of the seventh god. How delightfully, bl delightfully blasphemous. Stay in the upper levels. The dungeons are out of bounds. In the ballroom, you find the counts gathered, dressed up as frightful monsters. Wolfmen. Pumpkin heads. Pump! Witches. A waiter glides past, holding a tray of sandwiches. What kind of sandwiches? A pianist plays a mournful tune. The Crimson Vigil begins at midnight. What role will you take? A mourner? Or are you willing to portray a hound of the betrayer? Surely you are familiar with our customs, Your Majesty. If you are unsure, you should stick to being a mourner. You didn't tell me shit. Okay, I'll be a mourner. Your ceremonial role is to stand among the other mourners and wait for the hounds to catch the monarch in exile. After that, just follow what the other mourners do. Good luck. Counts gather. After Teen Anonymous delivers a short speech about remembering the old ways, a flaming crown is placed upon their head. I will be playing the monarch in exile this evening. The hounds of the betrayer will try to catch me, but fear not. I am swift as a falling star and old as the hills, old g. Teenonymous runs down the corridor, flames licking behind them, pursued by a dozen counts in monstrous costumes. It's a bizarre sight. Half an hour later, Teenonymous is dragged back, their crown still smoldering, and one by one, the other mourners drop to their knees in a posture of worship. Bow before the ca captured monarch in exile. It lowers my authority. But it lowers their defiance. Or raises defiance. Not going to lower my authority for no reason. Ceremony concludes with a mock execution and a bottle of very expensive red wine spilled over Teen on the Mrs. Head. Teenonymous says, wow, fuck you for not liking me. You're lucky I even came here. Shut up. After that, the music is more cheerful. The counts dance and chat long into the night. At dawn, you board your carriage and begin the long journey back to the capital. Wow, so I literally just came here to lose authority. That was awesome. Shake and Bake came home from a German beer festival. I want to go to a German beer festival. Isn't it like the wrong time of year completely for a German beer festival? Okay, mom. Well, everybody's everybody's shit is progressing. I'm, I'm I feel very fucked in this game. Right. Um. The grandees are having a little, uh, a little... Oh, they, they, they got wealth from the ninth god? I suspect tax fraud. Guys, tax fraud? A little bit of tax as a treat.
for myself, you know? Okay, that's good. Yep, that's fine. Oh, hmm. Eligible options. I have found three potential matches for you. Show them to me. Ooh. Okay, we've seen this before. He's lost... Oh, no, we haven't. He's lost half the family fortune in the gambling halls, unfortunately, which is curious because he's obsessed with his family's legacy. There's Clementine, the wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician Serbeu's estate. She's always getting herself into trouble for some reason or another. Right, we saw this last time, okay. And from the South, Zach Queen, the eldest heir of the Midnight Fox lineage. Famed for their wit, their style, and their good looks, they spend most of their time in the library, face buried in some book of ancient history, and they got grand plans. They want to change the world. Okay. Mike, if you don't marry him, I will. Why am I leaning towards the... the Count... candidate? Why am I leaning towards that... that one? Because I don't want them to be at Ford Defiance, that's why. That's why. Your Holiness, that troublesome philosopher Ortega is gone. All right, it's there. She's a martyr. Okay, what are we going to do? Pay the grandees to give amnesty to Ortega's former followers. Here's your amnesty right here. Although, that would increase my uh, stability. Ask the church to preach forgiveness on all sides. Fuck that. Lowering stability and raising authority. I'll tell you what. Do whatever. I think. Yeah, I think do whatever. Grandees vote C. Yeah, you're going to get money from it. I mean, could be worth it. Maybe I'm 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 paying a thousand coins to get more stability. Kind of a thing. B is the funniest. I mean, it'll fail. The Count's Ascension plan is to offer immortality to get you in their cult. I've, I've seen it before. We've, we've, we've done that. I've been in the cult. You wussed out at the last second. I, I, it, it, I was losing. I didn't want to lose. Of course I wussed out. That, 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 it was failure. To accept it was failure. I lost either way at that point. You issue a proclamation inviting Ortega's followers to enjoy bonus cash and comforts. No questions asked and no loads refused. It's not long before the followers realize that worldly possessions are actually pretty useful and Ortega's name fades into obscurity. That's all it took, guys. We just had to grease the wheels with a little bit of cash. Majesty, I've come up with an excellent money-making scheme. Is it horses with wheels for legs? Because I am way ahead of you. Have you heard of a thing called simony? It's when, like, a guy is similar to another guy who's named Simon. So his voice sounds kind of simony. 
Right. Well, you see that thing he's doing there? That's si Simon would do that. That's Simony. It means selling off priesthoods to anyone who wants them. I've already spoken to the archbishop and convinced him it's a good idea. Yeah, you know why? Because fucking he bought his candidacy. Okay, because he he paid to be the archbishop. That's why he thinks it's a good idea. It's a terrible idea. Case in point, we have a horrible archbishop who thinks that's a good idea. Of course, he'll get a healthy cut of the profits. And so will you. Uh, why would anyone pay to be a priest? It's a very cushy job for a noble's third son who's too wimpy for the army and has nowhere else to go. Why, my little Ivan would be a perfect first candidate. I was skeptical at first, but Count Vantam Gaust has really sold me on the idea. Let's put it to a vote. I mean, it's free money. But it's absolutely going to backfire, guys. Of course it's going to fucking backfire. Yes, but it will be funny. Okay, well then I want... Well then I want more authority if you want to... If you want to see that joke play out, I want more authority for it. Okay. I'll take it. Mike, imagine chat GPT powered baptisms. Why? Chad is feeling very humorous. This will help the counts lower their faith. When this round ends, they're they're progressing to the next stage of their plot. There's nothing I can do to prevent that. If their faith goes down again, it's totally meaningless. How exquisite. You've done the right thing, Your Grace. Soon you and the Archbishop will both be swimming in gold. Count Vantum Gauss' prediction comes true. Everyone wants to be a priest. And the church can now afford shiny new altars and even bigger hats. You get kickbacks too, of course. Uh, but over the next few months, it becomes apparent that the new priests are sloppy, corrupt, and badly behaved. The common folk lose all faith in the church. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's meaningless because they're going to progress that anyway. I, I can't, I can't prevent that. Two counts meet in a derelict cat tavern, okay? He said there was no sense preaching to the truly lost. We are no longer trapped under the church's thumb. If the monarch grows proud, we can offer them the ultimate reward, immortality. And for the next stage of their scheme, they must raise authority to fuck! Fuck! Um, stability thing. Okay, so we'll get rid of that shit. That's useless. Reverse vote sounds fun. It did never work. It does. It's it doesn't work. It's not as cool as you think it is. Oh, dude, I'm gonna marry this guy, and the defiance was already zero. It's like a waste. Look at that shit. <laughs> Why don't I just concede to the counts right now? None of us asked for this union, but I assure you it can blossom into something of mutual benefit. Uh, a peat rat gumai can die. There is a petitioner here to see you. We're not sure where she's from. It's all read. We've seen this before. Okay. 
I wish to stay in this kingdom with the blessing. And in exchange, I can show your soldiers how to use weapons to avoid any accidents. Uh, we can provide safe patches, passage to Ulrid. Ulrid? In exchange for muskets. I, I believe that this will raise everybody's military if we do it. We can reject the offer and send her away. Or we can confiscate the weapons and take Ulrid prisoner. Um, that could be cool. That will lower stability, though. I will... Just put that... Oh, that's not how that works. Alright, so if, if more than 50% of you vote for that, I'll keep the stability, I guess. I guess... Everyone will go A anyway. Oh, yeah, and then I'm gonna end up getting the fucking the stability anyway. That's okay. Grandee's phase two is to have the stability stat high. Right. All right, so everybody gets some muskets. All your, your military stats go up. So you guys can uh, rebel against me later. Ori demonstrates by puncturing a metal breastplate at 500 yards. The council clearly made the right decision. Your August, August Majesty, I'm as devout as anyone, as you can tell by my pink beard and blue hair. But it's beyond ridiculous that for one day of every week, all the shops shut and no one and no work gets done. That's the fiesta, the siesta. That's the siesta day. It's the ninth god's holy day, the day he rested after slaughtering the other gods like cattle. But must it interrupt trade and leave him profit on the table? Need I remind you that the coast is the economic powerhouse keeping the kingdom afloat? We should receive special dispensation. Um, yeah, okay. I don't care. How long have you been standing there? He's right behind me, isn't he? The ninth ensures I appear when I am most needed. I assure you, High Inquisitor, I have nothing but the utmost devotion to the ninth, but I need to think about my prophets. Allow people to work on holy days throughout the kingdom. I make money, you make money, trade goes up. Stability goes down. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Faith down, trade up, wealth up. And this will raise defiance, and it'll raise faith. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know. Where am I going to put this? Counts vote A. Why? You, 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 lo lowering faith doesn't matter for you anymore. And I'm pretty sure these changes only take place in the coast. Faith down, trade up. That's the way we like to fuck. Yeah, you, know, you should you shouldn't care about faith anymore. It might matter later. I don't think so. I don't think it will. Um I don't know. High authority is just going to... Th th this is... I feel like this is fucked. I feel like I can't stop the counts from doing anything right now. Veto something. My ambition was farming. And this is none of... The farming is not related to any of this. 
You know what? I just don't want defiance to go up. That's it. I don't want anybody's defiance going up. Save the veto for more important decisions. Th there aren't any more decisions. This is the end of the round. Religioids, stay med. You're going to burn, all of you. But the only thing that burns is all that money in your pocket. <laughs> With merchants allowed to operate on holy days. Profits increase throughout the kingdom and the treasury swells. Right, the patricians wanted that. That's another thing that I feel like I'm not, I'm not preventing that. Church attendance drops like a stone, of course, but no one really notices. Get fucked. Soon inquisitors tore the realm, spreading rumors that you're mad with power and intent on replacing churches to the ninth with churches to yourself. Maybe I fucking will. Nonsense, of course, but the growing authority of the crown, uh, the peasants believe it readily enough, and the land is gripped with riots. That's a shame that wasn't authority. We knew that was going to happen. Okay. Peasants all over the south are flocking to you, Cardosa. Praise be to the ninth god. This is just the beginning. With him on our side, we will capture the minds of the common folk and lead a holy crusade against the false monarch. The people still need a push, however, with just the right amount of chows. The peasants will take up arms and die for you. Grandees must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. Should be a little harder. Money breeds money. I made a series of investments to improve our profits even more. The first, the monarch must be in desperate need of our gold. We have to lower the treasury to 1,500 or less. Okay. We'll see. The council session has ended for the day. So you're quite surprised when noble patrician Dong Harvey corners you in a back passage of your castle just before dusk. Greetings, your august majesty. Apologies for surprising you like this, but I have an urgent matter that I thought you'd want to hear in private before I go to the council. Your husband, the king consort, how can I put this? He owes me a lot of money. Gambling debts, mainly. He borrowed quite a lot from me to recover some lost funds, but now it's time to collect, and he's been avoiding me. Uh, officers, arrest this fool and, and throw them in the dungeons. You know what? No. How about... How about... I can't help you with this. I wonder how much defiance I, I get for that. Mike, you want low money? N n nope. Nope. What is this? What is this new emote? OG. Guys, what the fuck is OG? Guys, did you guys add another shitty frog to my fucking chat? Guys, please delete that fucking thing, please. I can't stand it. And no, we have enough shitty fucking frogs. No. Chat's like, no, I can't stand to lose him. You weren't aware of him 10 seconds ago. You can stand to lose him. That's Bredge. That's Bredge. That's bridge. Bridge. What is bridge? I can't help you with this. They scurry away into the darkness. During council's next session, Dong Harvey levels the same accusations against Coldan, only this time in public. A council vote will determine Coldan's fate. 
Force the treasury to pay for the king consort's debts. Okay. That's not acceptable. Forgive Colden's debts and force noble patrician Dong Harby to absorb the losses. Just fucking would have happened anyway if I just chose the third option. Force the other counts to cover the king consort's debts. Interesting. Turkey, thanks for 25 months. It's just basically counts versus everybody else right now. <laughs> Yeah. Three betrayers. Force the other counts to cover the king consort's debts. Counts don't like that. Went up, uh, was, it was just at zero. Yeah. All right. Some Count's wealth has decreased. Counts, please remember that I had nothing to do with that. Colden awkwardly avoids your gaze as noble patrician Dong Harvey starts to count out their coin. I should have just put him in fucking jail. Uh, that was my first instinct, and I didn't go with it. Maybe if I, if I had thrown him in jail, this would have just gone away. The Kurth captain that you allowed to stay in the capital, the one who traded those weapons, has been the cause of concern. Nobles have complained that she's been rude and confrontational. She does not know royal etiquette, after all. Did she use the salad fork instead of the regular fork? That's it. She can't stay in this kingdom. Your liege, she used the salad fork to eat her soup. Dong Harvey's in chat. They said, I would have enjoyed the dungeon. Okay, then I made the right choice. My hat says no loads refused. Imagine trying to joke about it, but not knowing the terms. Do you know the different forks on the table? Guys, he's rich. Eat him. No, a fork is a fork, guys. Anyone who knows the different forks will be the first against the wall. Yeah. You find O'Reed in the halls far from her assigned chambers. Okay, we don't know what happened. Um... Your Majesty, a bard who calls herself the Songstress has been making waves in the East. Her performances are attracting huge crowds. So huge that there have been brawls and stampedes as people push closer to the stage. There's been no deaths yet, but it's only a matter of time. Hire the Hell's Angels to work concert security. Pretty sure I said that last time we saw this. The monarch uh, chooses nothing. Ban her from performing. Ensure the shows have adequate security. Um, I would prefer that stability does did, didn't go down, guys.
I mean, if if you are not a grandee, you you desperately want to not vote for D. I mean, like anything but D here. I think B will be funniest, personally. Yeah, grandees are going to do that. We knew we knew they were going to do that. We knew they were going to do that. I I'm a little bit puzzled as to why that choice is in the lead right now. Like can you can you fucking please explain to me why that's winning? Like like that makes no sense. Jesus Christ. All right, so we had some some uh, count soldiers die. Pretty best. The counts were waiting for the patrician vote so they could dogpile. Is that what that was? All right, so the counts are advancing their plot. I mean, you could continue raising authority counts. You never know. This might not be enough. We have the patricians funding a fortress to raise their military. They are bloodthirsty for me. Is what this is? Is what's going on here? They are absolutely. They hunger for my flesh. They thirst for my blood. They want to tear me limb from limb. They want to use a sweet Maddie G to decapitate me. And they wanted. They don't want to win with the plot. They want to rebel and they want to fucking murder me. Is what they want. And that's going to get funded. And the prison got funded at the last fucking second by the grandees. That sucks, actually. Fuck. That's fucking bad. The counts were broke. Oh, it's still! Fucking whatever, dude. So sick of that. Your Majesty, I assume you're familiar with the Grandee's latest puppet, the so-called Ninth Herald. Cardosa, she's a fraud. I don't even remember who that is. I feel like we just saw... Who's Cardosa, guys? I have... I have Alzheimer's, guys. Who's the... The Grandee leader? Hey, is it time for another everyone is mean to me anger session, my liege? I don't know. Is it time for you to get timed out? It looks like it is. Okay. Cardosa, she's a fraud. Quite so. Yet the grandees are pushing Cardosa as their claimant to your throne. To be put there by force, if necessary. Unfortunately, the kingdom's going through a rough period. You'll need to stabilize as quickly as possible. Offer tax breaks to the common folk to increase the monarch's popularity. Could be, could be cool for the patricians. Right, guys? Have an inquisitor denounce Cardosa's heretical claims, delaying the scheme for one season. Oh, I don't think the grandees are going to want that happening. Right. Guys, let's put a fucking end to the grandees bullshit for good. By 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 piling into if you are if you are a count 
If you are a patrician, you want to vote A to get to get that stability stat so far out of reach for the grandees that they just suffer for the rest of this game, guys. That's what you want to do, guys. Best. It looks like that lowered my authority for some reason. Which is interesting. Your financial changes prove popular among the common folk who throw their newly freed cash into recreational pursuits. You can only hope it's enough to stave off the grandees. Recreational pursuits like what, guys? Apes? They bought crypto. They bought apes, guys. Your Majesty, these good folk are bounty hunters, representing the Republic of Kurth. Monarch, load, non-refuser, we greet you humbly. We're searching for someone, a fugitive by the name of Orid. What kind of fugitive is she? Their ships, under her command, are property of the Republic of Kurth, as is their cargo. I'm afraid she is under my protection. The Grand Penisary of Kurth is offering a large bounty for the return of this woman. As proof of our goodwill, we will even allow you to keep the firearms that were stolen. Oh my. I see. Um. Discreetly pay the hunters to take someone else. <laughs> uh. Don't like it. All right, I I I don't like it. Do what you do what you need to do. Okay. I think I, if if I had a bribe right now, I would bribe you for A. Okay? I would bribe you guys for A, but I don't have a bribe. But what I I I can tantalize you with this, guys. Getting this Goal, so much further away for the for the patricians. Uh, that that that's the only way I I can bribe you right now. Yeah. I mean that's a ju a juicy possibility, guys. Like just get that. So th they're gonna win with this shit, guys. If you if you vote for B, you're basically handing victory to the patricians. For, as far as I'm concerned. We'll filibuster the fuck out of this if we have to, guys. Vote A, please. Counts are voting for B because they're fucking have... They, they, they're, they're... Hate boner for me is blinding them to their best self... To their self-interest. The bounty hunters protest and leave only when you threaten to have them thrown out. The parting words contain chilling warnings of Kurth's ref retribution, which you hope are only idle threats. Because I'm worried about Kurth. I need to be worried about my fucking own subjects. The peasants love Cardosa and believe the miracles, but they won't rise up and put her on the throne. The peasants need a small push. Right, you have to lower, you still have to do that. Okay. The patricians are not advancing. But the counts are. Not advancing yet. The patricians strike a lucrative trade deal with sell worth 500 wealth. They raise the fines by one. That's chill. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Don't matter. None of this matters. Also, we might as well do that too. Fuck you guys. I have to make up the money that you fucked me out of during the last vote, guys. Sucks, but that's how it is. 
Life sucks, guys. Guys, shit happens. Deal with it. Shit happens. Deal with it. Okay? Ah, Lord Non-Refuser, my heart. I have a proposition for you. I wouldn't normally do this, as I believe in keeping pleasure separate from business, but I'm sure there's no harm in it. I'm heading to a split tournament in a few months. It's one of the foremost in all the kingdom. Would you like to come? Doesn't the church frown on gambling? Oh, the church frowns on a lot of things. It's perfectly legal, I can assure you that. Shin, with, uh, thanks for 79 months, Shin. Thank you. Really appreciate it, bud. God, that's a long time. Thank you so much. Mostly. Guys, if I go play with him to this gambling tournament or whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose all this fucking money. <laughs> I I'm gonna lose all the money. But you know what? Maybe it'll be fun. How delightful. You can be there for moral support. Just don't distract me while I'm playing, of course. It'll be fun, guys. Sounds fun. Your Majesty, you are, of course, the greatest monarch of the century. It's true. Exactly. I'm sure that soon all will kneel soon all will kneel before you, but your power could be greater. Death comes for us all. But what if it didn't have to? What if you could be the greatest monarch for all millennia? Moose sucks. Thanks for seven months. What are you saying? There are opportunities for your, your reign beyond what you may have imagined, Your Grace, and I believe you are strong enough to take them. I can arrange more meetings so that we may discuss this further. Ah, uh, so he got to you first, no matter. The Counts have agents everywhere, and they've been building up your strength, but there's something more sinister afoot. The ultimate aim is to recruit you into a cult of immortal blood drinkers. What a tale. All we want is to help the monarch. Is this true? It is heresy of the highest order. The council must know. Force the monarch to officially refuse to join this cult. If you are a patrician, if you are a grandee, you want that. Why? Because they are very close to winning this. Yes, you want that. Because it will lower authority to five. Which actually maybe won't matter. Because at the end of this season, they advance. Okay. Don't I have another event where I could potentially lower authority again? B will delay it for a season. We can't delay the season, vote A. Why can't you delay the season, guys? Why can't you why can't you delay the season? Of course you can delay the season. A might be a minus two authority like it was to the grandees. <gasps> oh my god, what if it is? What if it is? What if it is? Guys, I think we have... It's That's true. I think we have to... I think we have to fucking vote A, guys. Grandees, patricians... If you want to hand this fucking victory to the Counts, don't vote 
for A. Okay. I'm going to veto C so the vote doesn't get split. If you are not a count, you want to vote for A. If you want to hand it to Mike, do what he said. Not necessarily. I'm just preventing a, a fucking count victory right now. By, by, by telling you to vote for this. It didn't do too. Fuck. Your Grace, ignore everything I said about the songstress. I was completely wrong. I hired her for a private performance to see what the fuss was about. And by the blood of the dead, I've never heard anything so beautiful. I was so moved. I, I gave her all my money and the keys to my keep. Wait, what? I'm living in the servants' quarters now. But it was worth it to hear her sing. You must invite her to the palace for a performance. Your Majesty, this is deeply suspicious. We need to do something. I can't help but notice there's no way to lower authority here. We should have delayed the scheme. I can see there's uh, uh, the ability to lower uh, uh, stability by banning the music. The grandees might like that. That could drop by two. Guys, uh, the patricians are gonna are gonna have a big boner for D. Um, I I think you want to try to counteract that. The patricians. They have to get that to 1,500 or less. Mike is mad he can't fuck us by... I'm, I'm very mad that I can't veto C. D, excuse me. The call for unity? No, the call, the call for unity doesn't work like that. You can't put it on things. There ain't, there ain't gonna be no 50% for one fucking... Whatever. I don't fucking give a shit. Go ahead. Guys, please stop voting for A and B. It's irrelevant. Guys, what are you doing that for? What the fuck are you... Why the fuck are, are, are fucking counts voting for D? Just spite? Just pure spite. Pure fucking spite. Seriously? You gave me stability. Your, your spite was so strong, you raised my stability. They're trying to prevent the grant. It's really a, it, that that was why you did that. Really, to spite the grandees? Seriously. A flailing Max Minerva has to be removed from the council hall by the watch. Meanwhile, your spy master heads out to hire an assassin. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, your majesty. I am here representing the Viper's children. You have a bard that needs to be silenced? Okay. The monarch is drunk with power. Should we really show the monarch the true secrets of our group? I thought that was the point. Immortality and all that. Yes, but those are... Those secrets are meant to be kept. Okay. 
plan a false immortality ritual for the monarch that will kill them. You need to lower your own defiance. You got it at three right now. You probably already have that. Induct the monarch into the real secret society of immortal blood drinkers and raise your own farming. You definitely have that stat already. The other problem with that is that's my, that's my goal. You need it to be nine, though. I've I've lost to this bullshit, I think twice. These suck. The split tournament. Coldan leads you inside. Uh, Conte Arcane Artist's Castle. Up a winding staircase into a stately gaming room filled with card tables. A goblet of wine is swiftly passed to you as someone takes your coat. I feel like the only way to balance the counts is to have another OP faction against them. No, then I just have two OP factions against me. So good to see you, your highness. When Coldan told me you were coming, I almost didn't believe him. Coldan's first opponent will be noble patrician Don Harvey again. Coldan will like wipe the floor with that pretender. Arcane artist leads you to some benches near the edge of the room where a number of other spectators are already sitting. Refreshments and snacks are handed around freely. I'm rooting for Noble Patrician Dong Harvey. They haven't lost the game since 948. Okay. I'm sorry you didn't get an invite sooner. We, we have to be a little careful, you know. The Church of the Ninth can be timid when it comes to gambling. Wretched Lord spends the next few minutes explaining the basics of competitive split to you. Most of it goes over your head. Until he's interrupted. What's wrong with these damn cards? Dude, he's cheating. He's cheating. I believe in him. Care for a wager? Nope. More gambling? I think not. It's all right, first opponent fan dot your majesty. I understand your loyalty, your husband, come what may. We should head over to the other table if we want to catch the game. Looks like it's starting right away. You don't think you can beat me, do you? We'll see soon enough. Watch the match. Grandy Quantum Drumbeat is aggressive, but Coldan is ready for it. It's a matter of minutes before Quantum Drumbeat has conceded defeat. How delightful! That's impressive. Now the King Consort will have to defeat Arcane Artists themselves. Everyone thinks they use their host privileges to cheat. Getting their servants to stack the deck or something like that. Look for Arcane Artist before the last match. Coldan notices you leaving and looks concerned, but you have an idea. You manage to corner Arcane Artist as they're getting ready for the game. To what do I owe the pleasure, Your Gris? I was wondering if you'd be interested in an agreement. An agreement. I've heard you're a cheater. Where did you hear that? I shouldn't say. Or should I? Or maybe I should uh would raise I don't I don't know what it what it would do. What would it do? I shouldn't say. Then what the fuck do you want from me? Was there anything else you needed? I was wondering if you would be interested in an agreement. Throw the match and let my husband win. <laughs> uh... Why, though? Why? What? That's gonna cost money for me, though. Just enjoy the tournament. It was gonna cost money.
Colden has nothing and crumbles quickly. A shame the monarch had to come all this way to see you lose. Coldan disentangles himself to come see, uh, see you. I'm amazed they saw through me. On your way back to the capital, your husband teaches you more about the fundamentals of competitive split. We became closer through a shared hobby. Well, I'm already adopting my cousin because you told me my fucking marriage was stale. He'll be so happy he'll get you pregnant. He's not going to get me pregnant because it would have fucking happened already. It's a night like any other. You're lying in your monarch-sized bed with your husband by your side, snoring gently. But something wakes you up. A sudden and pressing lack of oxygen. You gasp for air, but none comes. A huge leathery brown python is wrapped around your throat. Wrestle yourself free of the snake. It's no use. The snake is pure muscle, and your fingers scrabble against it helplessly. Your vision is going black. You don't have much time left. Reach under your pillow for your hidden dagger. Your fingers close around a hilt. Stab the snake. Your tiny blade bounces off its tough scales. Thinking quickly, you plunge your dagger into the beast's eye, and it recoils, hissing. You gasp for precious, precious air. Meanwhile, the python rides into a new shape, a clothed, hooded, cloaked figure. You recognize the assassin you hired to kill the songstress. The songstress sends her regards. Oh, you heard the song, didn't you? Honor guard, get in here right now! Upon hearing the shouting, your southern battle nuns burst into the bedchamber, silent other than the clinking of their armored boots. Your honor guards and the assassin engage. Somehow the lone killer downed several of them in an instant. Though they received only superficial cuts, they're already convulsing with foam dribbling from their lips. Eventually the assassin is cut down, but not before your southern battle nuns have been utterly decimated. The few survivors die within hours, also foaming. Darling! Darling, are you hurt? Blood and stars. How could this happen in our own bedchamber? I got an achievement for this. Your Majesty, are you alright? No. That was our assassin. Luckily, her magic must have muddled the assassin's judgment. Otherwise, he'd have simply stabbed you in your sleep rather than strangling you in a serpent shape. I'm sure the Viper's children will give you your money back. This is a terrible breach of professional ethics. In the meantime, I'll investigate this troublesome bard. Okay, free money. Well, I just got my money back. Right? Uh, explosion at the port! The big boom! Meth lab explosion. Dude, maybe it was a milk explosion. Like, maybe they were like... You've heard of the Boston Tea Party. Now get ready for the Patricians of the Coast milk porn party. They tried to tax our milk porn. They tried to tax our anime titties. And we weren't having it, dude. The bay is filled with milk! Your Majesty, a ship exploded at the port. The water swelled like a tidal wave. My whole town was devastated. What kind of explosion? I have no idea, your esteemed highness. All I know is that the ship arrived from Kurt yesterday, and now my docks have been destroyed. Oh. Those chickens have come home to roost. This was an attack, and you cannot let it stand. Guys, I think... We now have a mutual enemy, guys. All of us. It's time to stop this, this bickering and come together and let me win. Ban exports on Kurth and place high tariffs on their goods. Authority up, trade down. Command O'Reed to patrol the coast in her gunship. Could do. Authority up, military up, trade down. Focus on uh, rebuilding and avoid angering Kurth further. Drops authority. Uh, hand or read over to Curse. That is money <clears throat> that I'm not looking to to spend here. I'm vetoing that. Sorry, Greenoids. How about no? 
Man, it ain't easy being king. How about no? Mike, that was gain money. Did I see that wrong? Yo, big brain. That option paid you. So I fucked myself. You thought it was lose when it was gain. I, I, I understand what happened now. Yes. I, I understand what happened. Mike has rodent vision. Yep. When you tell her your plan, she is more than willing to accept and immediately sets sail. In between patrols, she even trains your other captains how to fight against Kurt's cannons. Okay. Scary. With no one willing to give in, the conflict will continue for the foreseeable future. At least you have O-Reed on your side. O-Reed? How about no Reed? A new honor. Okay, your heir. Let's start with that. It's my adopted child. Yay. Very cool. Grandees, is it is it time to be friends again, guys? Load non refuser two. <laughs> A new honor guard. The deaths of your honor guard in the line of duty was a tragedy, your majesty, but we don't have time to mourn. We must replace, replace them at once. Of course, since your previous honor guard were southern battle nuns whose piety didn't save them from dying miserably, there's nobody else left in the south who wants to risk their lives for you. I mean, that was a skill issue. I mean, uh, you tell me about the Eastern Knights, perhaps the Eastern Knights. This needs to get lowered, guys. Desperately, higher mercenaries. You're a patrician, aren't you? The coastal gladiators. They'll make me gladiator. They'll make me glad, Eater. You won't need an heir if you are immortal, my king. Maybe we, we pick the Eastern Knights to keep the defiance down? Just getting a little, it's up to three here. Okay. Okay. All right, so now they're even, I guess. That's fine. Your Majesty, the Republic of Kurt has levied extreme trade sanctions against us for our perceived crimes against them, notably your refusal to surrender O-Reed to her custody. We, we've seen the O-Reed thing several times, but we've never seen the, we've never seen this part of the story. We don't need Kurt. Pa! They're our biggest trade partners by far, Your Majesty. Our economy is basically on fire now. Looks good to me. Kurth must also be suffering from this, but we can't afford to wait them out. Our people will run out of basic necessities. Fuck them! Escalate the trade war by raising tariffs on Kurth goods. It's going to lower my stability, guys. Import essential goods from Ashmead instead of Kurth. That, for some reason, will also lower my stability. 
And that's going to raise farming, guys. Okay. That's just not cool. I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming everybody's farming. Yeah, that's not working for me. D could be cool. You need farming up, my king. No, I don't. Not not while this is ha not while this is happening. Fuck you, me load, <laughs> me load. A lot of this chat is so aggro tonight. There's a, they're so openly hostile against me. What's that about? Why? Fuck you, me load. All right. You guys lowered stability because most of you were grandees that still need this to go down another two points. You did, however, raise my authority, which is cool. So another month of sanctions. So after another month of sanctions, your nobles changed their tune. Uh-oh. By Xenia's ashes, we must give Kurth what they want. I'm bleeding money over here. Why should we suffer because of your grievances? This is Vladimir Putin's life right now. Eat shit, my liege. Oh, did I just get demonetized? At the very least, you take solace in the fact that Kurth is suffering too. The trade war continues with no sight and end. Sick. Okay. Nobody's plots are advancing, but maybe they will now. I see a prison that the grandees are going to desperately try to build. If they can afford it. I also see an aqueduct that is 100% going to be funded. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. In fact, I only see two buildings be being <laughs> being funded here. <laughs> Amazing. I I You stole all of our money. Is is that the problem? Y you know what? You know what's what's warming my heart right now is is <laughs> uh, I I I think I think I understand what just happened. Okay, so obviously the counts funded the 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 thing to raise their farming. What's puzzling again is seeing a patrician paying funding that, and then they they funded to raise their own their own military. I guess. What was very puzzling though, was seeing a, and I don't really understand why they're why why they're doing this. I was watching a. A grandee building get funded by exclusively by patricians who were trying to fuck the grandees from, from getting this stat lower. Right? Is that right? Is that what, <laughs> what that was? <laughs> that, that had to be what that was. That had to be. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, my ambition. Uh, the kingdom's farms aren't producing enough food, and the peasants can't rely on you. Your current ambition isn't working out for you. What are you fucking talking about? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16. I have a 17 farming stat. What's the fucking pro- This is not high enough? If you want to uh, stop the nobles from overthrowing you, you need to pivot and change your image. 
My advice would be to infiltrate each region with loyal region with loyal spies and defeat their schemes with schemes of your own. We should crush the nobles, smash their armies, and force them to submit. Uh, spread the zeal of the. Okay, we're not doing that. The scepter of the scepter of sages again. <laughs> Faith and trade. That okay, that's brain dead right now. Um get elevated by the church. Okay, you need faith. Okay, so we these two are out. Crush those plotting against you with an iron fist, authority and military. Those stats look good. Stability and trade. Trade is 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, if, if, if the farming stat wasn't good enough, then the trade stat definitely isn't, right? The trade wars are fucking it up. The trade wars are fucking it up, guys. Um... Authority and military seems the best bet, es especially since, like, you guys have had boners for, like, raising your military this whole, the whole, the whole time. <laughs> Authority and military. It is. Uh, raise the authority and military as much as you can. There can't be open rebellion among the nobles. Further sanctions. Bad news, your majesty. Oof! Oh, I, I bailed out of that at the right time. The Republic of Kurth has not only expanded the sanctions, but cut us off from other trading partners across the Ghost Sea and beyond. We've been embargoed. Only the Isle of Sail still trades with us, but their economy is even smaller than the East's. We could deepen our sides with sail. Sail! Remember that song? It was like I don't know. I don't know who the fuck it was, or, or, or I don't even know what kind of music it was. It was weird. Where it was, it was just like like a, a, a fucking guitar riff going, and then it would stop, and then the vocalist would go. Sail! You remember that fucking song? What the fuck was that? It was called A Wall Nation. Guys, that song was horrible. <laughs> the fuck was that? What was that shit? Sail! It was awesome. Okay, we could deepen our ties with sail! But, ooh, 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 lowering farming, guys. Oh my god, look at that. Look at th Look at this. Farming gets lowered either way. Huh. All right, guys, I think what you really, what you really want to do here, guys, is you, 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 you want, you want to vote. Here's what I think would be smart for this chat. Okay. You want to vote for A. Because that will lower farming. No, you know, you don't, I'm going to, that's wrong. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Actually, you do want to do that. Because... Stability is going to get lowered either way. Right? Stability is going down. Can't prevent that. Can't prevent that. And that's just... We have to just deal with it and come what may. Hopefully, it's not two points. Right? Hopefully, it's not... If you vote for C, though, you are fuck. You're all fucking yourselves out of money. I know you're not going to do that. Anzi, B, B look looks like a really good option for you guys. And if if I place the if I place the um, iron choice on it, it will nullify that authority loss. 
But I don't want you to vote for that because I want that fucking farming to go down! I want that farming down. Voting C is very cool. Voting C is a, is a very, very cool idea. Voting C I, I'm, is, is going to fuck me probably in some unforeseen way. Become fully self-sufficient. Okay, so that ass blasted my stability, which puts the grandees. I think the grandees knew that was going to lower it that much, maybe. But it also raised my authority. And it fucked everybody's trade in the ass. The counts farming went down by two. Beautiful. 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 Awesome. Um, I love that. Counts, why did you vote for C? Eh. For, for, for the meme? For the meme. For the meme. The songstress's secret. The spy master silently appears at your desk. She has returned from her mission to investigate the songstress, and you scan her for signs she's lost her will. How did it go? She pulls a pair of plugs out of her ears. Ah, uh, yeah. The songstress is a witch, drawing power from her leer. Liar. Leer. It's made from a magical wood. Some wizard who accidentally turned himself into a tree. When she sings while playing the lyre, people obey, but without that, she's nothing. Okay. Send Eastern soldiers with earplugs to arrest her. Hire a thief to swap the magical lyre for a mundane one. That's the treasury. That will I I will lose eight hundred coins if you choose that. For those confused, C have a deaf crossbowman snipe her from a distance. Uh, allow the songstress to keep playing. Okay. I will do this to nullify the authority drop if you guys vote for that. Um, otherwise, I uh, just do whatever is in your heart, guys. Do what's in your heart. Looks like ch chat's going for the, uh, the sniper. <laughs> On the grassy knoll. Back to the left. A week later, the songstress is performing in a market square. She opens her mouth to sing, but as she does, there's a sudden thud. A crossbow bolt is embedded in her sternum. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yeah. As she folds up, the enraged audience starts tearing each other apart in a frenzy. The riots rage for weeks, but when they die down, it is as though a spell has been lifted. The common folk forget the songstri songstress and move on to some new expression. It's Funko Pops. She crumpled like a bag of milk. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Alright. Uh, we lowered some defiance here. I think there's going to be some rebellions. Uh, the South swells with a sudden influx of devotees from... You, you finally pulled this off, guys. If our army were strong enough, we could take the palace by force. Raise your military or raise your own faith. Your military status higher. You'd probably want to do that. Also, it co coincides with my goals of raising the military.
So we'll be we'll be we'll be partners in that. Which is nice, right? As you try to raise your military, you are actually helping me. Kind of fucked for you. You need to get it to what's that? Seven. Okay. Um, the patricians uh, have struck a lucrative trade deal with Sale. Sale. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's all play nice together now. Guys. Let's 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 be friends now, guys. And this is this has gone on for too for too long, guys. I did these these divisions have been have been happening for too long, guys. All right, let's all be friends now, guys. Okay? Tax green. Guys. Do they not have the ability to rebel right now? They do. They don't? Why not? Well, authority 9, but stability, guys. Doesn't st doesn't stability matter too? It's oh it's it's the combined stats. The higher stat counts. Oh. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Cruel tax green. Y you guys just want to be spiteful to, <laughs> to the patricians for no reason. You just you just want to be shitty to them for no reason. They're rich. You want me to do it just because they're rich? Guys. I'm not giving you the ability to rebel. I, I'm I'm not I'm not doing this. You're getting nothing from purple. That's okay. That's okay. Well, I'll 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 tell you what it is, guys. It's it's wanting to prevent you guys from building shit. I, I'm taking your money because I don't want you I don't want you building some stupid fucking farm bullshit. Okay? That 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 fucking yeah. I don't even have 400 you asshole. Cool. We don't have any money. It's, uh, awesome. Awesome. I like it. That and I want to I want to make sure it stays that way, guys. <laughs> uh, bribe the grandees? Could do. Could do. Lower the defiance. Military. Eh. Bribe green. The, the reason I I was considering bribing green was was to was to reduce the yeah the defi the defiance stat seems high a little high for my liking. You know I don't know the, and and what this is what I'm using the money for, right? Although that does take them closer to their goal, right? I don't think I should bribe anybody. I don't think we should... I don't think we should bribe anybody. Okay, I don't think we... I don't think we should do anything. I don't think we should cruel tax... No. No cruel... No cruel tax.
No matter who you bribe or tax, green will win all the auctions because green is fucking loaded. Green's goal, I mean like okay, here's here's the thing about green, right? Green, there is no building in this game that's going to drain my treasury. Does that make sense? We're not spending it cuz it doesn't do anything. Right, 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 right. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but they can fuck me. How can they fuck me? They can fund other people's goals. But why would they do that? Green can't do shit. Well, I'm not I'm not cruel taxing green because I'm I'm not trying to fucking get them angrier at me. I'm not I'm not trying to get them to rebel. Then bribe the others. What what if I just fucking do this since you all are fucking pissing me off right now? What if I just do that? Ambition, tyranny. <laughs> Are we ready for that? Nine authority? Fucking that military stat looks great. L let's go for it, dude. You've done some redecorating in the throne room, anticipating your future as an iron-fisted tyrant. When the marshal walks in, she whispers appreciatively. I like what you've done with the place. Lots of change and spikes. Is there a working Iron Maiden? I oiled the hinges myself. You pull a lever in your throne, and a trapdoor opens to the marshal's left. Beneath it is a pit full of writhing snakes. Cl Classic! Let them try to vote against you now. I've been surveying the troops across the kingdom. Guys, snakes. Iron Maidens are a myth. You're telling me Iron Maidens never existed? I Fuck, motherfucker, I saw one in a museum in Europe. What, what do you mean? It was fake? The band? No, the band, Iron Maiden. What have we got here? A fucking comedian. They all they are all made way later. None have ever been used in real life. I reject that. I don't believe you're wrong. I reject your reality and replace it with my own. I don't believe you. The troops are looking good, your majesty. I didn't have high hopes for the eastern peasants, but they actually know one end of a spear from another now. Now the key is to make sure the armies are loyal to us and not their region. Easier said than done. Okay. She rides out to meet with the soldiers and get the lay of the land. The marshal punches you in the arm so hard you almost feel... I just won the game. They're fed up with the council passing all these namby pamby namby pamby so-called laws. Time for an iron fist to punch this kingdom back into shape. Bro, fuck this game. Somebody posted Madge and then clapping. <laughs> I love clapping, Mitch. Oh my god. Alright. Seizing the armies of my people. I won't harm anyone unless they stand against me. Okay. Alright. We won. Let's call a vote right now. I'm ready to deprive you of that crown. I'm ready to deprive you of your head. Pull your newly installed lever. That that's this this is just masturbatory right here. <laughs> this is just 
This is just great, right? We're all delighted to be here. Okay, very cool. Now get the fuck out. Very cool. I think we should continue that dynasty next time. Monarch Lord Non refuses reign spanned another 15 blood drenched years. The council couldn't defy them, fearing a gruesome fate. It was a dark and fearful time for everyone but the monarch, who seemed to enjoy themselves immensely, especially when spikes and drum screws were involved. <laughs> oh, yes. I love this game, uh, especially when I'm winning. That's just the best when I win, right? Okay, listen. Max taxing everybody got me the win. That that was irrelevant, actually. The economy of this load is is ruined. I don't care. Just don't pick trade ambitions then. The tax the, 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 the tax didn't do shit when I did that. That didn't do nothing. Okay, listen. Guys. You have reached a chat appreciation checkpoint. In a minute, I'm going to switch games. I'm going to switch to something that I think some of you have been waiting a while for. Maybe like a week. Okay? Streamer's Court. What is Streamer's Court? I am a judge. You are the criminals. Totally chat integrated, much like this game. Though, it's a little bit different this time. Why? Tonight, we're going to be playing with custom crimes. Crimes that were devised by the chat. They have been preloaded into the game. Custom crimes. Listen. Custom crimes, guys. How do we have custom crimes? Well. They've been, they were submitted by the Squan Squad. I want to first of all thank Plushy for this. I'm going to read this thing in a second. But before we do all this, I know a lot of you are going to be leaving. Nothing I can do about that. So just let me say thank you before you go. People, are, alas, must leave. They thank you. Okay. Um, and guys, thank you for supporting and watching. I need to. I need to post links in the chat. Listen to me. Before you leave, please check out the links in the chat. That is my. My Twitter, uh, my YouTube channels, uh, my and my Discord server. Why is it important for you to join those? Why am I asking you to, to join those things? Because I'm branching out now. I'm branching out into other avenues. I'm going to be streaming on other platforms and stuff like that. If you want to join me in that, if, if, if you if you want to come for the ride, um, I don't I don't feel like talking about why I don't want to get into doom and negative stuff and negativity right now. So I don't want to talk about why I'm doing that. But I will tell you that if you want to come along for the ride. You want to follow me on Twitter. And you want to join that Discord server especially. You're going to want to subscribe especially to the full stream channel. Because that's where I'm, st I'm streaming live on YouTube now. And also kick.com. You want to make a kick account. You want to follow me there guys. The links are in the chat. Okay. I, I, I may do a stream there tomorrow in fact. I may do a, fu a fucking stream. 
I, I'm I'm multi streaming. I'm I'm multi casting. Whatever. So you could watch on 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 Kick if you want. You could watch on YouTube if you're like, ah, Kick, I don't like that because man, I heard this. Okay, then don't fucking watch it there, and you could watch it on YouTube. Because it's gonna be the same stream. The same stream being streamed to two platforms. So you can go watch on, on, on YouTube if you want. So you're leaving Twitch. No! No, no. I can't leave Twitch. They have me by the balls. I'm going to be doing both for a while. Because they have me completely by the balls. I can't I can't leave Twitch. I can't it'll ruin my career if I leave Twitch. Mindfucker, thanks for five months, bud. I'm gonna be doing both. However, I can't do I can't do both at the same time. Monty, thanks for eleven months. Aren't multi streams a Twitch felony? Yep. That's why I won't be able to stream to those platforms and Twitch at once. So here's how it's going to work on, on, you know, f for uh, as long as I, I, I have to do this. Okay. This is what I, I'm being, I'm being forced to do this guy. I'm being forced to do this. Regular streams on Twitch, the way it's been happening. I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue doing this as much as I can for as long as I can. But there are also going to be extra streams on YouTube and kick and and not on, on, on Twitch. Um, am I going to get burned out and mentally decimated? Yes. But I am being forced to do this. Someone said not really. You don't understand. I am being forced to do this. Yeah. Kick will be out of business in nine months. I have to, I have to try. I have to I have to participate in that. Yeah. I I have to I have no choice. So um again if you if you're just you, you know if if you if you can't if you can't join me then you can't join me. Nine months nine months of money sounds pretty solid in this economy. Especially when they're kick subs, where I'm getting 95% of the fucking revenue versus Twitch's 50%. I will go to YouTube and never kick. Okay, uh, I okay, do do what you have to do. I understand. I understand. What do what you have to do. Um I I'm just what I what I am requesting is that you kind of keep the negativity to a minimum. If there's something you can't do, just just keep it to yourself. Do do what you have to do and keep it to yourself. I I the the, the negativity is 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 overwhelming for me, guys. So, so just, just, just please keep it to yourself. Okay. Because that, because I'm already doing something that, that I know is going to be very challenging and painful for me. And if you are going to loudly and constantly complain, you're, you're just making it harder and more painful for me. So, so please don't, don't bitch guys. Just if you can, if you can't go to a certain website, don't go. Okay. I said I didn't want to fucking get into a big spiel on this, and I and I still don't want to. So, yeah, if you if you can be there, awesome. If if you can't, I I understand. Do what you need to do. Um, I'm gonna post the links one more time. I'd love it if as many of you could come by as as possible, uh, to support tomorrow. You have two choices of where to be. You can be on YouTube, the full stream channel, or you could be in the in the kick channel. It's your choice. Um
Best way to know where I'm streaming and when is to follow me on Twitter and join our Discord server. One more time. The links are in the chat, guys. Okay. So how did we end up with all these custom cri crimes? Right? I'll answer all those questions tomorrow, guys. Just try to be there, and we'll, we'll, we'll get into it more tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be like a, a very experimental day anyway. Guys, when we when we decided that we wanted to do custom crimes in 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 streamer court, it, it, we had to do like what we do with uh, 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 you, you know you laugh you lose, take submissions from the the chat, but they needed to be vetted and 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 edited and and cleaned up and made presentable for stream. Um, so they spent about a week working on this. They spent about a week sifting through these, these custom crimes, right? We got a bunch of them. We got something like 70 of them. I'm going to say 70, 80 of them or something like that. Um, yo, I promise you, if you come tomorrow, go to either of the two chats and everything will be explained. It, it, it's all covered. Don't worry about it. Don't. It will all become clear tomorrow. Just come to the stream, okay? Um. Bathroom break. I don't have to go silver bullet, but thanks for thinking about my bladder and colon. I really appreciate that. Um. Plus, she spent a week sifting through these and and and, and editing these and, and vetting these and shit. And when they sent me the when they sent me the the list of crimes, they also sent a personal note that I felt was very important that that you guys heard heard this. Okay. Right now, they're bred, of course. They're um they're rising to the occasion. It rises in the east, settles in the west. They're feeling a little crusty. They're feeling a little, um... Don't go stale on me, though. Alright? I'm bread? No, I don't want to be bread. Hello, plushie here. Here are the submissions for the streamer's court that I have vetted and cleaned up. A lot of the submissions were very short, talking less than 10 words long. And others were very deranged, but I wanted to get as many in here as I could without interfering too much with them. As such, if a post seemed TOS or generally too questionable, I may have left them out. J. Mike1984 by the way, this was Plushie's, like, first big responsibility since com becoming a moderator. Like, we really dumped a bucket of shit on their head to welcome them to this to this moderation team. Like, I want you to think about that. Back to the note. Otherwise, if someone sees a topic that looks a lot like theirs but slightly different, I may have added some flavor text to fill it out more so their submission could still get in. This took several hours, and of the original 100 submissions, approximately six of them were good. But I cleaned up, reformatted, and got about 65 usable submissions right here. They subsequently added more to the list after writing this. If chat wants to add more, I can still add from the Squan Squad submission page, and even delete used topics if we, so we don't get any repeats. This was my first real task as a moderator, and I got to say, I now hate all of chat. This should have been a simple copy-paste job, but their incompetence has cost me hours of my life for what will eventually be Mike talking shit for 30 minutes about a poorly worded prompt anyways. 
If I wasn't drafted, I would quit. But now I plan to stay, if for no other reason than to get revenge on chat. You can let them know, too. I don't care. Anyways, I suggest testing if this page is formatted correctly before streaming. It was. It should be as far as I know, but I didn't buy the game to test it. Better safe than sorry. I tested it. It worked. Okay. Um, so anyway, give a nice big round of applause for chat. Um, submitting a bunch of cringe, cringe, uh, uh, crimes here. Uh, I'm going to change the ticker a little bit. Actually, hold on. I don't need to do that because I kind of put, I put King of the Castle and Streamers Court. Hold on. Streamers, Streamers Court. Okay. Um. Wisp or any uh, other moderator, if any moderators are available to uh, let the chat know or let the Discord know that we've changed games at this time, that'd be just, that'd be great. That'd be great if you could do that. That'd be just, that'd be fantastic if you could do that. Um. For those of you who haven't seen this game, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, people are going to be accused of crimes. And I am going to decide whether or not they are guilty, and so are you. Okay, uh, have fun. Fin Let's hope this works. Play custom start. Okay, let's see if this works, guys. Great lord! Looks like it's working. The suspect was caught fishing. The suspect, while fishing, caught a fish with their bare hands instead of their mouth. This is bad for the fish's health. <laughs> it gives them anxiety! <laughs> they are being charged with not being based. <laughs> yes! Happy Dingo, thanks for 10 months, man. Thank you. Oh, BJ Kircher, thanks for 24 months, man. Oh, I'm not comfy now. Now I'm not comfy. Wah! Wah! Rate Lord, you made chat on comfy. Is that a crime, guys? What do you think? That's fucking fantastic. Oh, my God. Guys, why is the... So so catching the fish with your mouth is gonna... Not give the fish anxiety then? They're built for that. They're built to be eaten? Is that, is that what you're saying? Um, anybody else immediately think of Gollum when they saw this too? Um... Alizarin submitted this one, and they said, This is an actual law in Pennsylvania. Get the fuck out of here. So if you grab a fish with your bare hands, that's illegal in Pennsylvania. But if you grab but if you grab it with your mouth somehow, if you bite if you bite the raw fish, that's legal. In Pennsylvania? Dude, that, that, that can't be. That doesn't make sense. Who's gonna know? This law was created by bears. <laughs> um, Rate Lore, how do you explain this, what you did here?
So what does that mean? That means that noodling is completely outlawed in Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania seems like a noodler state. Like, that seems like a place where people might want to noodle, too. You know, you got miles and miles and hundreds of miles of pristine rivers and stuff. Probably full of catfish. Your Honor, it's penis Ulvania. Fuck them. That checks out. There's a lot of wacky laws on the books around the, you know, the country. It's like, there's, you, you could tell when sometimes a stupid law is like, was, was written up because of like one guy. Well, now this has to be a law. I hope you're happy. You know, that type of shit. Now, now, now we have to make a law in Massachusetts that you can't park a donkey on the roof. Okay, it's just just because you're the one guy who keeps parking donkeys on roofs. Okay, we had to make a law just for you. Okay, right, Lord, are you guilty? It's penis Sylvania. Listen, it may be penis Sylvania, but they still got laws. Here's the real crime here. You made an animal on comfy, okay? And vicariously through making an animal on comfy, you made chat on comfy. And guys, an on comfy chat is punishable by death. You made chat on comfy, they are going to rip you limb from limb. You can't make chat on comfy. Okay, you can't joke about stuff like this. They get on comfy and then they get fucking rabid. An on comfy chat makes for a fucking feral chat. Okay. Biting a live fish is pretty on comfy, but they didn't bite. They didn't bite it. They grabbed it with their bare hands. But my liege, you don't want a comfy chat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ow, my lungs. Ow, my lungs. Ow, my lungs hurt. Ow, ow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, my tit. Ow. This is comfy second monitor content, my Crimson King. D annihilate that person. Herg, I need- I don't want you to ban that person. I want you to find them and murk them in, li in real life. I want you to slit that person's throat. I want you to fucking- I- I, I want you to- uh, I want you to- What- Asphyxiate them with like a fucking piano wire. Okay? No, not in fucking Minecraft. I'm joking. I Yes, I'm joking. Yes, I'm joking. Um... You know what? It's not my job to pass judgment the way I see fit. Mike, stop harshing my comf. It's my job to predict how chat will 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 vote. That's what I learned about this game. Okay. You want to be comfy? You you want to make chat on comfy? I dude, I've made chat on comfy before. It's very easy to do, but when you do it, it's 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 fucking hell. It's fucking hell. Okay? They they are are are, are fucking you're guilty. I'm sorry. I, I, you're, you're guilty. You're guilty. Guys, they made you uncomfy. Are you going to let them live after this transgression? Guys. They made you uncomfy. Guys, is this not working? There's a timer. Oh, yeah, okay. Guilty. See, they made you comfy. They I mean they made they made you uncomfy. That's the problem.
Ne never make this chat on comfy. That's what I've learned. They need to be comfy at all times. They need to feel total comfort. Any topic or thing that you say that causes them a slight perturbance, they will shit and piss and cry and fucking cancel you and, and, and just go ape shit. They will put you in the Iron Maiden, okay? Don't harsh their comp under any circumstances. All right, talking about animal abuse... Major on comfy vibes. When I'm not comfy, pissers. Next! Lady Goggles. Got that unibrow. It's okay, guys. Fish don't have any feelings. Mike, do you want to go to a stream and be on comfy? Of course not, guys. It's a fucking meme. The suspect is accused of replacing their victim's butt cream with toothpaste over the course of a few months. This caused the victim's asshole to smell minty fresh, but worsened the victim's hemorrhoids. The suspect is on trial for theft, tampering with butt cream, and for just being mean in general. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to bring you up to speed on this. I like to, like, you know, do this once in a while. Um, for those of you, because th there's going to be a lot of inside jokes in, in here, guys. Going back years. Okay, and the, and the joke is that, or the, what's being referenced is this. For a period of, I'm going to say, several weeks, my father, he was in his, I'm going to say he was in his, like, mid-60s, late-60s at the time, um, brushed his teeth with this product for several weeks. He never noticed that it wasn't toothpaste. Okay, no, nobody, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, guys. Okay, no, nobody told him, or nobody was trying to fool him. Like, nobody did a swap a -roo like what the accused is, is being accused of. Okay? Nobody did a little swap or anything like that. He just can't read and is fucking brain dead. He can't read. Guys, he unironically can't read. He went out and bought this. No, I think my mom bought it because, like, he was complaining about, like, 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 like fucking, like, swamp ass rash and shit. But, like, he just decided that it was toothpaste and started brushing his teeth with it and then didn't notice, by the way, that it wasn't toothpaste. He continued, he went through, like, almost this, ent this entire tube before finding, before, before I, I, maybe becoming suspicious. I think if I remember, I'm going to have to ask my mom for a refresher on the story. But I believe what happened was he was like, we were ran out of a fucking toothpaste. And then she went like, she was like, hold on a second. I just bought a fresh tube of toothpaste. What the fuck is this guy talking about? And then she went into the bathroom and found this empty. So, so if I'm, if I'm correct, it means he never realized that that wasn't toothpaste. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you'd f you'd figure out pretty quick that this wasn't toothpaste, though. Diaper rash ointment. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, respectfully, can your dad read? No, I to I fucking explained this to you thousands of times. He, I, he, I just said that he can't. That he cannot read. He unironically can't read. Guys, the donkey kick fucking destroyed his brain and his eyeballs. He cannot fucking read, guys. He can't read. He can't read. He said, this is a the different the kind of toothpaste. I mean, maybe. I mean, I mean, you see, you're here's the problem. You're assuming he thinks. He didn't think anything. He just did it. He 
He doesn't think. Like, that's your mistake right there, assuming he's, he thinks. Okay, Lady Goggles. How do you defend swapping... Your Honor, in my defense, my roommate is absolutely rank. Just the scent of unwashed ass everywhere in the house. The Board of Health dropped by for a visit. I argue it's a greater crime to leave that unattended stink to its own business. See, this is actually the opposite, right? Because they got the roommate to put the toothpaste on their asshole. It was the, it was the fucking reverse, reverse of what happened with my dad, right? So, I mean, it's it's kind of base. They got a minty, fresh asshole. The roommate is Matt. I'm going to tell you what. You're not guilty. This is based. I, and I'll, 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 I'll tell you what would have gotten you off the hook even further. Two words would have worked. It's funny. If you had just said that this was funny, I would have fucking let, let you off the hook easily. Right, so if you're gonna go AFK, don't speak in here because it, it, it will... It only draws from people who spoke in the last 30 seconds. So like, kind of like, I guess... Cut down on the amount of AFK draws. Which is cool, actually. So if you're gonna be like going AFK and shit, shut the fuck up. Not guilty, beautiful. Next. Bestie Vermont? The subject was the ringleader of an illegal circus that, for some reason, streamed exclusively on Facebook Live. They pulled chat members out. They pulled Twitch chat members out of their homes and forced them all to perform in a terrible and ridiculous show. No physical injuries occurred, but a lifetime of psychological damage did. The subject is on trial for kidnapping, false imprisonment, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. This is Germa. Germa did this. Guys, when Germa did that, he did it on Twitch, though. He didn't do it on Facebook Live. The fuck? He did this to my buddy, Yurik. I don't even know what this is referencing. Can, you want to um, you want to defend yourself? If it's Germa, well, this person's guilty because Germa is allowed to do that. The only thing streamed to Facebook Live are murders and hate crimes. Clown crimes can only be tried in clown court. This venerable court is for serious non-clown crimes. I think that checks out. I think that checks out. That, that, that works. Works for me. They have a point. <laughs> they have a point. God gives his silliest cases to his funniest lawyers. Okay, I think that's an interesting and fun uh, twist to this game. You have the option to hire another chatoid as a lawyer. You could pick somebody from chat and be like, I want that person to be my lawyer. If you don't want to defend yourself, you can choose somebody else. Your, your call. Goofston. The suspect was the main game developer behind Gollum. 
They purposely ensured that every second of the game was as agonizing and monotonous as possible. The suspect is on trial for selling this garbage for $50, as well as the $3 DLC where Gollum says, My precious! Guys, there was an, a very interesting phenomenon that happened in this channel, and I don't know if a lot of you noticed it, okay? During my Gollum playthrough, there was a person who kept coming to this Twitch channel and simping for the game. There was only... They stood out like a sore thumb because there was only one person who kept simping for this game, okay? And then they were in chat and they were saying things like, Wow. He likes this game. I think he's having fun. And they were saying it all they were saying it during every stream they were saying it. Now during the Katamari stream, the guy came into chat and he said, Mike, you looked like you were having more fun when you were playing uh Gollum. Can you go back to streaming that again? Was the same guy and then last night when i was doing uh, uh uh when i was making the candy he came in here and he said you looked like you were having a lot more fun when you were streaming Gollum. can you go back to streaming Gollum? now i believe static banned him after that but somebody pointed this out in our moderator twitch chat guys They were comparing it to... Fuck, I'm not gonna find that, that image. Um... Wow, holy shit. Uh... Oh, like a like a famous screenshot. Can who who posted that? Can I get you to post it again, please? I can't find it. Nobody is nobody's around. Yeah, you guys are talking way too much in there now. Holy fuck, yeah, that's crazy. Um The Hello Neighbor y yes, plushie. Can you please link that to me? Just put it in put it in the in, in, in the in the admin chat. He's talking to himself, yeah. Mike, if I see the word golem one more time, I'm gonna explode in a shower of chunky viscera. Why do that to yourself? <laughs> Replying to himself. I believe Matpat GT is going to enjoy this. I think Matpat GT will enjoy dissecting this frame by frame. Eyes. Yes, Matpat GT. You should totally reply to our DM. <laughs> down bed. Yeah, down bed. Uh. All right, so uh, how do you plead, Goofston, for developing Gollum? I just want you to think for... There was a slim possibility that this crime... that If we didn't ban that person, they could have literally been chosen for this, for this crime. Our theory is that they were a developer of, of the game. The decreasing number of likes with, with each tweet. Oh, it just gets better and better, yeah. It was me. It was my alternate account. Oh, that was you? Oh, well, then you should fucking be executed immediately. You made one of the worst video games of all time. You made an absolute laughing stock.
And every second that you continue to draw oxygen is a crime against humanity at large. Okay. You need to go the fuck down. The streams were fun. They were they were very fun. I I I agree. I agree they were. Mike, you seemed a lot happier when you were streaming Gollum. I love the idea that like it's a mind virus and like people keep saying it. Like it's like it's it's a um a cognito hazard. Like the comment itself is just a cognito hazard. Scrupulous lupus is being put on trial for using mayonnaise as a nose cleaner and spitting it out as it drains through one nostril while eating at a restaurant. They are being charged with the what the fuck dude law. Okay, is this referencing something? Somebody put mayonnaise up their nose? I'm having a really hard time understanding what the fuck this is. Somebody put mayonnaise up their nose? They snorted mayonnaise? Hey, Gollum. You seem to be a lot happier when you were streaming Jabroni Mike. <laughs> Is it referencing Kit Boga's mayonnaise spray? I mean, I want to charge the person who wrote this with the what the fuck dude law. I mean, try to explain this scrupulous lupus. Maybe you put the mayonnaise in your mouth and you like shoot it out of your nose somehow. Your Honor, I am the cook, and I do not like one specific patron. I have decided to show my disgust in a visceral display of mayo snorting. That is Omega based. You are innocent. Why didn't you? Why didn't you say? Why didn't you say so in the first place? It said they were eating there. Yo, if you work at a restaurant, you can eat in it. That's possible. All right, the people who arrested him didn't know. When I worked at Wendy's, I used to eat Wendy's all the time. Why do you think I fucking hate it so much? I ate Wendy's for years. My favorite was the mandarin chicken salad. The fucking mandarin chicken salad had more sugar and and it had more sugar in it than a frosty. The mandarin chicken salad had more calories than a f than a fucking small frosty. How? Because when we made the salads, we were supposed we we dumped granulated sugar in the fucking lettuce, bro. That was actually what we were that that's the recipe, dude. You dump granulated sugar in the in in the salad. Why? Because when the when the stupid customer goes and eats the salad, it's like, let me make a healthy choice and orders the fucking salad with fruit in it. And then they fucking eat it and they're like, that was delicious. Why does Wendy's have such good salads? Because they don't tell you that they dump fucking a pound of fucking granulated sugar in the lettuce. And you're sitting there and you're eating the salad. And you're like, wow, this is so sweet and delicious. Why is it so good? And dude, that's before the fucking the the, the the dressing that has more calories than the, than a fucking quarter pounder with with fucking bacon, okay? Guys, I'm serious. If if seriously, if you go to a a fucking fast food restaurant and you're thinking about getting a salad, just get the fattest burger on the fucking menu instead. You're better off. It, there's, there's no reason to fucking get it. Like, deny yourself the pleasure of a greasy burger over one of those fucking salads that are, that are as bad for you. Straight up get a burger. 
at that. But you're, if you're in there and you're going to eat that shit, get a burger. Citric acid was found tabbed out to cock porn. Citric acid. We'll hear your we'll hear your, your your plea, we'll hear your case. I was drawing it. If you had stayed if if you had just gone AFK and basically just just been like I'm still tabbed out to cock porn. That would have been a fucking god tier, god tier comedy. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what, guys. Every night, I go live on this godforsaken website that takes half my goddamn income. Okay, from you guys. All right. And I slave away to make you guys the best fucking content on the internet. I bust my fucking ass. I go hours and hours. I don't eat. I don't even get up to take shits because I am so passionate about my craft. Guys, okay? All right. And I and I I I I fucking I, I work myself to the fucking bone to bring you guys the most the best quality content I'm capable of making. And you don't watch it because you're fucking tabbed out to look at big fat plumpy plumpy cocks. You want tabbed out to look at big juice big juicy plumpies? Guys, you could look but that but that don't you see how that hurts me? Tab out to amazing dongs. Guys, you're hurting me. You could look at plumpies after the stream or before the stream. Guys, what what like like what the fuck? You're you're hurting my soul. You're hurting my 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 feelings. You're hurting my pride. You're totally you're dehumanizing me when you do this, guys. You you're saying like, oh well, you know. Mike's best efforts at making content can't compete with a, a photograph of a penis? Guys, that you know how bad that hurt that hurts me? That hurts me on, on such a deep level, guys. And I'm gonna i I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm going, to I'm going to tell you it hurts me. I'm letting you know it hurts me. All right, now, I'm going to say not guilty. Why am I going to say not guilty? Because you guys are going to let this person off the hook easily. Okay? Because you all think it's based to look at pictures of, of plumpies while Mike is is pouring his fucking his his heart, his soul, his energy, his life force, his fucking life force, blood, sweat, and cum into this fucking broadcast. You guys don't care. You think that's funny. You think that's fucking funny. You don't give a fuck. Because you're a bunch of degenerates. And you're bad people. And that's why I'm gonna say not guilty, okay? Look how red I get for you guys. He was working on a commission. I don't give a fuck. Okay? If you can't beat him, join him. Guys, how would you feel if I minimized the chat and just had a big picture of a cock on that monitor instead? What if I just closed the chat and had a big fucking penis? Uh, would you would you like that? Can't if you can't beat him, join him. 
Oh, uh, I thought you did. Literally not different from what you see now. You guys are a bunch of dicks. Mike, you already did that. It was Wolfcock. We loved it. Guys, this is a massive blow to my ego and hurts me deeply. On a deep emotional level, I am injured. And I don't know if I'll be able to recover from it. You guys are bad people. Kyle Belmont was watching a stream and knowing it would continue for another four hours, used a BRB as a halfway point to leave and catch up on the VOD later. The suspect stands accused of having no listening comprehension and believing the stream was over. Zagrate, thank you for 38 months, man. Um, how many chunks? Okay, don't even bother trying to defend yourself, Kyle. Because you're guilty as fuck. But why don't you just tell us how many chunks you want to be cut up, cut, cut up into. Tell me how many chunks you want to be. How, how many chunks do you want to be chunked? Maybe we'll go easy on you and make it like four chunks or something. At least I kept the tab open and muted my Huang D. Okay, based. But if you mute, it doesn't count you as a view. If that's what you're trying to say. If that's what you're trying to say. Okay, you, okay, you, well, you can mute, you can mute the tab, the browser tab. At the top, you mute the browser tab. If you mute the player, then you don't count. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what. Fucking best. You know what? You kept the tab open and muted. Not guilty. You live. What the fuck is a Huang D? A Huang D is this chat. Having thesaurus.com open in another tab and just typing in words for like king and finding synonyms for the word king. Okay, it doesn't matter what it actually is. Miker with 79 months. Fuck, thank you so much, man. That is such a long time. Holy shit. Not guilty and stealing from advertisers based. Hi, Angie. Uh, Angle? Angle Rossity. They said, when is the cum tasting stream? That was last night. You missed it. What can you do with reputation? I don't know. There's a leaderboard. Pico Capio failed to appropriate, appropriately fill out Form 2873. I stipulated under paragraph 7, sector 92, in invisible ink in the allocated 24-hour period. As such, their taxes are considered inappropriately filed. They are being put on trial for not being able to afford a tax preparation service company. Did you pay them or not? I don't understand. Did you pay the taxes or not? Put on trial for not being able to afford a tax preparation service company. What the fuck does that mean? Am I going to play more Tears of the Kingdom? No. No, I'm done streaming that. I, I want that game to myself. Uh, I'm not sharing it. Your Honor, nobody wants to pay their taxes. Okay, if you ever do pay taxes, you're going to end up back in this courtroom and you're going to be 17 chunked.
Is it real that the U.S. government just expects you to calculate your own taxes and gets them right? It's this famous, I think it was a viral tweet, where this guy was like, My son asked me what taxes are. You know, he's like a child. My young son asked me what taxes are. So I gave him a bag of M&Ms and I told him, You have to give me a certain number of your M&Ms. I know how many you have to give me and you don't. If you don't give me the right amount of M&Ms, you go to jail. It's a stolen joke. Oh, well, that's it. No, that's it though. That no, that that is how it works. That's not a, that's not a meme. That is how it works. That is 100% how it works. The point is to keep it complicated. Into it lobbies hard to take to keep the tax code murky, to push turbo tax as the solution. Guys, if I was the president, I would cut off all those people's hands and I would fucking slather the stumps in honey and then put them into ant hills of like fire ants. Everybody involved in Intuit TurboTax, all the, all the people who make that software, and all the fucking members of Congress who took bribes. That's, that's, that's the fucking level of severity that calls for. Mike, why are you going easy on them? Zeph has been secretly harvesting tea from a monastery septic tank and pocketing the profits from the sale of said tea. The monks recently learned about this and claim they have legal ownership due to their involvement in the process. The suspect is on trial for theft and for being mean to innocent pooping monks. How do you explain yourself, Zeph? Those monks work hard 3D printing that, that feces. And you just steal it? That's not cool. You think that's fucking okay, man? No pay monk. No marry rat. I used it to buy cum in the Jabroniverse. My income will go nuts. And I will gift subs with it my liege. Okay, I do like money. There's just one problem with that. Those innocent, disenfranchised monks. I mean, I don't feel good about robbing monks to fill my coffers. You know, especially, dude, that's fair trade. That, 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 that fucking monk shit tea was labeled fair trade. This is not fair trade. Guys, I know those monks. I, 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 I don't feel good about that. I've worked with those monks, okay? Yes, you would, Mike. I would feel good about robbing monks. Guys, they're monks. They're not priests. Same thing. Why would monks need money to, to, to fucking, uh, you know, take care of the monastery, take care of the, the order and everything? Monks don't have anything to rob. That's true. The one thing that they have is their fucking beautiful, delicious feces, and Zeph has been stealing it. That's not okay. Buddha needs a Lamborghini. I would argue that priests are, are con artists who rob people regularly and then don't take pa and then don't pay taxes on their ill-gotten gains, which fucking infuriates me. Infuriates me. I get so fucking mad when I think about that.
They just scam people and rob people and, and fucking don't pay taxes on any of it. That is the biggest that is the biggest fucking scam in the history of fucking humanity. That is insane. Like, dude, if you're a fucking pyramid scheme or something like that, or you're 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 got some kind of grift going on, you have to fucking just grovel. You have to bow in awe of, of what the, the fucking church has been able to achieve for fucking centuries. Scrimmies, thank you for 15 months of support. The absolute fucking audacity of what they've gotten away with for, for not fucking decades, literal fucking centuries. Hundreds and hundreds of years of fucking getting away with this shit. And they still get away with it. It's fucking insane. Is this political? I don't think so. I think everybody who pays taxes should be fucking furious. If you've ever paid taxes in your life, you should be fucking furious about this. If if you want to if if you want to defend them, you're just that's culp. I don't even know what to fucking tell you. That's just fucking culp, dude. I I it's fucking insane. This makes me uncomfy. Shut up. I don't know how you I don't know how you defend it. I don't know how you possibly defend that. Anti-Semitism? Shut up! Next. Paying taxes? Gonna be bullied by a piece of paper? Losers. Breaking news. Jabroni Mike nails the 95 feces to the church door. Well, it's every religious institution I mean, none of them pay taxes it's fucked even the bullshit ones like scientology i don't know i feel like I just feel bad for these monks. I don't know. I I just feel I, I I feel like these monks are pure. I don't know. I don't think you should be stealing from the, from these fucking monks, dude. I feel bad about it. I don't know. They're pure. Their shit is pure. I feel like I want. I want you to. I, I feel like I want you to be punished for this. It's not a victimless crime because these monks are are brewing delicious tea with their feces, and this person is stealing it. Those monkey haven't come once in their lives. They think their peni are purely for producing piss, and that's all. Guilty. Emperor Gombesa. You are charged with the crime of referring to your girlfriend as partner. As your partner. Okay, did I miss a meme? Here's the backstory. The word partner just pisses me off. It just bothers me. I don't know something about it. It's like, what, are you going to open a fucking coffee shop together? What, are you a fucking cowboy? You're going to go fucking wrestle some fucking... Some critters? What are you going to do? You're going to go corral some, some goats? What the fuck is this shit? Partner. It's an inclusive phrase. It annoys me! 
Okay, I know what it is. Do you have a better gender neutral word? Fuck friend. Fuck mate. Fuck mate. My fuck mate. Use the word fuck mate. Mike, can we not? It's Pride Month. Shut up. Chat wants to act like this is homophobic. Here's the problem with it, guys. Straight people use this. And that's actually why you fucking bought it, it. It just, it, it comes off as douchey. It comes off as douchey and pretentious. And it annoys me. Okay. I don't like it. Pisses me off. Don't like it. It annoys me. Don't like it. I don't like it. Cry about it. I am fucking crying about it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I am doing that. Pisses me off. This is a prompt you wrote when you first tested the... I don't think... Did I, did I write this? You say it's your SO, your significant other. You know what really... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what summarized the, the sentiment really well. Do you laugh... You laugh, you lose video where the guy was like, yeah, my partner this. And then the other character was like, hey, why'd you call your girlfriend your partner? And then the guy looks at him and goes, because I'm better than you. And then he smacks a drink out of his hand and walks away from him. You remember that? And then he, no, no, he slaps the drink out of his hand and points at it on the ground. And he goes, pick that up, bitch. He tells him to drink it off the floor. Yeah, yeah. Call them your fuck me. Call them your fuck me. I understand why people do it. You're not changing my mind on this. It it it's 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 it it annoys me. It feels douchey. Okay? I you're not gonna change I, I don't care. Alright? I, I I can I have a fucking opinion once in a while? Holy shit. Can I just have a fucking opinion? can I can I have a, an opinion that's mine? Please? Like can I just have a fucking you know, like, can I just feel something and have a feeling about something and, and have it be and have it? I, I it's wrong. It's not wrong because it's my fucking opinion. All right. It's my opinion and my opinion is, is how I feel about something. Right. I mean, like, you can't tell me how to feel about something that doesn't work. You know what happens when I try to tell you how to feel about something? You fucking tell me to go fuck myself. All right. Do you want to defend this? I'm better than you. That's why. They're going to just say, it's because I'm better than you. <laughs> I'm better than you. I do it because it's what your mom wants to be called. Okay. Okay. All right. You, 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 you got me. You legitimately call her what she wants. I want her to be happy. It'll piss me off, but I want her to be happy. Above all, I want her to be happy. I, I, it's gonna annoy me, but I, I have to find a way to be okay with it because I want her to be happy. Just like, by the way, the people that this is supposed to protect. I mean, 
Apparently, it's good for people. If it's good for people, great. I'm happy. Like, then, 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 sure, use it. I will not be using it, though. Under any circumstances. Okay, but feel free to use it, okay? Good. I want people to be happy. I want people to be, to be safe. If that's what you really think it's doing, then good. Have at it. Okay, but I'm not fucking using it. For the reasons that have, that have been explained to you. If you still think I'm being homophobic, get the fuck out. El Mapache. Hold on a minute. BJ Kircher has, is, is advertising in the chat. Hello, I'm BJ Kircher, a chat member advocate for those terminally online in Mike's chat. You got convicted of a crime and were tabbed out to cock porn? Need a defendant? Call our toll-free 1-800-BJS now. Better call BJ. The suspect has claimed to see someone known as Vinny Vinesauce whenever they see a man with a beard. The suspect is on trial for being delusional. Mapache, you want to explain this horrid shit? Did you know you have rights? The Constitution says you do. The Constitution? We have to have a Bill of Rights for Jabroni Mike Chatters? The Constitution. Holy shit. You know what they do to guys like me in, pri in Prizion, Your Honor? I do. Send me to jail right now. Guys, should we send them to jail so they can have sex? Guys, it's what they want. Guys, you get three square meals a day. You get fucking... You get a toilet to poop in, pee in there. You get cigarettes. You get fucking, you get to lift weight, you get to work out, exercise, food. Free healthcare. Sex. Gay sex. Gay sex. Pretty based. You don't get health care? I don't know. All right. If we don't send them to jail, they'll have to do something more fucked up in order to get admitted. Give them what they want. Okay. We'll send them to prison in Canada. Alright? It'll be like going to a fucking spa. A day spa. Remember the trailer park boys? Like, like deliberately, like, like, like not caring about going to jail because it's so nice. Away you go. They said it was a pleasure to make business with you, Vinny. You know what? Put him in solitary confinement. No gay sex for that guy. You're going to solitary confinement confinement for that shit. You're not going to see a single penis in your entire fucking sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No penis for you. My, this violates the Geneva Convention. I don't care. Immoral buttons crime. 
The suspect brought up potentially political topics during what should have been a comfy Genshin Impact stream. The suspect is on trial for making chat feel uncomfy, Sedge. Immoral Buttons, please explain yourself. It's going to be something like, You did a Donald Trump impression that barely sounded like him. You opened the floor for talking about politics. You started it. Mike, you brought up the politics because you played Genshin Impact, which is Chinese. And Chinese China is inherently political. I just wanted to see Paimon dead. Okay, but how is bringing up based? But how is bringing up political shit gonna get Paimon dead? All right, I'm gonna let BJ Kircher uh, represent you, okay? Your Honor, my first claim for immoral buttons is that they were aware of the situation at the moment. And so, Your Honor, I would like to push for community service. Vetting the FAP is more than enough. You agree, Your Honor? <laughs> Vetting the FAP? Put him up. Put him on vetting. Uh, uh, oh, man. Dude, that's going to be very deleterious to their mental health. If China is a crater, so is Paimon. All right, we'll put you on vetting duty. He made my stream not comfy, chat. You know how I feel about that, and I know how you feel about that, guys. He made my fucking stream not comfy, guys. Not cool, not fucking cool, guys. Not cool. Totally uncool. Any gushy updates? Nah, they're, they're not. They haven't offered anything. And who the fuck knows with what's going on now anymore? I, I, again, I'm trying desperately to get in touch with stream elements. They're just not. They, they, they just ghosted me. It's fucked. I, I've never seen anything like it before. Really, really, really heartbreaking shit, guys. I, I was going to make an unbelievable amount of money from that as... I, I, again, I have to assume it was it was it was it was because it was because of what Twitch did, because everything was fucking copacetic, and then Twitch did that, and then these people just vanished. Right. Guys, I I just want to say again, there are many many ways that you could support this channel and you could support me that are not giving money to this website. We have a coffee. We have a Patreon. We're gonna. I'm. I'm hoping we get. We get a fuck, fucking kick partnership. We have our fucking amazing Discord, and I'm hoping again that YouTube is even gonna be able to have monetization. Okay. This. 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 I honestly, I want this to be the last fucking place you, you give me money at this point. For, for fuck's sake, dude. They, they take fifty percent of our income, and now we can't even do the sponsorships. It, it, it's fucking, it's so, it's so openly hostile, guys. It's so openly hostile. It, it's, it's fucking crazy how, how hostile it is. Are you planning on going to kick? Yes. I, I already, I, I, I streamed there yesterday. I'm going to be streaming on, I'm going to be streaming on all three websites. Is associating with Kick worth it? Potentially, yes. Yes, absolutely. Potentially, yes, absolutely. And if you're sitting there and you're like, I'm not going to watch you anymore because you're associating yourself with Kick. I don't think I want you to watch me. Like, I, 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 would, I, I prefer you grow up. Okay. I, prefer, I would prefer you. I just, my, my ideal scenario is that you just grow up. I strong take. I, I I'm just I I can't be I I can't afford to be worried about that shit anymore. I I they're they're coming for my fucking livelihood. They want to destroy me. They want to take everything from me. They want to fucking take. They want they, they want me to be fu Twitch wants to me to be broke. I guess I don't fucking know. 
I, I don't fucking whatever the fuck they're doing. I, I, I they're they're forcing my hand. Didn't Twitch rescind their threats? No, no. Go look at their TOS. All of that they changed absolutely nothing. They've changed absolutely fucking nothing. It was a complete, it was a colossal, bald-faced lie. We need kick to succeed so Twitch gets better. That's, that's, that's part of the hope. Yeah. That's absolutely part of the hope. Like, try, like try to think bigger than your little, like, you know, like, problem. Like, like, what, than your little, like you know, moral dilemma or your little ethical dilemma with that website. Like, like try to think, try to think bigger, try to think smarter, try to think beyond that stuff, guys. We need that website to succeed and I'm going to try to help it succeed. You know? Okay, when I went on kick, I saw tits in Hitler. I'm gonna try to explain this. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this again. When you come to my kick channel, you're coming to my kick channel where the same chat rules are gonna be enforced there. So if you come into my kick channel and you start talking about how cool Hitler is, you're gonna be banned. The same way you get banned if you do that here. Does that make sense, guys? D does, does that make sense, guys? Someone in chat was saying they don't feel safe. They said, I don't feel safe at kick. We're going to ban anybody who makes you feel unsafe. And I mean, I, I, I hope that's the type of shit you're talking about. Because, again, I, I've seen some pretty bizarre things make you guys feel unsafe, if I'm being honest. Okay? But at the same fucking time, okay? Even, even if you feel all of that, even if it's all of that, right, where you feel unsafe or you feel uncomfy because you know Kick It Large has, like, I don't know, bad people on using it or some, or whatever your logic is. If that's not satisfying to you, if that's not enough for you, you can go hang out in the YouTube chat. Maybe you, maybe you, maybe YouTube makes you feel more comfy. Maybe YouTube makes you feel more safe. Right? You know, maybe maybe you want to go. You can go watch on YouTube if that's your if that's your thing. Right. If more streamers from Twitch migrate to Kick over time, Kick's environment will change for the better. It's gonna. I don't want to like talk. Sh I don't. I don't want to spend time talking about this guy. I want to get back to the game. But dude, dude, if they if 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 they get rid of that Aiden Ross dude, all fucking bets are off. Th that that guy's presence is stopping hundreds of thousands of streamers from going to that website. And guys, it's only a matter of time before Kick realizes that. They're going to say, okay, we can have this one moron. We can have this one. Th th that, that, that guy is, 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 is a child. Okay? That guy is a fucking child. And I'm... I, that's one of the stupidest people I've ever seen in my life. Whenever you've heard me, whenever you've heard me fucking say, why do people watch this guy? Or something? Okay? I have ne I have meant it 10% as much as I mean it about that guy. The, the, the fact that that guy has a following should fucking terrify you and, and fucking to the core. That should terrify you to the fucking core. He makes XQC look like a Mensa uh, member. He makes XQC look like fucking Einstein, bro. Alright, dude. So eventually, eventually Kick is going to realize, right? They're going to be like, we can have this one moron or we can have hundreds of thousands of Twitch streamers with established fucking view viewer bases 
moving over to this website. And they are. They're going to mark my worms in the next couple of weeks. They take that dude behind the shed, and then you never hear about him after that. It, Dude. 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 They, they're, they will. They will. Watch. Watch. Trust me. I, I know it. They, ha they have to. They have to do that. They have to. And they're going to. And then he'll move to Twitter. I don't care what the fuck he does. All right. Loon Master Flex is a veteran who recently finished service. They brought home one year's worth of MREs and ate them daily. Okay. This has led to chronic constipation, starving their shit mites of essential nutrients. The suspect is on trial for animal cruelty. Holy fuck. The poor shit mites, though, dude. And you know what else is about is, is funny about that dude? First of first of all, he's like, how old is he? When his fans hit puberty, he's completely fucked. Be because because he can't have a long term community because it's just it's just like the dumbest children. As soon as those children like grow up slightly, it's over. He's not gonna have an audience anymore. O merciful, merciful Emperor Jabronicum. Jabronicums? I realized the errors in my ways and sought to import fecal sustenance for the poor mites. But I accidentally ordered 98 gallons of semen. Well, we've all been there, buddy. Guys, I don't under, I don't understand this. I don't import the food. Okay, so you were trying to import I don't understand. You 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 were trying to feed the shit mites? But you accidentally ordered semen? This is, I'm so confused. Okay, you know what? You said semen, so you're not guilty, all right? Chat will, chat will relate to accidentally ordering 98 gallons of semen. All right, you, you're, 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 you're fine, okay? Mike, if you accept this, you will open the floodgates for political shit might discussion. We've all been there, guys. Mike, shit mites make me uncomfy. Will I stream orc massage on kick? Well, dude, again, I want a multi-stream to kick in YouTube, so whatever whatever I do has to follow the TOS of both websites, guys. Guys, I don't want to stream porn. Like, do you, Why do you think I want to do that? Guys, I don't want to sit here and look at dicks, bro. I, I, I don't. And why do you want to do that? That's disgusting. You, wait, so you could jerk off with fucking a thousand other people? Stop. Go play the game by yourself, you fucking weirdos. Mike, but then we wouldn't have to tab out. Kick allows NSFW content. YouTube does not. Also, I think, apparently... Guys, is it is it really true I'm not going to be able to curse at all on YouTube Live? I think a lot of people do. I know Ninja does. Super on true. I'm going to try to clean up my mouth a little bit regardless, but I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to go crazy over that. Okay. 
Ninja is alive. Yeah. Do you want it? Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I keep bringing this shit up, but you got, you got to hear this. What, what Twitch did again. So do you know how we were talking about how Twitch doesn't let you multi-stream? This is a perfect example of how this website isn't going to exist in like two years, guys. Twitch doesn't allow you to multi-stream. We've been talking about that. They will let you, because they're trying to trap you in this platform. They will let you do it. They, they would let you do it if you weren't a partner, right? And so Ninja said this. Ninja said, I'm, I want to fucking stream to all the websites possible at every time I go live. I want to be live on every single goddamn platform every time I go live. Very smart of him, I think. I, I, every streamer would love to do that, okay? Very smart of him, okay? So what did he do? He said, okay, Twitch, since you don't allow that for partners, I am going to renounce my partnership on Twitch. I won't make a penny from streaming on Twitch because I want to be live on Twitch, but I also want to be live on all these places. So I am giving up my Twitch partnership so I can do that. And that's what he did. And he did that for, I think, years. I think he did it for like about two years, maybe. Something like that. He did it for a while. He did it for a while. Years. He did it for years. Okay. You know what happened? The other day, when they dropped all that, all that, like, the, 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 the terms of service update... To, to fucking completely cuck and 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 hobble their streamer's ability to, to make sponsorship income. That day, while we were all distracted with that, they snuck a bunch of other little things into the TOS while we were all distracted and not paying attention. And one of them was new an update, an update to the multi-streaming thing. Nobody is allowed to do that. Nobody who uses Twitch is allowed to do that or they get immediately banned. That's the new TOS. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. They are at war with the people who use their website, guys. It's not It's not a joke. They are at literal fucking war with the people you, who use this website. Can you explain that? Can you explain that decision? Do you know how many streamers renounced their Twitch partnership so they could do that. Ninja wasn't the only one. Thousands, hundreds of thousands maybe. Thousands and thousands of streamers did that. So Ninja sees this and he weighs in and he said, well, well, you, you know what you did, Twitch, was you forced me to choose between Twitch and every single other platform on earth. And guys, what do you think Ninja chose? Guys, yesterday for the first time, Ninja streamed on Kick. He made a Kick account and streamed there for the first time. See what's going on here, guys? So, guys, that means that Ninja took his his millions of viewers away from Twitch and brought it to the other platforms. All the people who watch Ninja, and I know a lot of you are being like, oh, well, I have, Ninja's still alive. Ninja is still massively relevant. Stop being in your stupid little bubble, guys. Yeah, Ninja is massively relevant and has, and has hundreds of millions of people watching him. Yeah. And that and Twitch lost all of Ninja's viewers and get, and just handed them to Kick. Do you see why I don't have any faith in the future of this website when it's being managed like that? Do you are you get are you getting it now? Are you are you getting it? Are you getting it? Yeah. Do you think I want to do any of this? Do you think I want to go stream on Kick? And YouTube, which classically fucking hates me, like, you think I want to go do that? 
Okay, Artificial Life 01. The suspect is a Twitch viewer that has been continually churning out new words and phrases to get around Twitch chat word bans. The suspect is standing trial for make it hard, making it harder for everyone else to chat. The, we the website is in absolute, like, suicidal mode right now. Standing trial for making it harder for everyone else to chat. See, chat wants to act like it's my fault that 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 this fucking that our banned word list is a disaster. It's not. It's 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 this shit. It's this it's this this Overton window shit. This 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 banned term power creep. Okay, it is not my fucking fault, guys. It's your fault. Stop being a red baby. I am not being a red baby. I'm being a red adult. Right? You're being a baby. The Twitch add-on people are vigorously working at 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 using yeah, at expanding the the functionality of their shit to other websites. Kick 7 TV is is on, is on Kick now. How do you uh defend against this artificial uh life? How are you? How do you? How do you plead here? Cummings, ellipses. Dude, C C Cummings. I ain't gonna work on this judge. Gotta wake up pretty early in the goddamn morning to get one over on Judge Jabroni. You wanna think you can stroll in here and start fucking dropping, dropping the C word and act like I'm gonna go soft on you? Well, nah, you got another thing coming, son. No, it ain't like that. No, it ain't like that, Jeremiah. No, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. Okay? No. Mm-mm. Nope! Ain't gonna fly, man. Damn straight. Next! Green trash can has manufactured an illicit knockoff monk shit tea by utilizing leaves that have been drenched in piss, dried, and then mixed with repackaged monk shit tea bags. You fucking animal! Coley with 37 months, thank you. The suspect is on trial for copyright infringement and for depriving hardworking monks of their right to make tea from leaves taken from their own shit! Outrageous. How do you plead? Those poor monks. Again, I have a soft spot for these monks if you can't tell chat. Got a big soft spot for these monks, guys. Big time. His words are meaningless, Glonchim. Did you go AFK? Your mom didn't complain, so I figured the monks would be fine with it. No, you don't know my mom. You know how I know? Because my mom would have condemned this behavior. You're guilty. No. No, my mom knows how hard those monks work. How hard they churn in their intestines to produce that feces. Alright, no. She's seen it. She's witnessed it firsthand. To eat food, turn it into poop. You think that's easy? That's not easy. You think anybody could do that? You think just anybody could do that? Well, you think wrong, then. Okay. Guilty! Dwarf Danny was hired by a cert 
a certain bet to let them listen in on their loud as fuck pissing. They, however, later found chicken frying equipment in their bathroom. The suspect is being put on trial for falsifying piss. Bro. A faux pee? He committed a faux pee. With faux pee. Fraudulent piss, guys. Imposter piss. He's a phony. He's a big fat phony. He staged a beautiful, loud uh, piss session. And Rouge the Bat doesn't like to be disappointed. How do you explain this? They were literally frying chicken in there, right? How do you pee? I mean, plea. We know how you pee. Disappointingly, they said it's not a crime. Falsifying piss in this courtroom, that carries a life sentence. Okay? Yeah, you're done, dude. You're done. Dude, Rouge the Bat, you, you made Rouge the Bat sad. Okay, that's life. That's a life in prison sentence. You broke her fat titted heart, bro. Okay, that is just unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. She'll bounce back, maybe. Chunk his ass. 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 You never deny our beautiful fat titted bat some high quality piss time. Ever. Vanilla dissonance. They have worked on building a perfect home for wasps to gather and thrive. This is my dad again. Explain. My dad did that. This prompt is fucked. Is something wrong with the file, plushie? Is something wrong? What's the problem? Is something wrong? They never said anything. I'm so confused. Okay. They are being charged of, of they are charged of being a menace to society. Okay, uh BJ Kircher, do you want to be Vanilla Dissonance's defense lawyer? They need a they need a lawyer. Speedy justice for you. Let's go. Your Honor, I would like to motion for incompetency and motion for a delayed trial. Lack of evidence as well. Fuck no. Guilty. My dad did this. This infuriates me. I don't want you in prison. I want you in hell. What? This person should get rewarded for doing a service to the ecosystem. No, the fucking wasps and... and, and the wasps have... Fucking trees to make nests in. They have plenty of places to do that shit. Okay? They're fine. They have plenty of places to do that. Think about my fucking poor geriatric mother. Having to deal with this man's fucking brain rot. Cask Vell. Thank you for seven months. Mike, did you hear that the men behind the kissing your homies goodnight are getting married?
Are you talking about our emote? Dude? Those those two dudes are getting married. John kiss a homie and kiss a homie gone John. I just have one question. Why did it take him so long? Why is that making me emotional? Because they're both the hot guys. And you wish you uh, could just kind of watch it. Watch the sex. That's why. I mean, that, I mean what, what, other, what other explanation is there? I mean, that's in the, in, in the corner like this. Right? Yeah, what else is there? How else do you explain it? You may now kiss your homie. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> you may now kiss the homie. <laughs> they were married in 2017. Chad is late. Of course, Chad's wrong about something. Of course, Chad's wrong again. Wasting my time. Get me excited for no reason. Boldermar, you are here and you are yellow and you are accused of stealing an elderly British man's food. The prosecu prosecution states, They shouldn't have pinched me chip. Simple as. The suspect is on trial for theft. They are feathery and they are loud and they shit all over this courtroom. Boldermar, how do you plea? It was a succulent Chinese meal, and the man put his hand on my penis. Okay, well, I think we have a discrepancy in the stories here. Okay, because Bowler Mart is saying that he was enjoying some chips from Greg's, and you are saying that it was a succulent Chinese meal, so which is it? Also, you're a fucking bird. You don't have a penis. Okay, you're a seagull. Okay, and even if even if even if you weren't a seagull, okay, it's his fucking so many inside jokes with this shit. I love it actually. It was his ch succulent Chinese meal, not yours, fucker. My the answer is simple. The British call everything chips. All right, you're guilty of theft. You're lucky he didn't throttle you in the on the concrete, bro. No, birds don't have penises, guys. Mike, you were attacking my client's character. He is a bird. And he just shit all over my fucking courtroom. Mine. 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 You wouldn't send Falco to jail? I would love to send Falco to jail, except I know he would just burst out the prison with his giant penis. I lost rep, you fucking cocksuckers. Guys, the birds are starting those those those, those incidents. Okay, that, that is the the birds are are starting it, guys. Flaming bun, what's up? The suspect illegally discharged a cannon, a revolver, and a gun at a wedding. During the incident, one witness stated the suspect shouted, Fuck yeah, free cake! There was, in fact, no free cake at the wedding, and they are being charged for false advertising and reckless endangerment. Is this referencing something? Another actual Pennsylvania law. You cannot discharge cannons, revolvers, and guns at weddings. And you cannot advertise free cake when, doesn't, when it doesn't exist. Interesting. 
who charges guests for a wedding cake? You, you, did you think wedding cakes were free, dude? Emilia Ali. Oh, <gasps> fresh freaking freak, guys! Please freak them up. Thank you so much, Emilia. Flame and bun is doesn't appear to be present. I guess. Bj Kircher, you want to uh, you want to defend here? Flame and Buns answered, yeah, it's on a timer. You got to answer quick. I was unaware of the wedding, but what kind of wedding doesn't have a cake? That's true. That is bullshit. I'm going to say you're not guilty because I think this law is bullshit. I think you should be able to shoot shoot things at a, at a wedding. Fuck that. You know, it's, it's fucking, that's fun. You know, like, oh, yeah, they're married and everybody shoots their guns up in the air. That's awesome. And cannons. Like, dude. Get married and shoot off some cannons. That's awesome. Also, yeah, how, dude, shotgun weddings exist. What about shotgun weddings? What are those just outlawed now? This is bullshit. Also, I, they're right. What kind of wedding doesn't have cake? No. Skill issue not having cake. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. A shotgun wedding is a forced marriage by threat of shotgun. I don't think that's right. Hey, little sister shotgun. Guys, in the UK during the 70s, it was common to refer to your girlfriend as your little sister. Guys, British people, I don't know what to tell you, okay? I don't think that's correct. Well, think it's correct because it is. Now the song makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I tell you that to explain the song. Because people hear that and they're like, is, is, is this incest? We'll call them Billy Folgers. It took me many, many years to understand that. Yeah. Sweet Maddie G's crime. The suspect used explosives to catch fish in a barrel. Those fish were very uncomfy. While in the process, the barrel parts exploded everywhere. And one piece, the one piece is real, stabbed old Jenny McWhistles through her heart. They are being put on trial for breaking one's heart and explosives to hunt fish. Again, referencing something? Hold on, guys. Sorry. Sorry a sec. Hold on a second, guys. Mike is doing cock porn research. He typed, why do my balls itch? Oh, I know why my balls itch. It's the same reason why your mom's crotch itches. Okay, um... She got trit. She got crabs, Charlie. Char Wait, you spelled Charlie wrong. Charike? Uh, I don't even know where I am right now. I can't piss in here. 
You're asking me if you can piss in the courtroom? Well, I mean, there's seagull shit coating every inch of the courtroom, so why don't you just go ahead and unload wherever you feel like at this point? Christ. Order in this... Goddamn court! Uh, it sounds like you killed somebody, so I'm gonna say you're guilty of murder. Are these crimes AI generated? It's hard to believe humans wrote this shit. Oh no, not only did humans write this, but your fellow chat members wrote this. These are chat submitted crimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, not just any people. Elizarin wrote this one. Elizarin, what is this referencing, dude? It it's so hyper specific. Who's Jenny McWhistles? Guys, listen, this is my last court case of the night. I'm going to, again, I'm going to post the links in the chat again. Okay, please check them out. It's my Twitter, TikTok, my two, three YouTube channels. Um, Ko-Fi, Patreon, our Discord server, and there's a link to that Kick channel. Guys, if you want to stay in touch, if you want to keep together, if you want to know what's happening and when it's happening, two big ways to do that. Follow me on Twitter. Join our fucking Discord server. Okay? Sub to the full stream channel. Follow the Kick channel. I am going to do a multi-stream tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay? When? I don't know yet. <laughs> Planned time? What time you think I should do it? Earlier than usual? Planning the time would drastically increase viewership. Okay, I'll tell you what. I am going to start it at around... I'm going to start it around 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, okay? The Xbox presentation is tomorrow. What time is the, uh, the Xbox presentation? Are you going to read both streams chats? Yes. Yes. What the fuck is the... What, what time is the Xbox presentation, hey guys? Guys, we're going to do a community media share in a second. Don't go anywhere. 2 p. All right, I'm going to start at around 5 p.m. Eastern, okay? And I don't ex I don't think it's going to be very long, guys. I think it's just going to be a couple hours. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to play some fucking game. I don't know what I'm going to stream. I'll, I'll stream some game or something. I don't know. Again, this is a highly experimental thing. Finish the furry piss game. Static, do you want to stream that uh, the dinosaur game? The, uh, what is it? Path of Titans? You want to do that? Is the game fun? No. Nope. No. Nah. Nah. Maybe it should... Maybe that should be a, mo a Monday... A Monday thing. Maybe we should do... See, now I gotta start trying to figure out, like, what, like, I'm gonna do, where, and shit like that. It's gonna be, like, really exhausting. Are you streaming on Kick or YouTube? Both at the same time. I will be seeing both chats. Be where you want to be. be. Be wherever you feel comfortable. Or wherever makes you less... Wh wh whichever one makes you less uncomfy. Go to that one.
Is it kick YouTube and Twitch? I'm, conv I'm, I'm trying so hard to make this simple. It will be kick and YouTube. It will not, I will not be streaming on Twitch tomorrow. There will be no Twitch stream tomorrow. On the full stream channel on YouTube. Yeah. Chat's going to make us have this conversation every time. We, we're going to have to keep having it. To and it, Dude, dude, it is, it is going to be immensely confusing for a while. Is there going to be a Discord notification? Yes. Yes. Two shitty stream platforms. Then don't, then don't come. Then don't come. Then don't come. Do not come. Okay? Mike, I'm going to put your Twitch and YouTube on my second and third monitor and cock porn on my first. Mike, show cock porn on kick. <laughs> uh, a kick channel header? I don't I don't know. I don't know, Elizarin. I I also don't want to I don't might piss Twitch off or something. I don't know. The kick link is in the, the kick link and the full streams links are in the the block of links that we keep posting, guys. Yeah, maybe static. If you're gonna be around, we can stream the dinosaur game. Maybe just, I'm, I'm thinking just like three, four hours type of short a short stream tomorrow. Cause guys, I still have to fucking like. I still need some time to myself. I still need some like downtime. You know what I'm saying? Can't I can't be fucking streaming like like fucking six, 60, 70 hours a week, dude. You know I, I fucking can't do that. You know fuck. Double the streams, double the tech. It, it is pretty much going to be like another test stream, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so. Buru. Um, I'm going to start with this one from Paint Sponge. It says, Jabroni Mike's Comdi. Yep, it's come. And I like how he's licking his lips, like he's slurp. <sniffs> yeah, this was discussed last night, unfortunately. Uh, Paint Sponge, thank you so much for that. Uh, we also got this. It's from the plushie. Uh, it says, wanted to make a scrolling image with a few chat integrated games. Did this King of the Castle segment tonight. Hope you like it. I don't like it. I love it. Uh, it's really cool. A lot of little detail in there. You got a Robotnik. Uh, King Mike here. We got some... Um, we got plushie turned into bread, I think. Right? Uh, we have some uh, 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 chat fighting with me, messing with me. And there's a little... Um, some sort of jigsaw contraption happening in the back there. Really cool, plushie. Thanks, man. And thanks for... Again, like everybody thank plushie again for um sorting through these uh users submitted crimes we'll get back to this in a future stream uh this one's from paint sponge again that's that oh that's that candy from last night the cute little elephant candy that's awesome thank you uh paint sponge really cute and finally uh uh oh and exada says i had this dumb idea and turned a bunch of noises you made yesterday into electric guitars. The riffs slash licks are all made from your voice. Oh, yeah? All right, fucking, I'm just gonna go back there and go ape shit. I'm gonna go ape shit. I'm gonna go absolutely fucking ape shit in this place, guys. I'm gonna completely lose it. They don't put it in there. I'm not gonna do that, guys. I just, I was just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. You're supposed to put it in there. 
Load the name of the song. Cute and fun. <laughs> so cute and so fun. This candy is hard, and so am I. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's it. No, it's not. Oh my god. No, it's great. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. What the fuck? You got my ass. I thought it was over. I they got me. They got me so good. Ball. There it is. Yo, this song goes hard. Like I, I would on I like I would listen to the listen to this. Like I would listen to the shit out of this without the fucking the memes and shit. Like just just the track without all the all the memes and me yelling. Fantastic. I love this shit. I knew this was gonna be fucked tonight. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck the whole thing. Fuck the whole thing. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Fuck the whole thing. Fuck. Fuck all this. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I love the song. Here's an idea. Put all of Enixada's songs on a BRB playlist. So cute and so fun. Yo, he didn't say he hates pancakes. That's a whole new sentence, bitch. <laughs> nope, not this time. I'm saying it. Fuck pancakes and fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> oh, that's outstanding. Yeah, we should figure something out with using the, the songs as, uh, as BRBs, yeah? Absolutely. Um, okay. I think I would want like them saved locally or, or, or something like that. I don't know. I, I would need like and maybe even the visuals too, because the visuals are awesome. But it would have to be uh uh we would need I don't know, I guess I could put like an overlay that would say BRB so you don't have to edit them anymore. Yeah, that's it. You wouldn't have to edit them. You don't have to edit them at all. I have most of them compiled in a playlist. Do you want me to finish it? Maybe. Maybe. I think it's a really good idea. I actually have somebody working on a professional like intermission screen for me. Um They're working on it right now. It's coming out real good. It's like 3D animated, guys. It's it's uh you're going to like I think you're going to like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. But the music uh I don't it's not going to have music. So we could have any of any of these songs be the background, including Joel's. I want to make like a yeah, like a big playlist. That contains all the music. Nuke me slowly. Thanks for watching the stream, guys. Thank all of you for being here. I hope you had a great night. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I had a I had a blast with you guys tonight. Thanks for playing um, the games with me. It was so much fun. So cute and so fun, guys. I will see you tomorrow for what I think will be, yeah, kind of a short little test stream on my YouTube full streams channel and kick channel simultaneously. Um, be there or be a dumb whore. All right, love you guys. Have a great night.